morning! On the weekend. It's the weekend look. You can see who's in the building. Actually, fabulous show today. Mandy Shaw and Lucy Brennan. How, what more could you wish for? What more could you wish for? Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Would you like to see today's menu? Here is the menu for today. Coming up today. Red work and patchwork is what it's called. 8 a.m. is getting ready for Christmas with Mandy Shaw. Then at 9 o'clock, got flying stars with Lucy Brennan. Then at 10 o'clock... We've got Get Ready for Christmas again. Getting Ready Twice with Mandy Shaw. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got Birch's Quilt. It's a beautiful black and white quilt with little red, flower, uh, little red birds on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilt there. So um, we want you to get in touch. We want you to get in touch. And the best way to do that is go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, and you go to the website. What you do is you'll see the front page like this. Oh, now, before we go from the front page, let's have a look at the front page. Uh, look at the missed out on festival quilts. Watch Mandy Shaw and John Scott's demonstration at the NEC. We had no idea it was going on there. Uh, it has been edited, so if you were there live, there might be a little bit of it missing. Uh, anyway, 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 uh, what you do is you click on Watch Today's Show, uh, and then you'll get a bigger version of me there. And if you just scroll down the... Oh, look at that lovely Tilda fabric from yesterday. We had a lovely Tilda day, so... Then we go down the uh, daisy, message the studio. Uh, you can write a message, which will go straight through to Little Paul, who's producing today. Oh, keep it, uh, keep it short, because they won't be make, sorting that out for a long time yet. So keep it short uh, to, like, two sentences at the most. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Um, and that will come straight through to Little Paul, and he will send it through to the tablet on the desk. Uh, so if you've got any questions or any comments for uh, Mandy or for me, then just write them there. Uh, while we're on that page, if you scroll down the page, now you see there, products from today's show. That, they're all the products from yesterday's show. Um, oh, they were. And they've all disappeared. So what will happen in a minute is everything, as we introduce items from oh, today's show, uh, they will appear there. <coughs> Excuse me. They will appear down there. So you can either buy them there during the show or if you're watching later on Catch Up, anything that's still available uh, will appear there where it says products from today's show. They will appear there. So you can just click on them and pop them in your basket. Talk about popping things in your basket. Let's go up to the top of the page. So while we're doing a live show, you see there to the right-hand side where it says add to basket. You need to log in. Now, they're all Hannah's there from yesterday. She still hasn't, she still hasn't checked out yet. Uh, oh, well, they've been deleted now, so there's nothing in the basket. But basically, you go up to basket. You go up to basket and you uh, make sure you check out straight away. Because, especially today, because man, these things always sell out straight away. So if you know you want it, check out straight away. We do have this uh, thing in place where you can check out as many times as you want to check out. And you'll only pay one post and packaging for the whole day. So if you check out some... So say you, you buy something in this first hour. <coughs> Excuse me. And you check out. Then you see something in Lucy's eye. You think, oh, I want that as well. Check out. What will happen is at the end of the day, they'll all be consolidated. And you'll pay one PMP of £2.95. It's even if you buy a sewing machine. It's still £2.95. It's fantastic. And also, uh, if you want to send a longer message or if you've made anything that Mandy's designed in the past and you want to show us uh, and you send in, or want to send in a longer email, then the email address is studio at sewingquarter.com studio at sewingquarter.com so um that's it really that's all i've got to tell you for now now she has promised to be on her best behavior today promise she promises she promises we're going to see her in a minute but let me just show you what we're doing this first hour first hour Oh, OK, now, we've got an issue with the graphics, right? We've got an issue with the graphics, but uh, this is what we're covering for the first hour. Mandy Shaw's brand-new book. Now, last time we had this, right, we had hundreds of them, and they sold out in, like, 20 minutes, didn't they? Less than... Oh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. They sold out in eight minutes. It's Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. Ten seasonal sewing projects. Beautiful. I'll go through the book fully with you in a little while, but there's the little white mice... Oh, there, we've got those uh, in the next hour, in the 11 o'clock hour, in the 11 o'clock hour. Um, really, really, really beautiful book. <clears throat> now, these... Oh, oh, that's coming up. That's coming up as well. It is absolute. Oh, now that, I think that's on the wall. That's not for sale, but that's on the wall behind Mandy. When we go over, it's called the Snowball Quilt. Yep, Snowball, not Snowfall. Uh, really, really, really gorgeous book. So that's that. That's coming up this hour, right? That is coming up. You can start. You can start ringing straight away. The graphics will be in in a second. We've also got. Oh, so we can't put graphics in yet, then? 
Okay. I'll show you very quickly. Normally we do this so you can start buying straight away. We've got a bit of a glitch. We're doing this. Now this one's called Dusty. Is that meant to be Dusty Springfield? We'll ask you in a minute. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's granddaughter. Granddaughter. It could be any name, of course. It could be any name, of course, yes. You can hear us. We haven't met her yet but, or today, but you'll... Then there's this one. What's this one called? Sam. Sam? Is that a grandson? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that comes... To... And then, look at these. Look at these gorgeous love hearts and the lovely little... Um, what would you call... What are they called, exactly? Mini hanging hearts. Mini hanging hearts, they're called. But they're, they're all sorts of... Look at a little ballerina, a reindeer... A snowman. Uh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. Perfect for Christmas. Now, the reason we're doing it now is so you can start making them now and have them ready. Because the last thing you want, isn't it, to get to Christmas Eve, think, oh, I've got to make those hearts. Do you know what I mean? Get them made now. Get them sorted now. Get them started now. Um, has, have we got any graphics or anything yet? OK. So let me take this, this, this. Well, hang on. Now. I've got to take all of this with me, haven't I? And I'll come back for those. I'll come back for those. Um, good morning. Good morning. Now, you promised, don't you? I promise what? To be a good girl today. And, and you? Oh, I'll, I'm always a good boy, <laughs> me. Right. Sorry about the graphics. You will be able to... You will be able uh, to start buying in a minute. In a minute. But So, shall we just start? Oh, oh OK. Where's your... Where's your... What? Is my mic... Oh, is, no. Is it tucked in? Is it, and is it and it's not switched on, Jay. Um, OK, you have to go over there to Jay. I'll start going, oh, what a day. What a start to the day. Um, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Can you imagine these hanging on your uh, mantelpiece on Christmas Eve, waiting for the... Well, you know what? They're lovely as Christmas decorations, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, are you right now? I'm fine. Right, she's back now. That was quick. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Jay is. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right, OK, let's talk about the book. Let's talk about the oh, book. Oh, yes, one. yes, yes. Brand spanking new. Yeah. Um, it's... Um, it's all about red and white Christmas projects. Right. And some, some things for the very simple, uh, quick fixes in life and some things a little bit more advanced, like the quilt behind us. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes. We'll look at that in a second. So I've covered um, all sorts. But they're, they're, so to, to buy the book, right? Yes. To buy the book, it's got all the instructions. Yes. Or, now, we did these last time you were in the yes, little white we did. mice, yeah, didn't we? Did. Good. Now, they were there earlier. They are. They're, they're, they're poking around in the back. Oh, yes, they're so around somewhere. Them, um, yes. We're going to be doing these in the 11 o'clock yeah, hour, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. Doing those in the 11 o'clock yeah. hour. Um, but they're just gorgeous. And why is it you love red work so much? Um, well, actually, I love red. I don't realise that I love red badly, but everything I ever do is in red. And a red work's got a lovely story about... Um, it, it, you know, we couldn't get red dyes to be fast and colour fast. And when red was colour fast and you could buy fabric that had red in it, everyone went crazy yeah. and bought red. And so imagine if we had a new colour today... We would all go crazy and buy the new colour. And so I just love red and white. I'm totally drawn to it. If I go into a, a quilt shop and I look at the fabrics, I go straight for the red stuff. And, and white and creams just look so lovely and linens with it. So, um, and, it and it works for me. Yes. So I stick... And, of course, Christmas. I don't do purple Christmases. Purple? No. Purple and gold, you think? No, don't do purple. No, red and white. And so I'm very, very traditional. And it's just um, what works for me. And actually, everyone's loving it. So it's lovely for me as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, in the book... There's yeah. everything you need to know, isn't there? There's yes, instructions, yes, yes. there's um, this illustrations yeah. about how to do things. Full-size patterns, full-size patterns. You don't have to enlarge or reduce patterns, but I want to talk about that later. Of course. I love of you course, to do course, that, but the full-size template. Uh, there's no graphics in, Paul. Oh, there you go. There, there we go. £12.95, yeah. yeah. Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. Now, now we'll, go through, we'll go through everything again very quickly. Like we should have done. So that's the book, that's the book. Yeah. Then we've got the Dusty. Yep. And of course, don't forget you can put any name on here. Don't of course. Put up. This, this is my granddaughter. This is my darling. Uh, what's, it, what's it actually called? This kit then? Is it called the it's dusty, called dusty kit? It's called Dusty Stocking. It's called Dusty Stocking. 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 Yeah. There's Dusty Stock for so, £24.95. So, so. We'll go through all of these with you again. We just yeah. want you to see them, because we know what you like. We know you want to start buying them straight away. Then we've got the Sam Stock. Yeah, the boy version. The boy version. And it doesn't have to be just boy. Yeah. But they're all, they're all fully lined, look, with lovely binding, lovely tape. And these are kits, aren't these they? Are these kits. are kits. These are all kits. We can, we'll yes, be able yes. to show you in a second. Yeah. So that's the Sam. That's the Sam's Christmas stocking, twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. It's all very, very good quality fabrics. Oh, oh, oh this, I don't. It? Yeah, this is gonna last a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah exactly. Yes, from yes, the yeah, yeah, from yeah. The and then, last but not least, now I haven't got these with me. Oh, but I can show you the. Um, I can show you the pack here. Oh, look at them! 
Oh, yes, they do. These are just, these are decorations that I'd hang on my tree. Yes. But obviously, they could be hung anywhere, but again, a little collection and in a little box. Mm -hmm. Now they're gorgeous. Lovely present. You see, this is what's good about doing them now, yeah. is you can make them now yeah. as a present for somebody. They're yeah. nearer the time. Give them to them for yeah. their Christmas present. £24.95. and pence. Right, now, all I need to say to you is, last time we had this book, we had hundreds of them, right? And they sold out in eight minutes. Yeah. So I've got good quantity again today, but who knows? Ten yeah. minutes, maybe, because I've got and more. And you can't get time. it anywhere else. Oh. Only from Stone Court or me. Oh, you. Yeah. So there you go. So it's exclusive yeah. to us or to, to yeah. Mandy. You can't get them anywhere else at all. Yeah. Right, OK, so what are we going to start off We're with? We're going to start off with a stocking because I've got a wonderful little technique right. Right. on how to make stockings. So this could be... You... Which one are you showing? I'm going to show a Sand the Snowman because right. it's a little bit quicker to show you. But it's okay. very, very exciting. Um, yes. And so... Here we go. This is right. fixed. This is how yours will arrive. This is how yours will arrive. Now, what happens is, is you'll, you'll buy, you'll, you'll, you'll basic, you'll order it, and then we'll send you out a kit exactly, exactly like this. Should we go through what you actually get in the kit? Let's have a look at the steel picture there. So, what do you get? Go through what you've got in well, that you've kit. Well, you've got, you get the lining, calico lining, yeah. and this beautiful calico um, printed back. The reindeer fabric, back. yes. You get the red fabric for the stocking. Yes. The white fabric... Uh, um, all, all the fabrics of the stocking. Lovely, gigantic rickrack. Yes. And um, bond web, the fusible webbing. And what's the tartan for? Oh, the tartan will be for the scarf. It's for the little scarf. And you get the buttons and the And, art, and, and the instructions. And the instructions and a full size template. Oh, perfect. So you're like loads of messages coming so, in already. Is it, I reckon this is a nice Sunday afternoon project. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Any afternoon. It doesn't have to be Sunday afternoon. Um, no, it? if you were working in oh, the week yes, down, just thinking. Yeah. All right, John. All right. Oh, it's going to be one uh, of those days. all, I had my alarm set bright and early this morning, cup of tea in hand, ready to watch Mandy. Love John and Mandy together. You two make me chuck. Oh. I think that meant to me chuckle. Chuckle. But it cuts <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, it's John and Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, well, Mandy is the wrong person if she wants to behave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's with the wrong person. Yeah. It's with the yeah, wrong Yeah, you're person. very bad for me, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's a combination of you and me together. It's just dangerous. Do you know dangerous. what? We had such a lovely time at the end. At the festival quilts, quilts yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mary Jane, please say morning to my mum, Ruby. She's recovering from surgery at the moment, and you both make oh, help Ruby. make her day. She loves you both. Oh. Uh, so it's Ruby. Oh, morning, Ruby. Good morning. Right. Back on with yourself. All right, OK. So you're going to cut your pattern out. It comes in two... Um, can I interrupt a second? Yes. Are the... Because uh, we're only going to go through the sand, the snowman. Yeah, yeah. Are the... In, uh, the techniques are the same. Exactly the same. Exactly. But we'll go through that kit yeah. in a minute it, for, the, exactly. for the dusty one. Exactly but. the same. Right. So you're going to cut it out and you're going to have to join it together. So right. you just join it together on the... It says on the pattern. That says to join to page two. Yes. Join to page two. So I've joined us in cert tape to page Lovely. two. And you're just going to cut out the uh, red stocking. And it does tell you quite explicitly, turn the pattern over... To cut the stocking out, right. so that you get it the same way. Of course, you don't. Yes, because you don't want them both. Uh, but actually, it it doesn't bother me whether it's facing left or right. So it, it, nothing's ever wrong. No, it's always a creative moment. Uh, but if that's if you wanted to look exactly the same, is the seam allowance on the pattern? The seam allowance always included on my patterns. Okay. They don't, I know they're not always included on in other no, people's no, no. patterns. No, we had a pattern yesterday that didn't have. Yeah, seam it's an American thing. Yeah. Um, I, I don't. The get Tilda, that. the Tilda one didn't have oh, um, seam allowance. Right. Yeah, okay. So okay, I've, so I've cut, cut your... it out, beauty. So I've cut it out nicely, and on the pattern. Um, are your um, templates to trace using fusible webbing. So right. I've got a fusible webbing here. It comes in lots of different guises, right. lots of different brands. Yes. This is Fuser Light, and this is... Is that in the, is that in in the, the kit? kit. Oh, in the so kit. you don't need to worry about no, getting no. it. No, right. no. But you see it's got a film on it, which yes. is the gluey bit. And Hang on, we'll just see that again. It's a gluey film. It's shiny. If, you, if you're feeling it, if you were here with us, you could, you could yes, see you the gooey film. Yes, you can feel it, yes. Yeah. And on the wrong side, it's a, it's, there's nothing. Yes. OK. So you're going to trace your pattern pieces that you need onto your uh, fusible fusible webbing, yes. but you can't trace it on the gluey side because it won't, it catches, yes. so it's, you can trace it on that. So Brilliant. Keep, keep people saying, and when you say trace it, can you literally just yeah, push you it see over? Yeah, you see through it. Oh, yes. See through it beautifully. We've got great big black chunky yes. lines on here, which are ugly in my eyes, but they're very good for you to trace through. No, no, of course okay. they are. Well, you drew them. Uh, I drew them, I did. Uh, so, uh, have we got the iron on, darling? Pleasantly, yes? Yes, yes always ready for you. Yes, thank you. Uh, Christina says, I've got my daughter Helen hooked and she loves watching you. Also, all the Christmas sections. That's from Christina. That's, that's, that's Christina. That's in your pants. So, what we're going to do is you're going to uh, cut your pattern pieces out. I'm using the smaller bits because I've already cut the larger yes. pieces. Cut them out roughly. So, this is very important. Some people cut on the line. Right. So, you cut them out roughly. If you just like to. Show you what, can I just show you what you mean? Look. That's pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. So, it's nothing like a circle. No, then. nothing like that. Yeah. So, and could you just iron that for me, please? 
Pardon? Could you iron that on there, please? Oh, right so, there. Uh, so I always say smooth iron to smooth paper. Let's give it a line. And because it's felt, it might take a you little... You won't be able to see me doing this because I'm hidden that's, behind, that's, so it's fine. That's fine. He's going to make a bit of a song and dance about his lead now, Lou. Should... I'll just put it in the right It's place. just a bit of ironing, John. <laughs> Two seconds. It's a live show. I want to do it properly for you. you. Can bore, you're going to make them bore. You can bore right, them. OK. There are so many people on the phone, uh, on the web. You need to check out your basket. It's, it's, oh. they, they're selling out fast. Oh, they're selling God. out fast. You have to check out your basket. All right. OK, right. stunning. Right. So sometimes when you're using felt and things, be, be aware that it, it needs a little, a few more minutes. And if it's wool that you don't want to scald your wool, no, exactly. be careful. You tell so, me that after I've done it. <laughs> so it's quite, I kept an eye on you. So what you're going to do now is going to cut out your circle on the line. Now, by doing a rough cut first and then cutting on the line, you're sealing your edges. Ah. Oh. So, it felt wonderful with fusel web, but sometimes it's sort of um, linen y type. Well, if I can do it, you can do it at home. That's for and sure. this is just, just you're going to cut it out nice. It's very nice. And then you're going to take the backing paper off, and the t top tip to do that is take a, a, a pin and scratch it. Right. And then you can break it apart, and it comes off much easier. And it easy would do. Peasy. Yeah. And then you're peasy. going to put that on the snowman and you're going to re you would read that nose? That's his nose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now this that, that was a nice easy little piece. But now here we are we here we have this is a potentially a damaging part of a workshop. A bit of felt, and I've cut it out roughly, but when I place it on the felt, it's larger. So if I went to iron that, the gluey bits would iron my ironing board oh. and cause damage, yes. frustration, yes. perhaps a little fight in a workshop, yes. and not a pleasant experience. No. So what you, when I say rough, I do mean rough, but just be, make sure it's within the boundaries of your felt or, or the fabric you're using. So that is a much more pleasant... It's a bit tight. It's a more pleasant experience. So off you go, John. Right, OK. okay. Donna says, Morning, John. So glad you're back. Not the same without you. Ah, oh, when will Mandy's hang new hanging heart be on? Uh, isn't it later on today? Tomorrow. tomorrow or tomorrow? tomorrow. I'm back tomorrow, I'm back tomorrow. She's there all weekend. All weekend, poor Birmingham. I don't know how we're going to cope. Right, am I sticking this down? Yes, Listen. yes, please, yeah. And that's how you use fusible webbing. So there's the, 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 it's a wonderful product. Lots of different varieties. Some are very thick and some are very fine. Um, and that's delicious. And so I'm just going to cut one more out for you. And that's it. Where does the holly leaf go, though? On his scarf. It's a little, a little, oh, yes. this, a little collection. So you would then iron them down. You get all of this in the kit. So oh, you, everything you, in the kit. So you don't yeah. have to worry about, about um, cutting on the right line either, look. No. Um, but I'm just... Showing you how this other little technique again. The kit we're doing at the moment is the Sam and the Snowman, but there's also Dusty the as well, um, the girl version. But we'll, yeah. we'll do. We'll show you that in a second. But now, what I want to say to you is, you could try and pick the paper off on the side if you've got nice nails. Yeah. And it causes an edge damage. You know, it's not a good thing. Yeah. Scratch your paper, break it apart, and then it just comes off very, very easily. That's a wonderful little tip. And that and those two little, um, those two little. Uh, holly That's an unusual um, holly leaf. It's going to be more creative when it's decorated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very fussy this morning, darling. It's gorgeous. Well, who said holly leaves are the same? They're all different. I'm being natural and, yes. and, and organic. Yes. Okay. Organic. Okay. Uh, you'd take the iron to that now and give that a little press, yes. and that would glue down. Now, because it's felt, yes. it might need a little bit more than ordinary pressing. Yes, for the heat to go yeah, through. So we, yes. we, would, we could press it from both sides. So don't right. worry if it doesn't stick. It's not it's not you, it's because it's thick felt. It's, it's it will not you, it's it. me. It's yes. well. So I'm not going to do that now because no, I'm no, going to show no, you something else. No. So that's that's fusible webbing, which is very exciting, OK? And there's your sticker. Now, um, so you've cut... You, you, this is an exciting little thing. You've cut um, your stocking out. You've, you've fused your shapes down. Yes. And you're going to blanket stitch this. Oh, OK. Yeah, but you can you can blanket stitch by hand or machine. Right. Oh, but yeah. most machines, lots of new machines this today, have um, a blanket stitch on That them. one does, the 680. Yes, does. it does. But I don't want you... I'm going to have to show you what I mean. There's, this 680 has... It's a darling machine. I've got... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blanket stitches. Yeah. Yes. And I don't, I only prefer one. Oh, OK. OK, so watch this little drawing. Some of them do this up, up, down, oh, hang down. On. Let's, wait, 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 it's coming to you. Is he here? Is he there yet? He's there. Coming. Good, good. Now. So it goes like, it does, backs oh. itself. There you go. It, it backs itself like yeah. this. And that's really difficult to get around curves and corners and yes. for a beginner. Yes. I'm not happy with that one. OK. okay. I want you to have this one. Is he ready? Yeah, ready. He's ready. Up, down, up. I want you to have the simplest stitch. Oh, OK, that's in the machine, if the machine... On the machine, yes. this is the machine. And sometimes they do a few little stitches in between. I want you to have the simplest stitch there is yes. there. OK. And then you're going to take your work to the machine. 
Right. Now, you might, obviously, you might want to um, experiment first. Is there a little experimental thing what here? That, yes, this here. You want, you want to experiment first, and this is a very good tip as well. This morning, I went straight to the machine. OK, can they guys see this nicely? Yes, And the first thing now. that happened was that one. It went dodgy. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is he there? There you go. He this went one dodgy, went dodgy. That yeah. went dodgy there. And then this one went dodgy here as yeah. well. And I thought, oh, gosh. So I would think to myself that you ladies might think, oh, machines and playing up, and machines playing up. But actually, all I did was chill for a second. I went to the, looked at the bobbin. I took the bobbin out, replaced the bobbin, and then I got the perfect stitch. Perfect. So, so what, I'm, what that, that, that was just to let you know that sometimes you think you set the machine up beautifully. But it always worth it's, it's practicing first and then um, the, the, the size of the stitch that um, the machine does naturally is too small for our chunky project Yes, so I increase the length and the width to about three okay a threes And if, if you have if the machine hasn't got blank stitch you can do it by hand Oh gosh, yeah, or you can do it by zigzag right old zigzag now yeah. before going any further I've got to tell you more than half the stock has been sold already of this of this one. This is Sam uh, So please check out your baskets. You've got your baskets uh, and secondly, Dorothy says she's already bought the book, it's wonderful, and I've already made the mice, says Dorothy. Oh, stunning, stunning. So uh, this is the kit we're using, this is the kit we're using. There you go. That's Sam, that's Sam the Snowman one there. We've also got it in the Dusty, but you can do any name, there's the Dusty one, which I'll go through the real thing in a second. Oh, so, the graphics going in? So this is... Um, Wonderful. If, you can, if you've got a great machine, use your machines. Don't be frightened of them. Why yes. have we got these gorgeous machines? And if things aren't perfect, they won't be perfect this time, but they might be perfect next time. Yes. So I don't do perfect. But also, I just think that... I, I tell this story all the time about Orgy, my dying and printing teacher at college, yeah. and I was doing a tablecloth, going around with a block like yeah. that. One up, one down, one up, yeah. one down. I got to the end and I had two ups. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Orgy, I've ruined the whole thing. She said, no, no, because we went to John Lucy's or one of those shops. You wouldn't get one with two ups, would you? No, so it makes no, it no, an no, individual. No. And who's, no one's going to have this other than the, the ladies that buy it today. There are yes. there are a few a few kits. So okay. it makes a gorgeous. Now when so the secret of this is that you actually um, have the edge of the work on um, on the edge of the blanket stitch. Right. You see. So you don't. I don't want to see the blanket stitch at all. This no, is you very upsetting. Yes. On the work. Yes. I just want you to see the little. To the left. So, oh, you can see that there perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so Brilliant. that's gorgeous. So I've increased this to 2.7 and 3.5. So just play around. Yes. Don't want it ginormous because you won't get around corners. No. You don't want it minute because it's a chunky yes. project. Yes. And so when you do go around your corners, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you have to stop, you always stop on the outside edge. Stop. Yes. And then with a little your needle down. With your needle down. Oh, you've, you've got it. You've, you pick up things so well, John. Well, I've done so many shows with you now. How could I not? Needle down and turn. So I don't want you to go around the around a racetrack like no. Lewis Hamilton at no. 100 miles an hour. No. Oh, stop, start, stop, start, stop, stop. And if you've got one of those gorgeous, some of these, this is a stunner, but there are more stunning yes. machines that lift the foot for you, just slightly so you can turn without. Oh. The but this is still lovely. We love this badly. And so that's how you do. Look, stop, start, stop, start. Oh, that's gorgeous. So. So I'm gonna, on the outside. Yeah. So okay. I come out because I was oh. going to show you. That's gorgeous. So you always and just come, you always look. Look how lovely that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Brilliant. Now you can also get really lovely thicker threads. Yes. So later on you can progress to thicker threads. So this yes. a Christmas stocking comes out two weeks a year. Perfect to practice on and gorgeous. So this one here, uh, this is the original. Can you see I did a slightly thicker thread? Yes. That's Slightly thicker thread. If you're putting a thicker thread in your machine, you need a 16 needle and you need to have ordinary bobbin thread underneath. Okay. And do practice. Some machines love it badly, a few don't. But uh, you can change your threads to find Of course. Of and course look at all of this, it's all done in huge, chunky machine stitches. So that's all the that you've done the blanket stitch right, all the way around the snowman, yep. all the way around the scarf, yep. and all the way around the nose. Yes, yes, yeah. What did you do on the leaves? I did a little. I did a little free machine effect there. Oh, okay. But yes. you could do blanket stitch, or it's a bit tricky. That'd be tricky though, going round all yeah, those curves. Yeah, it would be. So it? just do it by hand, or, or not at all. Just pop, uh, attach the two little leaves with two buttons. You can do. I love you, you want, to be creative yeah. with this. I did go round the uh, the snowflake on the machine, um, and but I stopped, start all over the place. I was going to say you have to. And I'm yeah. pretty experienced, but I, I'm. I just want you to make sure the stitches on the fabric on the applique, yes. and it would be. Fine. Yeah, okay. okay so that's gorgeous. So you so, do all of that, you do all your decoration. Yes. And it's not much decoration to do. Look, I did that in two seconds. Yes. It would just be <clears throat> not much at all to do. Okay. Yeah. Now the next thing is the, these little things you need to see in real life are very, very lovely. You've cut your stocking out, you're gonna put your rick rack on. You've got this ginormous, gorgeous rick rack in your kit. Good okay. quality rick rack. Oh, very good quality. Yeah. But I what I want you to do is make sure you only have a vague say this is a stocking, it doesn't matter if your seam allows. 
isn't quarter of an inch. Yes, yes. But I, I moved the stocking over, um, the rick rack over, so I would get just a quarter inch seam allowance. Right. And I, I tacked it on with the same colour thread. Right. So because normally uh, you'd either put the rick rack totally on yeah, yeah. or half and half. Yes, Whereas yes. I love you just got a yeah. tiny little yeah. bit going over yeah. the edge. Because it's up to you to personally. Oh, yes, where it, you want to put it. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, when <clears> we turn this inside out later on, look, you'll get the most perfect yes. humps. Yes. Um, Normally, I have a rick rack that's half inch wide, which is perfect for seam allowance. But so this time, you're going to have to move your rick rack to the edge slightly. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter what you've done. Or, or, by doing it my way means you get you don't get any holes. Sometimes yes. when you turn it that way, you get holes. Yeah, but you don't want yeah, holes. Yeah, you don't holes again. No. So put your rick rack on. Yeah. Now this is tacked on, yeah. and the tacking line is very important, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. So I tacked it on with a machine, yeah. and if I was tacking on the machine, I'd increase the stitch length to three or four. Yes. Okay, yeah. so it won't come out this tacking. No. So that's why you need to have it the same colour. Exactly. Uh, the kit does not include machine threads, of course. No, of course not, no. Okay. Uh, can I just say, Deborah loves watching us two in action. Fantastic, double act. Uh, there are loads and loads of emails coming through, which don't come through to here, just the, just the um, uh, web chat comes through to here. Paul says there's hundreds of emails coming through, oh, so right. thank you. We'll get, we'll get, oh, and pictures, we'll get some of the pictures up for you oh, in yes. a second. Oh, yes, we'll have a little, we really pictures, almost yeah. need a sort of half hour of pictures. Yes, yes. So this is, this is the bit that I love badly. This is, so it's a one stop, stitch stop stocking really right your lining don't right. cut your linings out don't notice i only cut one stocking out yes okay so this is your lining and i use calico so we don't get too confused and that's in the that's in the yes kit, yes so you're gonna have you have two pieces of calico this is happens to be one but just fold it in half yeah right sides together yeah okay gorgeous you're going to put your stocking right sides to your um line the the backing the yes, backing yes. okay so did you see that combination right so underneath you've got, we've got yeah. the lining yes uh two pieces of lining and then we've got the the stocking which is right sides to its backing yes okay so that combo uh just remember that it's, it, it's all written down but that's the combination yes and i'm going to just quickly give that a pin. this is like when you put wadding in in, in a quilt isn't it yes the sandwich yeah. always looks slightly wrong doesn't Absolutely. it and this is looking very slightly wrong. wrong yeah yeah, isn't it? yeah this is looking uh, uh, this is looking wrong and you will think oh gosh what happens but when you've done it you'll be so proud and yeah, excited exactly. So give it a good pin through Watch all layers. Pin the, lay, pin the instructions to it. Well, we, yes, it has been known, darling. Yes. It has been known. I've got a little. I tell you what. I um, years ago, I um, uh, uh, beaded lots of bodices for the Royal Ballet. Yeah. Right, and I'll show you how long ago it was. When Brideshead Revisited was on the telly. Oh yeah, gosh. And I was in my me. dressing gown, and I was watching Brideshead Revisited beading all these bodices. I got up to go and make a cup of tea in the, in the um, advert break, and it was all stitched onto my dressing gown. All the beakers have been sitting there, concentrating, sitting so, so what did you do? Unpick it? No, I cut the dressing so gown. Nice. I thought you'd say the old anal, so I unpicked no. it. Like, I just cut the dressing gown and put no, it off yeah. the threads and ha have a patch. So one ballerina yeah, yeah. was the ba dancing at the Royal Ballet yeah. with all, half my dressing yeah. gown on the back of her. Um, now, listen to me, watch. This is an interesting little thing I'm going to do. You're seeing that I've got my pins as soldiers standing upright, yes. I call them. Now, just because your teacher you might more? say to you... No, right. that's fine. Darling. Just because your teacher might say to you, you must never run over pins. Yes. <clears throat> I do. Yes. I sew over them. So it doesn't matter. Don't don't go back to and say, oh, Mandy said. Yeah. But I sew over my pins. So the half the country do and half, half the country, country don't. Yes, and yes. I'm quite happy with this. Um, and I will. It, it suits me fine. So, but but uh, and all my students do. Yeah. Unless they go to another teacher. Well, how could they get another one after you? Well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Now watch. So this green line we have here is the tacking line yeah. that I use to put on my. Um, Rick rack. Yeah. So if you stitch on that green line now, you'll get the perfect Rick rack. Yes. Yes. So you just oh, bear hang on, with... hang on, hang on, put it back, put it back. Right. On that line. I'm gonna there. stitch on that line. So if you if you set stitched on yes. any other way, the Rick rack might not be gorgeous. Yes. Okay. So you're gonna have to bear with me because I've got to go around this thing. Oh wonderful. So um, and I've got to take it back to zero, haven't I? One. Yes. That's, that's... If you, want to go, if you wanted to go back to default, just switch it off. You're not meant to say that. I thought about that. that we did yeah. that. I, I can do it secretly. There is also a button here which takes it straight back to um, there. Default, OK. Oops. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh now you've got oh, back no. to the seat back. Press. <laughs> That's fine. You sure? to talk to the ladies. Oh, talk to the ladies. <laughs> and gentlemen. And oh, gentlemen. and gentlemen, yeah. Uh, this is the kit. This kit here we're showing is the Sam Christmas uh, kit, which is that one there. We've also got the stocking in the dusty... So, so my idea was that you'd have a, a boy version and a girl version, okay. both exactly the same size, will fit 
quite a good collection of little um, stocking fillers in. That's not the, that's no, yeah, that's the dusty one there, and this is the dusty one for real here. Uh, now this isn't in this one's not in the book. Oh but no, we've got no, this book is not for sale book, yeah. as well. The Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas, which I'll go on. We'll, we'll talk more about in a second because we've got projects from there in a second. So I'm sti I'm, I'm stitching oh, sorry, what on. Did you do? Oh, I'm sti no, I'm just telling you, I'm stitching on this line nicely. This. I'm going oh, a bit wild. Round. Yeah, I'm going Messages. a bit wild. Okay. There so I'm go. nearly there. So that's fine. And do you see my stitch and my little pins kept all in place lovingly? I didn't have to remove my pins. But don't, the pin issue, I don't want to get into a row about pin issue. No. I'm quite happy well, to see it. It's what you want to do, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's what you want. So, and I don't want anyone going back to their teachers and saying, Mandy Shaw says, because it doesn't matter. We all have little different techniques in our little world, don't exactly. we? Exactly. Okay. So pin, pin this, unpin this beautifully. And the reason I don't cut the stocking shapes beforehand is because they, they might slip slide by keeping the yep. fabric like this it's just delicious and then you're going to cut um all the way around yeah arlene says i'm loving the stockings and mandy's demonstrations are always very good oops look oh you're right <laughs> yes i'm fine <laughs> it's cutting through quite a few layers here so if i was um i do want you to cut quite um like I'll a quarter, quarter of an inch uh or a little bit less around the curves and if you think the stocking was going to get a hell of a lot of bashing and beating, hell of a lot of bashing, hell, yeah, yes. yeah. you would, um, you might want to do the curvy bits twice, go yes. around it twice. But we're not going to do that here. And yes, I am cutting off the um, rick racky humps. Can you see them flying yeah. all over? Well, the place? otherwise they're going to be in the seam lengths when you turn it. Yeah, aren't they? they are. Right, <laughs> yeah, no, they are sisters or yours. <laughs> mine, John. They're fine. <laughs> they're mine. They're fine. Right. So watch the big reveal. Now this is quite an interesting thing right. as well. Watch. I, I, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut the um, the top off. Yes. But if you did keep the top, like, you could roll it back, and it would be part it's of soft. it. But I haven't um, accommodated for the colour scheme. Okay. okay. Right. Here we go. So watch this space. Okay. You ready for this? This is magic. So yeah. how long is that taking? Not two seconds. Exactly. exactly. So you're just going to turn it inside out via that via the main and the... Yes. Um, I, I, when I, I love things to have be good quality and I love lining stuff, so this is very nice. Yes, because a lot of these, when you see these um, stockings for sale, it's just literally the front and yeah, back, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. When you look inside and there's all the raw edges and everything yeah. so inside. So there's your gorgeous humps. Yeah. OK. This would have been appliqued, obviously. Yes. Uh, beautifully. There you are, lovely. And when you look inside and you do that, you've got the lining with no seam allowance. Brilliant. Do you see that? No yeah. seam allowance. So don't forget, I turned it inside out just via the, the backing and, and that. And the main fabric. So it looked like this inside, but if you just open out like that, you'll see that you've got no seam allowances yeah. inside. So it's completely seam free. And then in your lovely little kit, you have um, the bias binding to put yes. it on the top. Yeah. Now, let me tell you a little tip. I put, you'll see these little tags on the end, yep. make them huge. Because uh, we've got old beds and doorknobs and all sorts. I put them on the end of the stairwell as yes, well. Yes. And if you put a little wheelie tag, you can't hang put them up. Anything, so no. huge tags, girls, huge tags. This one obviously had to be Knotted. shortened. So, yes. But it better to be too but long. better to be too long yes, to yes, put a knot yes. in than too And short. so you just then literally, this is beautiful um, a bias bind you've got in your kits. And it just you, you just actually just put it around the top. Yes. And that, that is your Where stocking. is it? How wide is, how wide it's, is it? It's here somewhere. There it is. It's, it's gorgeous. It's very lovely. So remember the two kits, right? This is the Sam the Snowman yep. kit that we're showing you now, this one. And then we've got... £27.95. And, and we've also got... The, now, before we move on to the... Yeah. We've got to move on to the hearts in a second. Um, You've embroidered Dusty. Yes, yes. But if you don't want, if you want to put the person's name, can you put the person's name rather than Dusty? Yes, of course. To... No, of course, it's not. You're not meant to have Dusty on there. This is. Uh, it was a nameplate. Right. So, so you'd have whatever name you loved on there. Right. But all you need to do is either go onto your computer and print off the name and just trace it on. Yeah. And um, you can use those friction pens and yes. write it on. Yeah. Um, but uh, I just see there's an alphabet in here. I don't think there is. It's, no, it's a hand-drawn one. But I have got alphabets in other patterns, yes. so you could have chosen it. But I do think... No, come on, girls. But you could just write, you could just write in an invo invisible... In, uh, not invisible, um, disappearing, yeah, vanishing yeah, pen. So you, so you just have the size you need. And, you, you know, it's lovely if... Uh, this is my stunning little granddaughter, but I just write... Your own writing is... Just, yes. And you'll always say to yourself... 
they say to me, oh, but my writing's not as nice as yours, Mandy. Oh, for goodness sake. But you could do capitals. Yes, yes, capital absolutely. letters if you do. Or, or go to your computer and print off yes. something. Well, there's there's so many things you can yeah, go yeah. to. You can just put yeah. in any kind of um, yeah. font you want to. And you yeah, so, so, so I want you to be sort of um, personalised things. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. So there you are. Right. No. Right now, um, so just to confirm, that's the dusty stocking. Please check out your baskets. Please check out your baskets. These are absolutely flying out. There's Dusty. Yep, that's the kit with everything in the kit for, for Dusty. And then we've also got the Sam. This one here. Sam has almost sold out. Sam has almost gone, just so you know. So you need to check out your baskets. You need to check out those baskets. I'm just tidying up. So the other thing to say to you yeah. is that, OK, so you've got the... Um, you might ha not have... You might have six grandchildren. You need different ones. Yeah. Now, here you are. You've got the most amazing pattern and, and, and instructions on how to make a quick-fix stocking. Oh, so actually, so once you've made the one in the kit... Yeah. If you've then got other children, yeah. just use the pattern yeah, straight away yeah, with other fabrics absolutely. and things like that. Absolutely. And Brilliant. you could have changed this into a reindeer's head or all sorts of things. Reindeers at Christmas? Yes, no, they're very, they're very Christmassy, but I just wouldn't know where to start drawing one. But as you say, go to the internet, trace it. Internet, trace, trace it, it, colouring books, all sorts right, of things. Right, I'm just tidying up now. I do tidy while up. we have a look at some of the pictures, are we going to look at them now? Have a look at some pictures while we tidy up, because I need to get the um, hearts out next. Hang so, hearts. Here's a, oh, look, there's a picture of you and me there. Oh, look at us. Oh, that's us at Festival of Quilts yeah. on Mandy's store. Yeah. Then the top left is the three white mice, which are yeah. in the book. Yeah. Uh, then you've got that lovely um, penguin. That's um, another kit I sell in pattern, and that's we nearly bought that on the show, but we, did, we hadn't got. Okay, the now the green, the green uh, wreath. That's tomorrow, yes, isn't it? Yes, that's, that's tomorrow because the wreath book. Someone's made dusty already. Oh, somebody's yes, made dusty already. Yes. And then what's the bottom left hand? Oh, that's a hanging heart in progress. A large hanging heart in progress. That's a large hanging heart yeah, in, in progress. progress. So yeah. that's tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? The yeah, large hanging heart. And then we've got the lovely vintage bunting on the top right hand side. If you're looking at it, that's vintage bunting as well. So that's all Mandy's. Things. Uh, right, just give, I, I won't say which is which, but the names of the people who sent in the photographs are. Oh, that's Lorraine who sent the picture of you and me in. Oh, Christine, yes. Helen, Anna, Noel, Sue, and there's one more. That looks like mine, is it? No, it doesn't. Perhaps it does. N. N. N, the initial N. Oh, that's okay. Right. Noreen. That's one. Noreen. Noreen, and we've we'll, we'll already got to Noel, so it can't be another Noel. Oh, no, no. Let me put the iron away for a minute. Right, right, we've got 18 minutes left. That's all we've got left. That's, that's Make sure fine. you buy the book. Make sure you buy the book. It's absolutely flying out, the book again. Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. You need to check out your baskets to be secure that you're going to get it. We had hundreds of these, just so you know. We had hundreds of these. If you definitely want it, you need to check out your basket. Also, in the, you're going to need this book in the 11 o'clock show, for oh, some yes, patterns yeah, in the yeah. 11 o'clock show. So kids. make sure yeah. you get to the yeah, kids yeah. Yeah. in the 11 o'clock show. Right, OK, so very quickly, let's move on to these. We've got right. 18 yeah, minutes yeah. to go. That, that's fine, this is yeah. delicious. I am, I'm always bringing hanging hearts and red work on the show. You know I am doing yes. that beautifully. They are just delicious. You'll get six... One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. You get six. Oh, hang on, if I've, I've, we've repeated. That's yours Yeah, that's their mine, yes. That's, yeah. You get so, six in the kit. So it's, it used Where's to be two kit? patterns. Let me get the kit. Let me get the kit. It used to be two patterns, and uh, we put them together for you, especially for the show, so you get six. And these look delicious on the Christmas tree, on green, on the green Christmas tree. They look just delicious. Yes, I've got my, uh, my feng shui tree at home that these would look gorgeous on. Um, I'm just trying to find it. I can't find the kit. That's There's a picture of the kit. But I wanted it in real life, and I'm sure I had it. Uh, that's fine, darling. Anyway, that's, that's fine. Ask, um, can you get Jay to find it for um, us? So this is. So these are delicious. They're, they're, they're delicious little things to get prep in your handbag. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're delicious to put on the Christmas tree. Just look. And oh, we don't put enough white on our Christmas tree. No. The, honestly, if you could see my tree, is I think you might be coming down to fill my house for Christmas. Me? Am I coming? We could come. When, when are they doing it? I don't know, but they're coming to take photographs of Christmas in October. Oh, OK. Yes, oh, no. uh, when, I, when I first moved into my house in yeah. Twickenham, I, um, I moved into a brand new house, and then I was on this morning at the time, and they said, we're going to film all the experts at home for Christmas. So yeah. I've just moved into this new house. September, yeah. they come to my house, put a Christmas tree up, film me decorating the Christmas tree, film the cats yeah. playing the bulbs and everything. Finished filming and left. Yeah. So I'm in a new neighbourhood, didn't know anyone, in the middle of September, 
Got a bloody Christmas tree in the front window. Well, they knew things were dodgy, then, yeah, didn't they? They, knew, yeah, that, they yeah. knew then, didn't they? Anyway. Yeah, so, so these are just <coughs> delicious. They are delicious. And then they're also gorgeous. I, you know, that, that somebody said to me once, I repeat myself, but yeah, no, it's that's great fine. to hear this, that a lady had made these for her first, um, a brand spanking new grandchild. And every year she made a decoration and put it in a box so that when oh. she got her first home, when she's back, to, you know, her first home, she would have a collection of Christmas decks. Oh, how lovely. Isn't that stunning? It's lovely. This is how. The kit will arrive yeah. when you buy it. It's got two patterns in, so that's and uh, that has it has six. There's two patterns in. Okay, there. so you yeah. get all, you get all, yeah. so you get all the fabric. Yeah. Everything. The only thing you don't get, I'm presuming, is the stuffing. Absolutely, no yeah. stuffing. No. But you get everything else yeah. in that kit to make six yeah. hanging hearts. Do you know what? That's very reasonable. Because how much would you pay for one of those in a designer shop? Oh, do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, I know. You and and also, you've got, you got the iron-on transfer. Don't forget. Right. As well. So you've got the iron-on transfer, which you can use up to six times. Up to six. Now there is a, there is a lately. You know this thing about the EU and vacuum cleaners. Did you know about the vacuum? Oh cleaners? yes, yes, yes. Today. <laughs> I think there's a problem with those. It's new irons aren't as hot as old irons. Oh, because the hoovers are too sucky, yeah, aren't yeah, they, they're for your too much. So, so we had a lady who's very experienced phone, in, uh, phone at home and said, oh, transfers aren't as good as they used to be. And we thought, oh, gosh. Oh. So we did an experiment at home. Yes. And we used all our, our old irons, and yes. I used your iron outside, got yeah. a great transfer, but we used my brand spanking new expensive iron, and it was fainter. It's perfectly usable. So I just think if you've got oh, an so old and iron, older. keep it old iron for your iron on transfer. Uh, what we're talking about are these. Yes. You get these in the kit, you yep. see. These are little transfers. Oops. Yes. What, you see, what in the kit, you get two lots of instructions, look. So you get all six of those in the kit. All six of those come in the kit. And then each of them will have one of these little transfers. Yeah. I'll just, should we quickly put, uh, move the iron and I'll show the guys, right, shake then. the iron and I'll just show the girls. So don't forget, um, I, I'm always worried about keep talking about these iron-on transfers, but you, we do know it's got to be a really hot iron. Yes, and don't do it on a squidgy ironing board. Well, and, and what else, hot iron? Hot iron, don't move it around. No. Um, what's really good is you get a chopping board and a, and a linen uh, uh, dish, tea towel, tea towel. On top. Put it on that so it's not, there's no squidge on it. Don't move it around, and what you don't do is halfway through, lift it up like that to have a look, because if you don't put it back in the right place, then obviously it's moved. Use it up to six times. <laughs> is that everything? That's gorgeous. Now, I do like these mats. I've got one of these at home. I don't know if you sell them here. No, we don't sell those. We've got a different version. I bet that's But fine. you wouldn't like... No, right, you won't like the ones we sell. Too springy. Because for this, cause you'll love it for real life, but not for these, because they're too springy. Oh, that's jolly good. So so, um, so if, you have, if you're a girl that's always used your iron-on transfers, bought yourself a new iron, and suddenly things aren't working as well, it could be your iron. Yes, and we've, not your we've, transfers. No, my transfers. Well, it's not. We, we did a little yeah. experimentation, yeah. OK? OK. So you're going to put your transfer onto your... I'm just going to do it on this, so yes. I don't want to cut into a bit of what no, nice no, no, clean linen no, no. to do it. So put your, put your transfer um, face down onto your linen, and you're going to put your iron on top and hold it down. And the middle part of your iron is hotter than your um, the edges and things. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to just check by lifting up slightly. Oh, look at that. Yes, but what, notice what Mandy did was she kept the weight of the iron on the transfer, so the transfer didn't move. Yes, yes. Because if you're ironing it... Right, like, no, 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 and then lift up like that. You'll yeah. never get it back in the same place again. Yeah, I, I actually do that without even thinking. So John's right, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Thank you. To um, pick that up. I hope, um, that bit's, I hope we've recorded that bit yes, and yes, I will yes, use yes. that. <laughs> and so, so I, don't, I don't just pick it up and look. Okay. <laughs> look at that question. Look at that oh, question well, on that? there. Gillian oh, says... Equally tanned. Oh, excuse my tan. Excuse my tan. Cost, it was from the East Wittering. In Chichester? No. Just in a couple of days. And tell me where you've been? San Diego for two weeks. How much? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pay for it. Um, Gillian says, just so you know at home, Gillian <laughs> says, John and Mandy, have you two been on holiday together as you're both equally tanned? He went with another woman. I saw it on for Instagram, you were with another woman. And I said, who is she? That was my sister-in-law, Julie. Oh, I don't care who she was. She um, wasn't, Alex, it wasn't my me. niece. It wasn't me. And my brother, Mike, who was very quiet. Is, anyway, he, is he always quiet? Yes, he's like a quiet version oh. of me. A quiet, clever, rich version of me. Oh, God. Well, he's, uh, he's handy to know, then, isn't he? Is he okay, not? they just said upstairs, could I not be more like my brother? <laughs> so I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet then. He, would, he wouldn't be the same. I'll be quiet. Be the same. You carry on. So I'm just going to show you lovely, lovely threads. This is cotton a bro day. You're looking sulking. I'm being quiet. Okay. <laughs> this is cotton a bro day. <laughs> and and why, why is it? Because it's, it's not. 
What's the word? Stranded. It's well done. It's, it's not, not stranded. Stranded. It's just. And there was a woman who re ruined her honeymoon because she took away uh, this and tried to split it. It ruined her honeymoon, didn't holiday. it? Holiday. Oh, holiday, not honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Be a bit of a, done, going on your honeymoon. Well, I'm taking my thread work. Stitching you in bed. And then there's many a time that my husband's got caught out with a needle. <laughs> you know, I could say something there, but it is only quarter to nine in the morning. He, well, um, I met Mandy's husband. He's very handsome. He is a gorgeous boy, isn't he? Isn't he oh, the Sam stocking is sold out. Oh. The Sam stocking is sold out. Okay. Well, is that a hint to get on with work? <laughs> Huh? Is that a hint to get on with some No, work? no, just because they weren't there to buy it, that's oh, all. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, no, we've talked about your husband. Oh, yeah, he's gorgeous. Yes, yeah, he's very he's gorgeous. Yeah, very gorgeous. Not, not the kind of man you can imagine I've been married, doing so I've been married long. I've been married 19 when I met him. 19. So you've been married, married at no, 17? No, married at 19. <gasps> Yeah, married at 19. If my kids came home to me, I've got four babies, I'm getting married at 19. I'd say, oh, no, darling, don't. 19. You got married at 19? Yeah. You see, I do worry. I've, I won't say who they are, because they're, they're a well-known couple, but they got married at 19, yeah. and they're both... They're younger than you. They're, yeah. they're kind of... But, and they're, they're older than you, sorry. They're older than you. But they... They're kind of... They're like best friends now. They're not... It's not oh, like no. a marriage anymore. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> what I was going to say to you... Don't... I hope he's not watching. What I was going to say... Be clean. Be clean. What is it? You do go... You go... <laughs> You go through different phases, yes, don't you? Yes. When you've got children, it's yes. all... But when, it, when your children are grey, it's all real lighting. Real... <laughs> Should we stop? Yes. <laughs> Ten minutes left, half a stock uh, of bees have right, gone. OK, um, so, so what we're going to do is use just an arm's length of cotton <laughs> of bread. Eh? <laughs> uh, love my needles. You know about these, don't you? What are they called, John? Oh, no. The, the needles. I love to buy a John James English needle. Yes. Love everything English, yeah. and they are ordinary. They had a name, didn't they? Chenille. 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 It, Chenille. And it's number 24. Don't be quiet, you two. <laughs> you make me laugh. That's from a customer. Oh, no. <laughs> um, it's size 24. It's a perfect needle, perfect thread, perfect situation. Yes. Short, sharp, large eyes, so a little eyes are wearing out, can see beautifully. Yes. And they're nice and short. Yeah. And you're going to do little... There's not a needle in the kit, then? There isn't a needle in the no. kit. Because Maybe you should think of that in the future. We could think of that in the future. Thank you, John. I'll take that one for yes. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't mind. I know you I'll do I'll just sit there this. every evening, put in little needles and get... That's fine. I yeah. can do that. Yeah. I can do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going... This, this... Yeah, so, so for someone who's never, ever, ever watched yeah. this before... Yeah. How do you do it? Yeah, it's That's deadly. Well, I start thing, off with a knot. I started off with a knot in my thread. Yes. On my thread, OK? And what we're going to do is a simple back stitch. So you're going to go back. Now, some people stitch really neatly. Some people stitch a little bit unevenly. And what are you? I I'm a little bit mixed. I'm pretty... Not too bad now, but Mel, who works for me, is really neat. Now, did I meet Mel? No. No, you didn't. You no. met Kate. Kate, Kate. I've got Kate, some lovely Kate, people Kate. in my life. You met Kate. But Mel's equally lovely. Ah. Well, so, I'll see you when, I come to, when we come to your house to photograph yes, Christmas. Yes. <laughs> I'm just um, inviting myself along um, now. It's half a grain of long grain rice. Yes. Not, okay. not um, risotto, yeah. not arborio. Yeah. And, and not, not wild. Wild. Oh, yeah. no, we're not wild, though. Um, and we'd, we'd really like to stitch... Go, when we stitch, go back in the same hole in there. If you don't do it, you get little gaps. Now, yes, I don't, don't mind. I wouldn't go through any of your work and say, oh, God, you've got a gap there. It, they just look gorgeous. And if you looked at those closely, you might find a gap. But I'm aiming for you to create something lovely and have some little standards. There's a gap where? Well, th I can't find one. <laughs> can you find one? No, I they say there's a, there's a stitch there, gap there. Oh, there's an actual gap where there's not a stitch. You would find that. Yes, That's thank fine. you, Timothy. Stop so, being okay. pedantic. So we're, so we're just going to be um, stitching as a little back stitch. And what People are saying to me at the stand and the shows and online how therapeutic this is. Oh, can so you imagine? If you, if you just get it. <laughs> no, 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 because I do wig making and that's really therapeutic. There's nothing like, there's nothing, nothing to do with red work. No, you do one knot at a time. Oh, I you see. You do not one hair at a time, yeah. it's very, very yeah. therapeutic. So something about this makes you, it's very gorgeous. So that's why I always prepar prepare stuff like this. I have it on my journey up here. Needle thread, a little pair of scissors in the handbag, in a yeah. plastic bag like that. Yeah. And I always have something to stitch. So it's, it's very lovely. So no book to read, you do stitching on the train? I, I, can't, I listen to books, can't, I can't oh, do the, oh, yes, you yes, know, yes. that shakiness. Yeah. But um, I'm reading a very good book at the minute, The Underground Railroad. Underground Railroad. Railroad. But it's very... Harrowing. Oh. But we need to um, we need to remember these things happen. Okay. okay. So that's 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 lovely. And you're going to stitch all the way round and all the way round the heart here. 
Okay, so that, that's a couple of hours, a nice little journey. But I'm going to show you how to turn them into here, but I've actually got a, a larger version just to... Yes, yeah, uh, just to show you how to, do it. how to do it. So that's... You're not getting this in your kit. No. But So you're going to stitch all of that. Now, you could have made that into a little square, put little borders around it, and made little cushions. Yes. Don't forget, the transfers work up to six times each long your iron's nice and hot. Yes. So you've got... You've actually got 12 of six... six 30, 36 items, and you could make these for school fates. A charity, we <clears throat> love charity yeah, exactly, work. Exactly, exactly. Um, a bundle of these and a little box for, for a Christmas present. One of these for a neighbour for a present, wrapped round a bottle of wine. Oh, yes. Or well, six bottles of wine. Six bottles of wine. Uh, so the ribbon and everything you need comes in the, yes, yes, in the yes, kit, yes, doesn't yes. it? So when you finish the whole thing, you're going to, you're going to uh, put it right sides together with your um, backing fabric, yes. which is your... You've got white linen here. Yes. This is something slightly different, so just wear. And you're going to stitch close... You can see on here, close. You can't see it. On this one, say it's this one. Where yeah. would you stitch just on that one? Just close to the little hump. We'll just wait for yeah. the camera to come to it. Just round yeah. here, oh, just oh, outside the scallop the edge humps, there. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to stitch all the way around. You are then going to slit the back to turn it in the, the right. Oh way. yes, yes, yes. Now this is a big version. Yeah. Obviously, your slit won't be as big as that on these little yeah. ones. I'm going to slit the back. Yeah. Uh, but this is the bit I wanted to show you. Then what I'm you're sorry. going to do before you've even stuffed it, you are going to do a little running stitch around the edge here. Round the solid line underneath yes, the scallops. Yes, yes, yes. A little, take a small bit on the front and a little large on the back. And you won't, it'll never be seen, don't worry, it feels like it could be seen. It'll never so be is seen. So is it this line here yes, you're doing? Yes, indeed. So, so on the back it looks like that. Yeah. And what happens is when you, front, when you stuff on, oh, sorry, it, you get the, the back, edge. That, that. So when you stuff it, you get that gorgeous edge. So you get like a pie frill yes, edge, yes. don't you? Because some people send their, their hanging hearts in and they haven't done it and I, I twitches me. Oh, really? I get twitched. But if they don't want that pie edge crust... They can be creative, but they don't realise that this is, this is the little piece of resistance that makes it gorgeous. So that's how you just make that... Did you call it a pie crust? Yes. We like that. Should we call it John's yeah. pie crust? We could do, if you like. So. Shirley says, John and Mandy loving the girl talk as well as the sewing. Oh. There'll be more. Oh, there'll be more, there'll be more. Do you like my lips? You didn't say I lost weight. You haven't? I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Show uh, no, up. Show over. I don't want to... <laughs> Come on, I don't want to do any more. Right, OK, so there you are. And so then, so then what you're going to do, you're gently going to stuff it by the slip. Me, <laughs> Thank you. you don't late. even notice. Too it's typical because typical, you don't notice a girl. You didn't notice that I'd lost weight? I didn't even look at you. No, exactly. Yeah. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cover... You cut, look at this now. You're going to stuff it beautifully and then you're going to slow, sew your slit together. Yes. With a just over-sew or a, la a lad stitch. Might not be as attractive as you'd like, yes. but then you're going to put your tape on top. Yes. And yeah. how you do that is very important. You're right, are you ready for this? Because there's a poem that goes with this. Oh, is there? Oh, yes. Oh, there is. You're right. Right, OK. So you're going to take cut a piece of tape and that's going to be pinned on um, like that little bit at the top. So it's, it's in two pieces. So that's your hanger, OK? And the next bit of tape is this. Ready? Two ears. Two ears. Cross it over, yep. tuck it in, pull tight. Look at that bow. Hang on now, how nice that bow is. Really, two ears, cross them over, tuck it through the hole and pull tight. Yep. And that is, going, that is what is actually on the back, that then goes on the back there and covers the slit. Stitch it through. Stitch it off. That's it. So it's two parts. Yeah. It's in two parts. Okay. Yes. It's oh, yes, yes, yes. So the you weren't and concentrated the and you completely ignored that. I was, yeah, because I'm still <laughs> smarting from what you just said, having <laughs> never no. looked at me. Well, you don't ever look at I come and you don't look at it. Obviously, I've got... Uh, I'm all slimmed up. Do what? Not just for you, but you for everyone. What? I'm all slimmed up. You can't even see it, can you? It's typically... I was going to say typical man, but... <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? Lucy, what's she trying to say? It's the Jean conversion. <laughs> Who's Jean? Morning, just love, 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 red work. Many thanks, Mandy and John from Penny. Um, you do look gorgeous. Thank you, darling. How much have you and lost you look them? gorgeous. I'm not going to talk about it now. It's, it's all finished. It's, the moment's gone. But I only saw you a couple of weeks ago. Have you, oh, did you have a treat? Have you had a treat? <laughs> have you had one of those? <laughs> on East Wittering Beach, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mean a colonic. I meant... Um, <laughs> I meant, um, no, I've been a good girl. Liposuction. I, no, I haven't had liposuction. Thank That's you. That's why you were... They thought when I went on my holidays, they've all been talking about me while I went, then he's gone to America to have a facelift, right? And he's going to put on Facebook, all this, 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 that was all done pictures in one day. They thought I was... They were really disappointed when I came back still looking like this. 
But you, I only saw you a couple of weeks ago. That's okay. But you always look gorgeous. That's so. fine, that's fine. Anyway, anyway, you get all six of these in yes, here. Yes, you do, you do. So, let's have a quick look at them. Uh, hang on, that's, no, that's a repeat. Yeah. So there they are. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. What's there the six, sixth There one? is a sixth one. It's there somewhere. It's, let's have a, a drummer. Oh, there it is. Have you not made the sixth one? I have made it. Oh, it's it. still there. It's still over there. It's still it's there, still there Jay. Jay. The yeah. drummer one, quickly, yeah, yeah, yeah. please, the part. This is a Sugar Plum Fairies theme actually yes. going on here, so it'll be very gorgeous. Uh, and then I've got to talk to you about the book as well. Yes, yes, of course. Do, yeah. Now, don't worry, Mandy's back in uh, an hour's time yeah. doing more. Now, we're doing uh, little... Um, baubles. Baubles. More baubles. Uh, we're doing complement a, this. Uh, a four-picture quilty thing. Yeah, wall hanging. And, and snowman garland. Snowman garland. Yes, yeah. But... The book, right, right, last time we had this book, we brought more this time. It sold out. Uh, they, you need to check out. If you want this book, you need to check out your baskets. It's really, really, really important. Um, and we've already had sellouts already. The, the Sam, the Sam's all sold out and everything, and everything else is well on the way to selling out. We will go through this book again in uh, Mandy's next hour. Yeah. Because we haven't really gone through the pages, have we? And we are doing two projects from it. So you need the book for the project yes, on the next look, hour. That is coming up it's in gone the next shopping. hour. Yeah. Uh, Mandy, I noticed you'd lost weight. Well Thank done you, from darling. Brenda in Sussex. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Yes. Uh, who's it's... Brenda? Did you pay her to send us these? <laughs> anyway, this gorgeous book, £12.95. Don't go anywhere. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, darling. Uh, she'll be back in an hour's time. Yeah. Lucy's coming up now. Uh, now, which quilt? Oh, we're doing the star... The... Star? Star block. Star block. Go nowhere. Lucy, I haven't seen Lucy for ages. Apparently, she lost her voice when I, was, when I wasn't here. So I don't know if she's... Is she, can she speak? You'll find out in three minutes. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. Now first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pincushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there, so obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm going to take that through. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I want to make sure that this is parallel. So I'm going to come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. If I just keep doing a few stitches. So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric. So when I pull my thread, you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. Go back to sewing school this Monday with guidance from two experts. Designer Paul Clark impressed the nation with his dressmaking skills on the Great British Sewing Bee. Now he's here to share his sewing secrets with us as he makes one of his signature bowling shirts followed by a delightful dinosaur soft toy. We're also joined by sash co expert Susan Briscoe, who will give us a masterclass in this traditional Japanese technique. As the author of The Ultimate Sashko Source Book and Simply Sashko, Susan is a real authority in her field and will help you master the art in no time. So join us at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. for Paul Clark's Sewing School and at 9am and 11am for Susan's Sashko Masterclass, Monday the 4th of September, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
I haven't seen her for ages, that Lucy Brennan, but I'm on my holidays, I'm getting texts saying, Lucy's lost her voice, Lucy can't speak, Lucy's... People, she's pointing. I heard she did a lot of pointing. And when, when she was on with Derek, Derek had to say everything. She didn't say a word. Anyway, look at this. This is called a flying star block. Looks very complicated, if you ask me, doesn't it? Right, OK, we're just, we're go I'm going to show you. Now, I have got four bundles here to show you. There was a fifth one as well, but I just need something sorting out. So, I'll do this one first. This is one that Lucy is about to um, demonstrate with. Uh, what you get is you get two and a half metres of fabric. You get half a metre of each of these fabrics. You get half a metre of the Scandi lace fabric. You get half a metre of the turquoise. You get half a metre of the red linear. You get half a metre of the red spot on. And you get half a metre of the, I think that one might be vanilla or cream linear print. Uh, really, really gorgeous. £23.95. There's a picture of it there. Scandi lace fabric, two and a half metres. So that's the one you're about to see Lucy making it out of. So I'll just take you through the others. Now, this is gorgeous. I've not seen this one before. This has got, like, melons and papayas and lemons and strawberries and... Isn't it lovely? That's fresh, isn't it, that pattern? So what you get in this one is you get half a metre of the fruity fabric, you get half a metre of the spectrum solid... And of the, in the cream or the vanilla. You get half a metre of the spectrum solid in the yellow. You get half a metre of the spectrum solid in that lovely aqua blue. And then half a metre of that, the lilac uh, spot on. That's called the fruit salad. And that's £21.45, right? Then this one, I'm loving this one. The butterfly, this one is. I've not seen this fabric before either. So you get, on this one, you get half a metre of the butterfly print. You get half a metre of the green um, linear print. You get half a metre of that lovely pistachio green. Half a metre of that lovely blue there. And then half a metre of, like, the kind of violet um, or lavender spot on there. £23.95. And, and then last but not least, I've got the blue gingham one. This is the blue gingham one. Uh, so what you get in this, you get the raspberry spot on. You get the lovely, like, marine blue. You get the beautiful, like, baby blue spot on there. The, uh, I think that's uh, mercury or something like that. It's not blue there. And then you've got the blue gingham. £20.95. and pence, Two and a half metres of the fabric. So that's it. There might be another bundle that's coming up later on, but I'll let you know about that once we've... Um... Oh, I've shown you about the book. Uh, the pattern is from the book. The pattern is from this brilliant, brilliant book. It's a thousand any size quilt blocks. Just a thousand. And what it is, is if you go, oh, if you go through the book, though, look at, you see, I, you remember the quilt when we made, well, it hasn't been made yet, but we made the blocks for the quilt, for the sewing quarter quilt, right? I took mine from this book. What you do is you choose the one you want. Then there's a CD-ROM in the back there. You put the CD-ROM in, you choose which size you want it in, and you print the pattern up from the CD-ROM. It's absolutely brilliant. £21.95. I'll go through the book more thoroughly with you in, in a little while, only because um, uh, there's lots and lots of different... There's applique in there, there's also paper piecing, all sorts of things in there. Anyway... Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Right, how are you? I can talk, so I'm and, fine. Well, did you just have, like, laryngitis or something? Yes. I had a, but just had a bad cold and then... And it, you didn't stop talking and it yeah, carried on. Yeah, didn't stop talking. OK, is this block simple, easy, hard? It's relatively easy. But? But um, the book comes with templates, but yes. it doesn't have specific instructions oh, okay. about how to... Oh, so to it's not good for a beginner beginner, then, make if you've it. never I think it's better before. for somebody that's done a bit of quilting, probably more advanced um, quilters. There's a lot of inspiration yeah. um, in there, loads of beautiful blocks. Um, but, yes, you do need to have an understanding of, of block construction to be, yes. able to, to be able to use the book, really. OK, brilliant. So where do we start? So the one I'm making is the um, Flying Stars right, I'm going to show you in the book, number tw page 24 in the book. Which one? This one. Oh, yes. Couldn't see it there, sorry. So now, can you choose which fabric goes where? So you can choose which fabric goes where, yes, absolutely. That looks different to yours. 
Oh, no, no, no. It's well, I just swapped. I yes. swapped that because the pink blended in quite a lot. Yes. So rather than have two together, I swapped those. OK. So they were... But um, you can basically choose where they go, can't yes, you? Yes, so right. basically you can choose where they go. So, so that's... You know, it takes a little bit of working out. Yes. Um, I would recommend probably uh, photocopying it and colouring it in. Into so you've your got a colours, guide yes. for yourself. I didn't do that, so we're just going to... Okay. Sort of wing it and All right, see then. how we get see on. See how we get on. Um, and then what I did was I looked at the block and I and I broke it down because there are some um, parts of the block. It's like a five by five. If you break it down into half square triangles, Should we just yeah, show on this show one. On there. So if you take that, each of these is a is you know a, a block. That so each of those yeah. corners. So yeah. each square is a block. So they're all half square triangles. Oh yes. Apart from the, the centre one. one is a square. So everything else is made up of half square How triangles. How funny, because it doesn't look like that, does it? No. But they're all half square triangles, but just using different combinations yes. of the fabrics. Yes, exactly. So what I did was broke it down into which ones you need... F some you need four of and some you need two. So now, does it tell you that in the...? No. Right, OK, so you've got to really, really, really sit down and concentrate yes, at the beginning. Yes, you have to concentrate a little bit. So, um, for example, here you've got four. Yes. So I would... It's quicker for me to use the four-in-one half-square triangle method... Yes. ..and make four at once. And also, it saves you fabric. Of course. You, you're using less fabric. So um, those are four-in-one and these ones and these ones. Yeah. So there are some that you can make four-in-one and then the rest you don't need... Um, you know, this one... No, that's a four-in-one. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Some of them are two. So this one. Yeah, pink that's and a purple. Two, and, and that, that one, yeah. and that one, and that one. Yeah. So you need to decide on your fabric placement. You can, of course, if you want, do them all two at a time. Yes. Or you could cut triangles. There is a there's a template um, on the CD. So in the beginning, when, it, when you do up your template, does it say you need four of type A, four of type B? So it doesn't. So you literally, this is why you're saying sit down, colour it in, and yes. then you work out that you need four of the pink and the pink spot. You need four of the gingham and the pink, but you only yeah. need two of that. So yeah. you have to sit it down It will tell you... Out. It tells you which templates you need, yeah. and so then you can look at the templates. And they all have diagrams. So you could just... You don't even need to photocopy that. You can just yeah. print off the diagram, um, and that gives you, like, the full size um, that you can then colour in if you want to, um, or make your own little guide. But, yes, you need to work out how much you need. Right. Um, and, and the other thing is there's no sizes. So you can do whatever... You can make them to whatever... I mean, if you're using the templates, obviously, yes, that's a yes, set size. Yes, yeah. But if you're just going to construct the block, you can make it to whatever size, size you want. So for somebody that's a bit more advanced, actually, that's a great thing because you're not restricted to only making a nine-inch block or whatever. Yes. Oh, no, no, so. that's what I'm saying. When you put the CD-ROM in, it tells you what size do you want, a four-inch, you want a six-inch, you yeah, want an eight-inch, yeah. you want a nine-inch. So you, your templates will then be the right size yes, for that yeah. one that you're making. Yeah. But okay. I'm going rogue and not using templates. Oh, OK. So um, I'm going to use the four-in-one method, where we put them right sides together yeah. and sew around the outside and cut, and the um, two-in-one. Okay. So the thing that then you've got to work out is where they go. Where they go. So for this one, I'm doing um, the darker blue bit there is going to be um, the you brighter yeah. blue, I think, and then that... Um, Mottled blue. Mottled blue, I might do as the, as okay. the right. Christmas fabric. So um, we're just going, Go I'm just it. sort of making it up because as we go along. Using the different fabrics, that block looks different. It looks different. Even if it's exactly the same block, just putting the, the colours in a different order, yes, which is it. why it's a good idea to colour it in first. Because you might think, well, I love all these fabrics. But then the combination of them, you might think, well, that doesn't work. Exactly. So if you've coloured them in, you'll be able to actually see the block. You'll be able to really see. And I do think... I mean, we were talking a little bit about direction, weren't we, yes. earlier? Um, with directional fabrics. I know I did, but I'm just going to anyway. Um, you know, it's where you want the focus to be. So actually, now I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to use the Christmassy one, and I'm going to do all four of those in the Christmas okay. one, so that will be, like, the, out, yes. the outside, and then the blue's going to be that striking okay. bit there. But it's up to you to have a play and decide what you want to go where. And the nice thing about having a bundle like that is you could do 
all different variations. Exactly. So they don't all have to be the same. If oh, you, yes, 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 yes. If you, if you were to do that, you might want to keep the outer um, corners the same because that's going to create to a diamond. A, yes. But then equally, if you had different ones, it would just mean you'd have... You know, it sort of looked like a scrappy so diamond. you've got middle. two and a half metres of fabric, half a metre of each of the fabric. Yeah. How many of those blocks do you think we could... Oh. See, it depends what size you're going to oh, do yes. them, so I can't, I can't okay. really say. And, and I didn't use the templates, so... No, OK, um, that's fine. So I'm not sure. But, but the other nice thing is you don't have to just do that block. You could be oh, doing... Oh, no, if you get the book, you, know, yeah. a, you could do a um, kaleidoscope log cabin. You could do a kaleidoscope log cabin. You could do all different all different variations, and it's a it's a really nice way of um, testing your skill as well, and you know trying out different yes, plots. Yes, um, that's one of the fun things yes, about being exactly. a quilter is okay. the ability. So to do where that. do we start then? So I'm just on your rogue. On my rogue one, what I'm doing is cutting. Um, I'm going to trim them all down to three and a half inches. So all of those little half square triangle blocks, the squares, um, are three and a half inches unfinished right. three inches finished right. so in order to do that when I'm doing two at a time the uh, two at a time half square triangles I have to cut four and a half inch squares right okay when I'm doing the four at a time I cut six inch squares okay we'll go through this yeah, yeah. so just to make the um, two at a time yeah I've just cut four and a half inch strip already yeah and then I'm just from so that's four and a half inches, the full uh, width of the fabric, yeah. and then I'm just subcutting that into yeah. four and a half inch squares. I'm not even sure how many I need at this point. I'm just okay. going. <laughs> well, if you're doing that, being completely oh, yes. rogue. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. those those ones um, are all the two at a two at a time. Although I could do those four you at a time yes, you now. Could, but I've done it now. You've done it now. I've done it. So. With the two at a time, I'm just going to lay these on top of each right. other. So it's right sides together. Right sides together. I might do a dotty one as well. And then um, you want to draw a line... Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> draw a line diagonally from corner to corner. I'm going to use a pencil. That's not going to show up very well, but it's a nice yellow... Um, oh, you can just about see it. Um, and we're not actually stitching on that line. We're going to stitch um, a quarter inch away on either side. So I'll do two at once just okay. to speed up a bit. Should we do the other one? Yeah, do a bit of tailgating. Yes. Make sure you've got them right sides together. Yeah. With the paler print, it is... If I'm sewing at night, which I very often do, I'll, I'll quite often put things back to front without realising oh. it. Because oh, of it, that's the light hard. on? Well, no, but it's quite diff you know. Yes. It's quite hard to see the distinction. Oh yes, on the, the, that, on the linear print. Yes, yes. Well, obviously, you want the linear print. Yeah. We sell lamps here, you know. But if I know, I probably do need one. So I hang on, so you just, you've just drawn a line diagonally across the middle of diagonally the diagonally across the middle, and I'm going to sew a quarter either inch side, either right? side. Yes. Have you got your quarter inch foot on? So I don't, um, because I find when I'm doing this sewing over the fabric, it sometimes it catches. Um, I know some people are happy to use a quarter-inch foot to do this, but I prefer to use um, the regular foot. Yeah. But it, this machine has a quarter-inch setting, so I just okay. change it to that. So I'm still using the edge of the foot as a guide. And then you don't really need to backstitch beginning and end because no, I'm going to trim not. the block anyway. I just always do it out of habit. Yes, because Tilly yesterday wasn't doing wasn't going backwards and forwards. And I said, would you not go backwards? Well, she'll know because they're going into a seam. I don't, yes. I don't need to. I still do it even when it's going into a seam. Why is that? I don't know. Because I, I do as well, but that's because that's how I was trained I to think do it. sometimes if I'm, um, you know, moving the fabrics around a lot or very often I might have to stop and go and do something else and yeah, come and back. Look after a child. Look after a child, pesky child. That was a lovely something picture like you've that. got of your children on oh, Instagram. Oh, thank you. So, they look like their dads, because they're they, very pretty, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I say, they I love look your like frock. Their dad. Thank you. Did you make, oh, you don't Jenny. do this, mate. No, do. I don't yet. I'm it's going very, to is try. It new? Yes, it is. I just like it's good, because it's got utilitarian, but it's got that feminine ruffle little on frill. Yeah. yeah, we like a little frill. Anyway, now, a, a minute ago, I'll go back over in a second, because we had an issue with one of the 
the, this, this, um, this kit that um, Lucy's used, right, this, this bundle, is, it's, been, it's been changed, basically. So you see there's purple in there. The purple isn't in the, the kit. You're only getting four fabrics in there. You still get two and a half metres of fabric in the... You get a metre in the azalea linear, then. Or the... Pr or the... Yes, in the linear. The azalea linear, you get a metre of it. So you don't get five colours in that one. You only get four. But does it still work, then? Hang on. It just means that that, that stripe there will be the same as another stripe, won't it? You'll just have to work out your fabrics. Um, but if you just want them... The thing is, if you don't want to do this block, it's still two and a half metres of... Look, just again, sorry. There's still two and a half metres of really lovely lilac um, gingham there, the raspberry sprot, the azalea uh, linear print, and the lovely pink. So if you're not making this block, it's still two and a half metres of fabric for £22.95. Right, carry on. OK. So um, I've done that, and so now I'm going to cut on the line that I yes. drew. So, let's do that, and then we can give those a press. That's your cue to take the mat out. Well, what did you say? Because I said I've got to give them a press. Oh, sorry, You're not paying any attention to, no, to me whatsoever. Pause, wittering away. <laughs> <laughs> so, with these, I'm going to press to the dark side and press from, um, from the top. Caught it with my giant ruffly sleeve. What? Caught what? Caught the ruler. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a hazard. <laughs> hazard. We should put big yellow triangles on your hazard <laughs> warning. <laughs> when I first tried it on, I was like, oh, they're rather large, but I quite like it. I love it. Thank you. Is it new? Yeah, you've already asked me that. I've said yes. Did you? Yeah. Didn't I ask it already? <laughs> oh, I think I better go oh, home. Oh, you're having a moment. I'm a bit tired. Oh, I haven't slept properly yeah. since Have I've been not? back now. I'm awake, wide awake at two o'clock every oh, morning. No. So I get up and ready to go and everything, and now I'm beginning to flag because it's like seven o'clock in the yeah. evening for me now. Jet lag's awful this way. I know. It's worse, I, I never isn't used it? to get it. I think it must be a thing about getting old. Uh, I've all, I always get it. You've all, well, you've always yeah. been old. I've you? always been old, yeah. Yeah, little so, Paul's got jet lag and he's not been anywhere. <laughs> Once we've done that, we're going to um, trim them. Right. So, very handily on the ruler there, we've got a 45 degree um, line. Right. <laughs> That's the word. And um, I'm, I'm trimming these back to three and a half. And it's the trimming that's going to give you the accuracy in the block. So, for people that find, um, you know, matching points and, and corners and things like that tricky. If you can make something like this, the half square triangle block, larger and then trim, trim it, it back, down. you're going to have, you know, it's going to be much more accurate. And when you're trimming, don't, don't go to the corner. Right. Just, you know, you know, we know we're doing three and a half, so we can trim some either side. Right. And what's important is making sure that seam line is on the 45 degree angle and so that it's right in the corner yeah. there and that's what's going to give us and really these nice creative points. grids rachel the ruler rulers are brilliant for that because they've got the angles the the, the inches and everything like that yes i won't use anything else okay. no. <laughs> oh. i love no i love because they don't move yes. and it you know for safety and you, you know you're using a rotary cutter it's a sharp mm. tool knowing that that ruler now is going to stay in yeah. place once you've pressed it down it's got the grip all the way around yeah. there so it makes it really easy Did you have a nice time at Festival of Quilts? I did. I had a wonderful it time. Brilliant? It was brilliant. I need to go for longer, really. It was only well, there everybody, for a day. Uh, uh, all the ladies, a lot of the ladies I met, like they all stay over, don't they? And, yes. they? and they stay for two or three days. Yeah. It's huge, though. I mean, isn't even it? to just see all the quilts, you really you need that time. Yes, to... especially if you go, because uh, uh, I was there on the Friday and the Sunday, mm -hmm. and the Friday was like heaving, you couldn't move, and the Sunday was much, much quieter, and I thought the Sunday would have been busier. So Sunday was a good day to wander around and actually look at yes. quilt and I, quilts. I was there on the Saturday, it wasn't that. Yeah. It wasn't that busy. I think last time I'd gone on the, the Thursday. Oh, was no, the, the, the Friday was very you could hectic. hardly move. Yeah. yeah. But lovely, and it's nice catching up with my quilty friends yes. and seeing everybody and seeing what's new, having a browse. Um, this rotating mat, just at £32.95. It's absolutely brilliant, especially for things it like just, this where you just want to Where take you've it. got a lot of trimming to do, which is. 
most yes. things. Um, it is, it's just such a time, it makes it so easy. And again, you've really, you know, you've just really got that accuracy, you know, where you're cutting. So I just have to keep doing that. Can't do it any faster. No. But you can see how perfect, you know, perfect yeah, they oh are. Oh, yes. No, and it's worth it. It's so worth it to have the, it is. the kind of right tools to do the job. And also because if easy. you're making them to the exact size, even pressing can distort them. So you're much better making them a, a, a tiny bit bigger and then, and then pressing them. So the fabric you see mount is a Scandi lace fabric, two and a half metres, 23 pounds and 95 pence. You get half a metre of each of the fabrics. Here's the still. Half a metre of the spot, half a metre of the vanilla uh, linear print, half a metre of the true red linear print, the half a metre of the Scandi and half a metre of the... Um, I'm not sure if it's aqua or turquoise, but you don't have to worry about the names. It's what? Oh, turquoise. You don't have to worry about the names because you automatically get them anyway. I love how you say that. That's little Paul said that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't mentioned your jacket, Little Paul. No, he's not got a turquoise jacket, but he's just got a... A very handsome new jacket. Say that again. A very handsome new jacket he has. Are you saying Little Paul's handsome? So I'm going to do... I said the jacket was handsome. <laughs> And little Paul. Thank you. Oh, yes, can you hear him? Going, oh, what's he doing? <laughs> 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 no wonder I have sorry. Is at the end of a show with little Paul. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to do the four in one. Yes. And you you will see how much quicker this method is. Yes. So um, I know it's a bit unconventional, and you do end up with the bias um, edges. Oh, oh yes. But you can use starch if that's something that um, you'd you'd rather do. Um, but it isn't something to to be afraid of, and it, and it, it is time saving yes. and, and fabric saving as well. And fabric saving, yeah. it does. Um, obviously, I'd be having to cut out um, n what, nine inch to get that same, whereas this is only six inch. Yes. So you are saving fabric. So I've got the the linear print there and this uh, beautiful blue. Uh, turquoise. Turquoise. So these are um, six inch squares. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just sew all the way around all the edges. Yes. So I do like to pin. Sometimes I don't, but it, it can shift. So just put a pin in each, each corner, corner like that to stop it from going anywhere. And then you can use your quarter inch foot or move your needle yes. to the quarter inch and I tend to start oh. in the middle of a side okay um, just so I can pivot on each of the corners that means you get a very neat corner then doesn't yes. it? yes yeah. yeah so the only tricky bit is knowing when to when turn to stop. Yeah. yeah but you can sort of guesstimate and see I need to go a little bit further yeah. so I hand crank oh now also you've just reminded me while I was away, Little Paul had to fall. Did he? Because only on his Facebook page, because it was like, oh, I can't go anywhere, Oh, yes, mate. he did. Yeah. Was he badly damaged? It was quite bad, yeah. Where was it? On his knees? Um, on his arm. Oh, on his arm? Oh. Yeah. And he banged his head. Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> He's got a new hairdo as well, Little Paul, everyone at home. It's, it, he's saying it's not that different. It's completely just a great big quiff on the top of his head. <laughs> oh, great big quiff. Well, for somebody who's not got much hair, that's a big quiff. <laughs> you need some sleep, don't you? <laughs> Picking on everybody today. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> just fighting back, that's all. Fighting Standing back. my ground. Thread. And this is where the rotating cutting mat is wonderful because yeah. we're going to cut this diagonally, but ideally you don't really want to move. Um... In the real world, would you press that now? No. No, okay. No, just keep it as it is. Okay. Um, 
So then I'm going to cut from corner to corner. And again, we'll be trimming this um, back down. Oh, OK. To the, th to the three and a half. And then spin. So this is where the um, rotating mat comes into its own, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got four. So much quicker than doing the doing the two in one. So then again, I'm just going to press all of these. If you've got any questions for Lucy, do send them in. Just move that up my way. Thank you. It's stuck on the plug now. <laughs> You're not very good with that. This is, this is not a very good outfit. <laughs> I tell you what, this would be rubbish as well. So if you put your hand across that, then you're going to take the pins and everything with you, aren't you? <laughs> oh, actually, should I just trim it off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's different. I thought it was denim. It, well, I think it is denim, but no, it's like it's a, a canvas. I do you think it's canvas? Mm. I've no idea what it is. Some sort of a cottony thing. You want what? Some sort of cotton. Yes. Yes. And she, you can't see her. She's got like little dancing shoes on today. <laughs> little <laughs> nude patent uh, dancing I pumps know, with I a got... big bow on the front of gold embellishments. I got them because my last pair completely fell apart. Oh, right. And we were walking and um, we went to London. So we were walking around went London, to London a lot. That's London. Went to, went to <laughs> Big Smoke. Yeah. And um, yeah, my shoes completely fell apart. So I had to get some new ones. And then my little one uh, yesterday went, Mummy, now when you're going on the telly, you are going to wear your new pretty shoes. <laughs> Nobody can even Nobody see can see them. Well, I can take one off and turn <laughs> show them. That. So how sweet is that? Aww. She loves them. Oh, are they back at school today? Um, well, it's Saturday, so oh, hopefully yes, it's nobody's at school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a Monday. It's because on the radio <laughs> yesterday, they said it was the last day of the summer holidays. Are your children back to school this week? Yeah, they will be later in the week, yes. Yes. And I shall, oh, I shall miss them. No, weekends on they're a all, Saturday. They're all different. Some are back on Monday, some are back Tuesday, some are back Wednesday. Yeah. I think they stagger That must it. be really annoying as a parent, having to get one ready for one day and one ready for another. Yeah, well, mine are all the same school, so that's oh, easy enough. I thought you were saying yours were at different No, days. no, no, different schools have different... They oh, go so back yeah. on different days. So... Yeah, we always used to go back on... After some holidays, it would always be a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Well, I it? think it's quite nice, actually, because it's a bit of a shock going back to yeah. school, isn't it? So then they, at least yes, they get... When you're a child, six weeks seems never-ending, doesn't it? I know, it, really? and that they're, they're so little, you know, a four-year-old... Yeah. So anyway, so it'll, it'll be nice for them because they get to see all their friends and yeah. everything, but... If they've got friends, they'll pull I will miss them. them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you finish. Is that the last one? No, I've got two more. Oh, right. I'll do the book while you're doing that. And I was going to wait till you finish with the cutter. I know. Uh, the book is fantastic. It's a thousand any size quilt book, uh, quilt blocks. Any size, because what it is, you get a CD-ROM, and when you put the CD-ROM... Oh! Jay! <laughs> Yours will have a CD-ROM in it. Is this your version of that's, the book? Yeah, that's, that's uh, mine, but Adele had to print the thing off from the CD, oh, okay. so, so Adele Adele's will got have it. Sky yeah. Fall. She's got the... Um, there's no, there's no CD-ROM in this book. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Jay. Adele's got it, apparently. Uh, let me just go through it, because in the... Se you've got sections... Oh, there they are. Couldn't find my glasses then. So you've got sections here. You've got four patch blocks, nine patch, patch blocks, <laughs> five pla patch blocks, and foundation blocks. But in the book, you've also got... There's a thousand different... Um, I mean, it's, it's, in, it's inspirational, isn't it? So you've got all the different blocks, but there's also a plea case. Let me just go through it for them. Right, well, hang on, there's nine on a page. How many would that make to make a thousand? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the page. Won't I? But look, see, there's a plea case. Oh, look. Now, oh, now, Hannah's Llama must be in here somewhere. Yeah, they're the foundation. These are the foundation, foundation ones, ones here, aren't they? Because um, uh, Hannah did a llama for her. I'm sure she said it was from this book. Isn't that weird? I could have sworn a llama was from this book. Sorry. No, it's all right. Um, 
Anyway, anyway, uh, all the really gorgeous different designs in here. Um, I just think there's so many different look, fruits, trees, flowers, back to patches again. I think it's just fantastic, isn't it? So there's a thousand, as Lucy said, oh, look, there's even just um, big letters and numbers as well. Um, as Lucy said, maybe this is good for inspiration. If you, if you, oh, I love that one. Chevron, you'll like that one. Yeah, you love, I love rainbow that one. colours, don't you think? But do you know what I mean? It's kind I like of like that one as well, the confetti one. That's nice. Oh, do you? Yeah. Mm. You're not as keen on that one. Um, but do you know what I mean? It's kind of like inspiration. <gasps> Look at that floating log, log cabins. Oh, that's a clever one. That is clever because two of them are touching and two of them are. Well, I wonder where mine is. There, mine was in here somewhere. Um, I know it's a long time ago now, isn't it? I thought the quilt would have been made by now. It was so funny because uh, Paul's block was like one of those um, carnival skulls and I think. And in uh, San Diego, there's loads of things like that. And I kept, uh, kept reminding me of little Paul on my holidays. Uh, just brilliant. So it's 1, got, yeah, size. covers some of the basics of the of the techniques in the in the back as well. Oh yes, just but, but just a little bit. So if yeah, you're a beginner, a bit, yeah. it's not it's more of an inspirational book. But what is fantastic yeah. is you can not down, not down, don't call it downloading off a DVC a CD ROM day, but you put your CD ROM in. You choose the one you want. You choose the size you want. You print it off, and the template is the right size. Yeah, and right. I have I have a lot of you know I sort of call them reference books really, yes. um, and I have quite a few because it is nice. You know, sometimes you might be um, in a quilt bee or you're making a quilt for somebody and you want to just try something different or, um, you know, have a combination of, of different blocks yeah. or even for um, cushions, you know, exactly. yes, things exactly. like that. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Don't do anything else okay. now because we've come to a natural pause there. Okay. We? I'm just going to go and do the fabrics and then okay. come back and we'll go talk okay. about... I might do some more, but I'm just doing the same yes, as I've just yes. done. Yes, okay, perfect, okay. perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go and do the bundles then. Oh, yeah, the, the quilt that's behind Lucy, I should have said when we were over there, the quilt that's behind Lucy, which, look again, is in her next show, is in her next show. So this is the Scandi one that Lucy's just using now. You get half a metre of each of the fabrics, half a metre of Scandi, half a metre of the turquoise, half a metre of the red linear, half a metre of the red spot-on, and half a metre of the vanilla linear. £23.00. And 95 pence. Lovely, clear. I, what I like is you've got one there that you don't expect. Do you know what I mean? All the reds and the vanillas all blend. And then you've got that turquoise juxtaposition of the turquoise in there. Right, OK, so that's the, the Scandi one. Then let's do the uh, fr Tutti Frutti one. Uh, here's, I've not seen this before. What you get here is the half a metre of the Tutti Frutti. You get half a metre of the uh, vanilla. Uh, it's fruit salad, is it called? Not tutti frutti, sorry. Half a metre of the bright yellow, half a metre of the aqua, and then half a metre of the lilac um, spot on. Fruit salad. £21.45. pence. £21.45. Again, you get two and a half metres of fabric. So if you didn't want to do the block that Lucy's doing, you've got the choice of doing lots of others. Now, this one, what I like about this one is the juxtaposition one of this one is the actual print fabric. This is called Butterflies. I love that fabric, that dark navy blue. Then you've got uh, linear print in the green. Now, I think that linear print has a strange name, doesn't it? That's it, lichen. We had it yesterday, didn't we? The lichen. Uh, then we have the, the, the uh, green in the spearmint. Then we have the blue. And then we have the uh, lavender uh, spot on there. Half a metre of each for £23.95. There is the um, still of all of that. Now we move on to the blue gingham one. Now the juxtaposition on this one is the raspberry spot on, as you can see. So you've got raspberry spot on, you've got that lovely marini cobalty blue, you've got the blue uh, spot on, the baby blue uh, spectrum, and then the blue gingham. Two and a half metres for £20 and 95 pence. And now the last one, you don't have a juxtaposition in this one. You still get two and a half metres, but there's only four choices. What it is, you get a metre 
of the fuchsia linear. That's the one at the bottom. Azalea, azalea, sorry. Azalea at the bottom. Then you get the lilac at gingham. Then you get the pink, and then you get the pink spot on. So there's no, there's none, there's not one of the juxtaposition ones now. They're just all tonal. 22 pounds and 95 pence. Okay, let's go back to Lucy. Uh, they all come from the book, like I was just showing you the book, the, the thousand um, any size quilt blocks. Thousand. Thousand. So I'm just making, whoops, more of these. But that's a different one again that you've made so far, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so these those. are all different. Oh, thank you. These are all different combinations. Well, when Joy's on, you know Joy, yes. she makes me do all the ironing. Does she? Yes. <laughs> I could learn from that, couldn't I? Yes, you could. Now, when, <laughs> when are we coming to your house to, to film your Christmas decoration? That is not going to happen. Pardon? That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not in October. Although I have, no, I have, like you said, you had a tree. Um, you know, where you have, have special year, things on. And that's, you know, so I've got all things that the kids have made over. You know, yeah. things they made at school, decorations that we made together. We made a lot of um, uh, felt decorations one year. Yeah. We did make some, we did once make some like salt dough. Some what? You know, like you make salt dough, like dough. Yeah. And, th and then you can make the decorations. Oh, well, oh Hannah made some of those last yeah, year. Yeah, but, then the, la but <laughs> then the next year, they weren't very nice. Oh, OK. No. But you still use them? No. My mum always used to have a shepherd ones. that my younger brother had made from a fairy liquid bottle. And it used to come Aww. out every year and it was covered in... Other fairy liquids are available. Um, well, but, except fairy liquid is in a different... Isn't it in a different shape? That used to be in that Nanette Newman one. Remember that? that was, it's now a, a different shape, isn't it? I might be wrong. Well, it used to be more of like a cylinder, didn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. And it's not... But isn't it more of a... Yeah. Like a gin bottle now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Paul's ears have pricked up. We had an angel. We had an angel on top of our tree, and its head was a ping-pong ball. Oh! <laughs> so on grow purpose? It, grow it. <laughs> I don't... Did you make it yourself? I, I didn't... Well, I don't know. I had it from when very, very small, so I don't know who made it or oh. where it came from, but we had that for a long time. I really loved it as well. Just a ping-pong ball. <laughs> Sim simpler times, no, I, like, no, I like things like that. I do too. That's nice. When I was at my um, last place, uh, I used to have different Christmas decorations each year, and then we'd have like um, we just used to give them away uh, after Christmas. People, I'd say, who wants one of these things? So Jewel swans, one year, which were beautiful, and then another year I'd like um, Mexican angels and things like that. Choir mm -hmm. boys, one year, little choir but not real ones, like cut out <laughs> ones. What so now, go on. Go on, no, no, go on. What are you no, I was just going to say, what do you put on the top of your tree? Because people put different depends, things, don't they? It depends. I've got this fabulous star. If it's mm -hmm. a big, thick Christmas tree, a star. But it's got like a spirally thing. And if the, the tree's a bit weak, it just bends over. Oh. I've got a very, very beautiful um, angel. But sometimes it's too big to have anything on the top. Ah. Uh. Oh, so we only get very small ones. Oh, well, we you get them as, reach the top, as well. My sister's birthday's late on in December, you see, so we weren't allowed Christmas till after her oh, birthday. Oh no! So, but then it means the trees are cheaper, so yes. we get a real tree, but yes, it's only a right. small. <laughs> All and the big what, like, ones have gone by then. Yeah, a little bit. I go and get the tree that I feel sorry for. Oh, <laughs> I'm having, not having a real one this year. I'm having a. But I like. Oh, I love real trees. Awesome. I love I them. Just the cats get old, you know. Oh, do they? We're ho hopefully getting a new cat. Pardon? We're hopefully getting a new cat. Are you allowed to say that? Well, she's not new, but she's she's old. She's new to you. Yes, a new to us one from the rescue. Oh, have you yeah. been to visit her? Yeah, we have. Oh, you have to have Lovely. her now. Have you been to visit her? Well, I know. Well, I'm just saying how hopefully we are. Oh, soon, oh it might soon. be that they vet, they're vetting you, not the other way around. Not, your, not your choosing yes. the cat. It's yes. the owners are saying, well, should it. we give the cat to the Brennans? They Brennan's? have to come and check. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask something about sewing then. I forgot what it was next. Oh, check out your baskets. Paul's saying, check out your baskets. Very busy on the bundles. Which one's the most popular, Paul? Oh, the butterfly, I told you. Right, I've still got more to trim, but what I'm going to do oh. at this point, to save you having to watch me trim all of these, is we'll just start to lay it out so yes, you, at least you get an idea. <laughs> what 
what it's going to look like, and then we can start putting yeah, it so together. Yeah, so the plain one goes in the middle. We know so, that. So I know, but this is—it's like right, a. I'll shut up. It's a little. Te it's a puzzle, isn't it? How it goes together. And I'm looking at mine for reference. I should be looking at the one in the book. Yes, because really. that outcome could be wrong. Oh, is it page twenty-four? <laughs> Hang on. No, 26. Oh, we need another blue one. Well, that's what I didn't do. I didn't do those with blue. I did them with the background. Oh, no. So is no, it wrong? I need to do another set of those with, with the blue to get it right. Your eye is very good because I'm confused we'll already. Just keep going. Well, it, you know, it is a little bit confusing. Hang on, that's not that one. There's one I haven't done. Oh, it's that one. So that oh, yeah, like no, that. no, because you're getting the scare. Yeah. And that one, like, no. No. You haven't done it. You want me to? That's it. <laughs> this is a bit like the Krypton Factor, isn't it? <laughs> no. no uh, all right. There we go. Yeah, that's but That's not right. That's, look, because they're all straight lines oh, no, yeah, and you've done a triangle. Right. That's there. it. That's it. So, hang on, what's left over? Like the blue that. and white ones. Where do these and go? And then those are the corners. So is that the I right way around with the blue, blue on the outside? Bot one, so that'll be like that. Yeah, the blue on the outside. And then one like that. What's that? That message is from the last is show. That one? Can Lucy tell me how to change the block sizes, for example, from an 8 inch to a 9.5 inch? Yes, you have to divide it. So it depends on how many um, block. patches it is. So, mm. like you showed in the beginning, at the beginning of the book, it says you, you know, there are four patch, five nine, patch, nine five patch. patch, nine patch, whatever it is. So, the easiest way to work it out is whatever size you want it to finish as. And then you divide that by the number of yeah, yeah, yeah. blocks. Yeah. And then that's going to be the finish size. Yeah. And then you need to add half an inch and that will be your cut size. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not laughing at you at all. They're being silly they like being girls silly? upstairs. Oh, are so. they? No, not like girls, like little okay. school girls, I mean. Um, where are the other squares though? We've got to make more squares. Yes, yeah, so I've got to do right, some so more. So I make need some a, more squares. I have to think of what I've got to make, what ones I'm making now. Right. So I need the blue. What did I say I needed? I might just make it up. Should go on then, yeah, go on. on. The thing is, that's the joy about patchwork, isn't it, and quilting? You can just... I'm going to cut that down. Um, what? Why are you putting two blue ones together? I'm just going to cut them to get four and a half inch squares. Oh, oh, I have okay, to do okay, one okay, of those it, and it, one it, of those. It, so I'm going to yeah. do the... Um, was it four and a half? I've got yes. 12 minutes, Lucy. Oh, OK, OK. So I'm going to do two um, of the two at once to get yes. the other part of the Christmassy yes. one. Did you finish answering Tracy's question? So whatever... S <laughs> I'll just repeat it in case. Whatever finish size block you want, you need to divide that by the number of blocks. So if it's an H and you've got four patches, patches, they're two inches each. Yes, right. and that's the finished size. So then you need to add half an inch. So And that's if they're squares. Yes. But then if you're doing the half square triangles, you need to work out what's going to be the finished, how to get a two and a half inch yes. yeah. unfinished half square triangle. Oh. Just download the, the CD wrong and use the, the template. Yes, yes. And use the template. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So those would be in there. But that's how you, um, that's how you work it out. So okay. it's just dividing it into into the blocks. There's a new um, bundle leader apparently. Oh, the blue gingham's taken over. There it is. That's most popular. I think you see people who like nautical will buy that one. The red, white. Oh, excuse me. The red, white, and blue. Are we keeping you up, John? Oh, well. Are we keeping you up? No, it wasn't a yawn. Oh, was it? Sorry. It was, no, it was a... Uh, is it quarter past 11 yet? Oh, nowhere near. <laughs> Lucy hungry at quarter past 11, that's all. Also, Jay didn't bring rumble? one water out, did he, today? A so. rumble. So, for these, I'm going to do the 
two in one again. So just drawing from corner yeah. to corner. Does it matter which fabric you draw your pencil in? Doesn't, doesn't it? Because it's the same. No, it doesn't matter. Just to do it on whichever one you're going to be able to see more clearly, really. Probably not the dotty one, yes, exactly. if I'm honest. <laughs> So if you're using the templates, obviously you're gonna you're not gonna be cutting squares at all. If you no. use only that centre one, if you're using the templates, it's going to be the triangle shaped um template. So you can just ignore everything I've done today. Yes. Um but having said that, personally for me I find this method much quicker than cutting all the triangles out and, and sewing them together individually. Little Paul wants you to know, Lucy, he's had six cups of tea in three hours. He hasn't. He has. And he wonders why he has issues. <laughs> I think we all need waking up today, don't we? Do we? Yeah. Your joke woke me up earlier. I can't do it again because I did it yesterday on air. So, I know. Um, You'll have to watch on repeat if I'll you missed it. I'll on the it. YouTube tomorrow. I started yesterday with a joke, which, little, which Jay... Thought Jay nearly passed out laughing, right? Hannah didn't even break into a smile. <laughs> uh, Paul just thought it was rubbish, and I thought it was very much of a Paul joke. I, th I think it was a Paul joke. Yeah. Any questions you got, Lucy? Just get them in. Web chat them in. Any pictures of, of blocks you've made of Lucy's? Email those in. Oh, yes, I love that. Love seeing pictures. Yeah. I just love to see the way people have interpreted. Like, you could yes. do a log cabin. Because we had your... Um, remember the quilt you made uh, were log cabin and courtyard steps? The purple, purple and yellow yeah, one, We yes. had that as our background just yeah. behind us. Um, yeah. And it looked lovely. Except Jay pushed up sideways, so it was a bit um, different. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you to Lucy for the fab method of half-square triangles. Help me turn a random selection of squares I found in my stash into a quilt top. Brilliant. That's from Fiona. Oh, well done, Fiona. I'd like to see a picture. Yes, Fiona, <laughs> send said, a picture. Want to see a picture. Oh, oh, thank you. So you're making up your own block there. Look at no, that. No, that's just one you work. had earlier. No, I know, but what you could do then is, because um, those are three and a half, so you could sew those together and then just cut a um, bigger square, you know. Yeah. And then have, you know, and have that be a... That's very nautical. A hot, well, I like, like that. Like and sign flag. And just have it as a block it? like that. It's nice. How many minutes has Lucy got then? About six. Mm. Goes too, it always goes too fast. There is a lot of trimming in this, though. Yes. Oh. Very oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That happens when I'm tired as well. Are you tired as well? Go more What's the matter with us all today? I don't know. Something in the air. Oh, little Paul says he's not tired, but he well, looks Well, he won't tired. be. He's had six cups of tea, for yes. goodness sake. Um, poor old Timothy didn't set his alarm, <gasps> oh, but still no. woke up. And I still, he looked like he'd been crying when he came in. He went, I've just literally pulled myself up my bed. He luckily only lives above the chip That's shop around true. the corner. Yes. Swears he's Elvis. That was on the radio yesterday. I was listening to Oh, that. yes, it was. Yes. yes it was. Oh, we must have been radio listening six. to the radio. Oh, no. Oh, radio two. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I mustn't be rude, cos uh, apparently in the after show um, meeting yesterday, apparently I told Tilly Rose to shut up she three times. She oh. didn't. Um, well, I'm so no, I'm sorry, cos that was... Um, okay. I shouldn't be doing that. It needs to be on a flat surface. Okay. What we might have to do is how many, how many um, minutes... Oh, no. Uh, I'm just wondering if we have to lay them out. I'll do a row. I'll just put a yes, row together, yes, even yes. if it's random. Yes. Let's, at this point, doesn't really matter. Does it? It'll be fine. <laughs> so, we could, should we just make something look pretty? We could do it. Oh, no. Go on. You go. We'll get the Christmas ones in. Take that out. But where would they go? Hang on. So, that one there. Where's the middle one gone? Oh, right there. And then we had... No, I, oh, oh, you see, that'd be quite nice. That went there. But anyway... Um. See, and that's the fun of half square triangles is there's so, I mean, it's endless the combinations of is that things right? that you can do. Did I put the wrong one there, didn't I? What am I trying to do it's here? Make another line. I don't know, we're just trying to get a row. Shall I just do this one because that's done? There, 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 there. Oh, that's nice. And then. Do you want. Oh, these haven't been cut yet. 
all got a message from Marie. I have this book, it's a fab and a must from Marie in Cornwall. Thank you, Marie, my love. Yeah, loads of gorgeous blocks in there. I need to do a row. Oh, sorry. It's OK. <laughs> I used it for my block for the... Um... Oh, hang on. It was a lovely block. Little Paul didn't use it. Well, he, it's hard. he says he made his own block up. He photocopied a skull off the internet and cut round the outside. It looked very nice. It does, does look right. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that. Should I've got do that, that going the wrong way, haven't I? It doesn't matter. We just make it up. Oh, now I've got a three stripe there. Well, I quite like that. Well, let's do that then. I'll sew that row. All right then. So the nice thing about the block that I made was um, there weren't any seams meet, you know, meeting until you ended up putting all the um, blocks together. Yes. But with this, all you need to do is you just want to make sure you're doing an accurate quarter of an inch seam and that it's all, yeah. it, you know, it's consistent yes, throughout the Yes, this is where it's important, isn't it, to get your accuracy yeah. and your spot on. And then your, and then your points will meet. Yeah. So I'll do... Oh, don't... Do... Oh, sorry, that's the one you're doing, isn't it? That's not it, that's not it. <laughs> it was that, wasn't yeah. it? So I'll do two rows and then I can show putting the rows together if All I right, can do it fast enough. How many minutes to... Oh, no, I've not trimmed that. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, what's what do going you want? on today? I don't know. What, do you want one of those that's trimmed, then? That one's trimmed. Is the one trimmed? Yeah. There you go, okay. there you go. That one's trimmed. All right, well, I'll do that, then. Are you lost now? But... No, I'm... Um, I'll be fine. That's a song, isn't it? I hope. I was lost and then you found me. I am playing, I am just playing with half squill, squill? Half square triangles on paper anyway, designing what to make with some very pretty fabric. Oh, thank you, Beverly. Lovely. And it is, it's, it's a real staple, you know, doing half square triangles. Um, and I do encourage people to try the different methods because you might think, oh, that's not how I do it. But it's worth sort of giving them all a go to find out which one. But if you sewed those together, you'd get um, flying geese, wouldn't you? It, it's... Oh, that's not a flying goose. Yeah, technically, it's not a flying goose because you've got the, the seam. Oh, so you can so have a flying, seam in the middle no, of it. So a flying goose, goose would be would that. Be a rectangle, and then you put the corners yes. on, so okay. you don't have a seam there. But, I mean... Ignore me, then. No, wrong I mean, it's, no, it's not wrong, because it looks like... It looks like a flying goose, it's just technically not. Kira says, uh, just tuned in, what's the lovely tree quilt behind you? Well, Kira, keep watching at 11 o'clock. Lucy's making that quilt from start to finish in an hour. I am, and we've got lovely colourways as well of that. Yes, yeah, two different colourways. That one you see there, and it's from that, that lovely book we do, the black and white quilt book. Am I getting this right Oh, am I supposed to be pressing these? No, that's, no, you don't need to, it's fine. You've got one minute, so I'll stop I'm just sewing them it, together, OK. I don't even know if it's right anymore. I'm just Doing sew, sewing bits of fabric together and we'll see where, where we get. Paul says a bit like his life. He says it's not right, but he just carries on the go. But it isn't so <laughs> that, That's tragic. not me saying that. I know, but he's so tragic. Um, Tragic's the word, actually. That yes, is the word, isn't it? Is it is the word, I know. So you can have my water as well, please. He's not tragic, he's got a new jacket, which makes him look like... What did you say? Like, a bit of a painter, painter and decorator. That, was you, that denim jacket was £200. That's not what he paid for No, it. but that's how much the designer... Oh, no, that one's not a trimmed one. You're ruining it. I gave it. you all I'll trimmed just ones. Put, I'll just You've only got that. 30 seconds, anyway. Oh, goodness You're me. just making bunting now, aren't you? <laughs> did, she, did you just swear? No, I said, oof, goodness me. Oof, goodness me, like egg, oof. Yes, egg, that's what I said. Right, I'm going off to do fabric. Everything. Anyway, that with Lucy in one hour's time. Most popular one is this one. You get the raspberry spot on. You get the lovely cobalt blue. Half a metre of each, remember, half a metre of each. Half a metre of the blue spot on. Half a metre of the baby blue and half a metre of the gingham blue. £20.95. That's the number one most popular one so far this morning. OK? Then, butterflies next. This is nice, isn't it? You get half a metre of the butterflies. This was in the lead all hour, and it's just been pipped at the post at the end there. Butterflies. 
Then you've got the lichen um, linear print. You've got the uh, little pulls lichen that. Uh, then you've got the uh, like pistachio green, spear minty green, the blue and the lilac spot on. £23.95 is all we're asking for that. Oh, the one that Lucy's using next. Oh, no. OK, then the Tutti Frutti, not the one that Lucy's using, the Tutti Frutti one, except it's not called Tutti Frutti, it's called Fruit Salad. Blueberry Blue Salad, it's called. That's a blueberry. Oh, no, is that not a blueberry? Oh, you can't, that one there. No, that one. No, that, this one here. That, isn't that, a, yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's called fruit salad. £21.45. Half a metre of fruit salad, half a metre of vanilla, half a metre of bright yellow, half a metre of the blue, half a metre. Remember to check out your baskets. There it is on the... Um, Right, then the one that Lucy's been using here. This is the Scandi lace print one. So you get two and a half metres of fabric in total, half a metre of each one. So you've got the red Scandi fabric, half a metre, the turquoise, half a metre, the red linear, half a metre, the red spot on, half a metre, and the vanilla uh, linear at the bottom there, £23.95 for that one. And then last but not least, now this one's slightly different You've only got four fabrics, but you still get two and a half metres. So you see the one at the bottom there, the azalea one. You get a metre of that. You get a metre of the um, purple gingham. You get a metre of the plain pink and a metre of the spot-on pink. Oh, no, sorry, take that back, take that back, take that back. You get a metre of the first one and half a metre of all the others. Sorry, that was my bad there. £22.95. Uh, Mandy's back after the break. Don't forget the book as well. Check... Check out the book, because this is a brilliant book. A thousand any size quilt uh, blocks. Uh, Mandy's up straight after the break, remember, uh, with more festive red and white work. We've got the hoopies, we've got the, uh, we've got the snowman garland. Um, don't go anywhere. We will see you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Join us on Wednesday the 6th of September for a day of stylish bag making with our experts. We're joined by the girl with the sewing machine author Jennifer Taylor who will be turning her talents to a useful cutting mat carrier to help you sew on the go. She'll then fashion a chic patchwork city shopper using some gorgeous linen look fabrics. We're also joined by Joe Carter who will demonstrate how to make a variety of bags and purses suitable for almost any occasion. Amongst her creations will be these stunning frame purses, which come as a handy kit with full instructions so you can make your own at home. So don't miss this bumper bag making special from 8am to 12 noon on Wednesday the 6th of September, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Sewing Quarter had a ball at the Festival of Quilts. Most importantly, we loved meeting all of you at the Sewing Quarter Cafe. Thanks to everyone who popped by to meet us, including those who joined us for a spot of English paper piecing, all for the great cause, Project Linus. John Scott was even joined by Mandy Shaw on Sunday, and they laughed their way through a demonstration from Mandy's red and white Christmas book. If you didn't have a chance to drop by our stand or couldn't make it to the NEC, then we have a treat for you. We've filmed Mandy Shaw's live demonstration at Festival of Quilts, and you can watch the full video over on our website at www.sewingquarter.com. Simply click on the banner at the top of the page, sit back with a cuppa 
and watch Mandy and John. She's back, she's back, she's back with three more projects. Now, very importantly, Red and White Christmas book. It's over there on the stand, very, very, it's flying out. It's absolutely flying out. Um, it's called Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. Um, there's loads, there's loads of it. We will go through it more, more thoroughly during the hour. Ten new seasonal, new seasonal, only available here and from Mandy herself. Um, now, two of the kits here are from the book there. You need, to, you need the book to make them to make two of the kits coming up in this hour. What is coming up in this hour? These, aren't they gorgeous? These lovely, they're kind of baubly discs. Aren't they cute? Absolutely beautiful. They are called the Christmas baubles. And they're just really cute. There's three of those, three of those in a packet. We're, oh, hang on, just wait for the graphics to come in. There you go. Oh, I'll move out the way. Um, they're lovely, aren't they? They're really, really cute, those baubles. I'll take you through that kit in a second. Then we've got this, which is just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. It's like a snowman garland, isn't it? £26.95, a snowman garland. And then last but not least, Joe. Thank you. Honestly, Mandy. Look, isn't this just beautiful? Is it look, Bert's? Oh, there's Dusty again. Oh, they haven't sent the grandchild out to work already, have they? Dusty's bakery. Oh, you'll we'll find out who Bert is in a minute. And then who's on the bottom too? Well, it's a very slow pan. Dot's toy shop and Joni's. Is it Joe Butcher's? What's Joni's shop at the bottom? Oh, it's Aberdashery's shop. I haven't got my glasses on. Anyway, 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 doing all those, we're doing all those in this hour in different kits. So let me just get them all together because I'm taking them all with me. Which are we going to do first, Mandy Shaw? What would you like, Mandy? Should we, get on, should we crack on with the snowmen? Crack on with the snowmen. Do you know what, Mandy? I've got a question I've been meaning to ask you all day. <laughs> Have you lost weight? <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad boy. Yes, I have, John. Thank you for noticing. Oh, yes, I've been thinking it's only taking about morning. twelve hours to notice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I've been having a healthy eating plan for the latter part of my life. Oh, really? I'm, I'm going to be uh, uh, not not skinny and scraggy, but um, uh, just a pleasant. So everything in my wardrobe. Fits. You look, but you look very healthy. That's the, you always have done, but. You look even more healthy now. <laughs> is, it, is, it a, is, it one, is it a health plan that you can join, or is it just you being healthy? <laughs> I.e., do you go and get weighed every Friday morning? I have to weigh in. Do you go for I, I don't. I don't follow the diet, but I have to have a weigh in. I have to be disciplined. Right. Because I cheat. Oh, no. Well, the, the thing is, you can do it online, or you can do it... I think you have to go to I, the weigh in and stand there in front of the ladies I and have get to, I have to go, and I am... Um, I have to go, because I cheat, yeah. I lie, yeah. I move yeah. on the scales, I do it in the morning, the I'll evening. Tell you, I'll tell you what's funny as well, when you go to the weigh-ins, there's always a queue for the toilet, everyone having a quick wee yeah, before yeah. they have their yeah, final yeah, yeah, weigh-in, yeah. just in case but that it, it's, it's just that It's just that discipline. Yes. I've got to do it, I've got to have, I've got to get, otherwise I've got a lovely little wardrobe, a lovely little collection of things, and it's all getting tight. Time. It's going, yeah. So it's got to do something. Exactly. Right, yeah. starting off with the Mandy Short Snowman Garland, 26 pounds. Now, remember we had sellouts in the first hour, sellouts in the first hour. So, this is a full, this is a proper kit and pattern all in one. Right. It's the kit and the pattern and everything yeah, all in yeah. one to make that gorgeous garland. Yeah. And that we it's can not see in the book. And it's not in the no, book. No, this no, is no, not no. in the book, right? Yeah. So we'll do this yeah. one first, then we'll go to the two projects that are yeah. in the book. Yeah, and, right. um, and it's lovely because what actually you can't see is that these pop are together. Oh! So you could have, you could have, well, I don't know, I pop them together so they'd have a little hinge so that when they hung, they would hang nicely. So you can, oh, if you've just got a very little yes. fireplace. Yeah, you see, you could do that. Oh, but if they weren't... Necklace? Very nice necklace, darling. I I, that looks gorgeous. I will make you one. For you? Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, so... The, and the, this is a fireplace, a shelf, a door, all sorts of gorgeous things. And, and you can add to it as well. Of course. Now, everything you need 
apart from the stuffing, is in the kit. Is in the kit Absolutely it? everything you right. need is, apart from the stuffing is in the kit. And, it, and it's, um, it's my quirky way of making things, but actually it works really well. And um, this complements some things we're going to do tomorrow. Yes. I'm back here tomorrow. So yes. this complements, it's all red and white, it looks great, but it does complement stuff we're doing tomorrow. Brilliant. So I'll show you how to do it. It's very okay. lovely. So what we're going to use this morning, we used, we talked about uh, fusible webbing. Today we're going to talk about freezer paper. Right. So there is a difference, yes. and lots of people. We've got freeze paper. If you want to buy some freeze paper, we've got it in our next in our next show. So I'll let you oh, explain what it is. Oh, stunning! Oh, stunning! So it's a it's a silicone based paper. It's got a shiny side, which when you heat sticks, but doesn't stick permanently. Yes. And it can be peeled off and reused a couple of times. Yes. Okay. And so it's, it's, it's not like bond web. No, it's no, not, not bond web. It's not no, stuck no, down no. forever. It's no, literally no. just. Yeah. And I use it a lot in the, this work. I shall explain how I do it. It's very right. exciting. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, freeze paper and you're going to trace your design. The freezer paper's in the kit, isn't The it? freezer paper will be in the kit. Now, you don't, if you haven't got freezer paper, if you run out, it doesn't matter. You can use ordinary paper to do the same principles, but this is slightly easier. Yes. You will need your iron. Um, that's, a, that's a clue, John. You need what? An iron. Yes. I thought you said you need your eyes. <laughs> I was going to say, what's she saying? <laughs> uh, and now let me just tell you what, I, I, I'm, I'm drawing it with a pencil today, because yeah. um, I am. But, but. but when you stitch through this pencil mark, it will mark, it may mark the white fabric underneath. Oh, okay. So what That's a creative use? moment. Right. So you could have used a permanent pen or a Pigma pen or something else. Yes. An ink pen would do the same thing, it would mark through. So just be aware of that. If it doesn't bother me, um, I will just flip them over. But if, if it was a problem, you'd be a bit careful. Yeah, it's okay. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to get two layers of, 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 two layers of felt together. Yes. And you're going to iron, let me tidy this up a bit. I don't like waste. You're going to iron the freezer paper and I'll, sh I'll like sh should we just swap So you iron the shiny side down. to the yeah. fabric. And you'll see it peels off, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. So it peels off beautifully oh. and you can go back on again. Right. So you can only do it two, three times. Yes. Not, not that many times. To give it an iron. And it's great for applique, love it for applique, and I love it for this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to stitch on this marked line all the way around. Right. I mean, you could have done it with a paper pattern. But this, this moves, yes. and this is not moving, so we love that. Okay, okay. brilliant. So we'll swap sides again. So you're going to stitch all the way around. Um, now, I, again, Mandy's going to be stitching all the way around. Oh, okay. You, you know Mandy is. Uh, Man Mandy is. And, um, and you're going to stop start. You're going to stop start when you get to the corners. Oh, it's a bit slow. What I want you to do is... Um, I'll just increase the stitch length. Oh, good. That's not oh, you're right. Yeah, that's, oh. Um, what you're going to do is... Um, oh, oh. You're on zigzag. Oh, I'm on zigzag. Hang on. Just, just keep talking. OK, keep, keep talking. Keep what talking. I want to say to you is a lot of people have asked about the things in the first hour. The, the, the one, um, the Sam um, stocking is sold out, but I will bring you back and show you the uh, other stocking and the uh, lovely little um, hanging huts. No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, just saying we need them out on the table. That's all, because they're not there. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Would that's you like me to? I'll show you still of the stocking from earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Just uh, one second, darling. Just. Oh, stop. that's that's not the actual stocking. That's the kit that you get for the stocking there. That's everything you need for the dusty. That's everything you need for the dusty. Are you okay there? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to show you something slightly different. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, we'll show you something different. Okay. Is it our machine? Do we uh, need to change uh, no, the No, we just a little, little. No, it's fine. It's a little clog. But well, right. that's fine. I'll just move on because okay. that just takes us two seconds. I can right. do that without this. So, what we're going to do is you're going to stitch on the mark line all the way around right. the outside. Yep. Now, this is. Um, wonderful because it just means that you're going to get the shape I drew and if I asked you to, to cut this out you might not have cut it out neatly and then when you stitch it with the quarter inch seam it not, might not be gorgeous yes, so you yeah. get the shape I'm asking you to do yeah. so um so don't forget you must uh, tear uh, cut the perforations uh, yes. scratch perforations Where you stitched yes it, yeah. and tear this off before you cut it out right because otherwise you're going to have to have a little edge do you remember yes, we've done yes, that yes, before yes, yes. That? so that's what you're going to do and you would end up with I'm just going to debowel this snowman, so I can show you how to restuff him. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're going to end up. So you basically just stitched all the way around. All the, the way around. Front. So you can see, pretend he's not stuffed. I stitched all the way around, and I've cut. Now um, I, I cut him out. That actually, look, you can see that I was a bit, bit robust rushed. with the with the rushed and robust with the. Um, um, with the stuffing there. Yes. But if that happened. 
Not a problem. No. We're going to blanket stitch it. Exactly. Oh, of course yeah. you are, yeah. So you didn't have to blanket stitch it. If you run out of time, you, this one's beautifully blanket stitched. You wouldn't have to blanket oh, stitch it. Oh, no, but they look nice because it's yeah, like they a finished... do. But if you saw it without it, it would be equally oh, yes, lovely. Yes, so yes, not, yes. not a problem. But yeah. if you did have a little error with your stuffing, a little bit robust, a yeah. little bit firm, yes. forceful, mm -hmm. um, you could stop. Yes. And, and, and you can blanket stitch it. So what what, what happens is um, you're going to use a reduce your stitch length anyway when you sew it. So you've got a nice small stitch. But when you cut it out, I want you to cut it really neatly. Lots of people don't cut neatly. I love cutting. I really love it because that's the final flourish. Yes, yes. And what you could do is you could make a load of these. You could make all four of these in this method, have them in your handbag ready to blanket stitch later. Exactly. In the now you haven't bagged it out then. You've literally no. just stitched the two layers yep. together, yep. ripped off the yep. freezer paper and then cut it neatly, yep. like an eighth of an inch yep. round. Yep. Yep. the outside yep. of your yep. stitches. Because yep. right. it is a, a decoration, it's not, it doesn't have to be yes. played with. Yep. So then what we're going to do is slit his neck. Right, that's, at the back. That, at the back. Um, I don't leave a little slit in the side because when you stuff, you distort the felt. And we're making this out And of also it's, 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 it's all right when using cotton to, to tuck it in and hand yes, with yeah. it, but felt... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't bag it out. It's a Christmas decoration, yes. it wouldn't be worth it. Well, I once bagged one of these out and of course um, it became thin and scraggy looking. Yes. So. so at least you get the shape. Um, use my Spencer Wells forceps, you love these. Yes. You know? I keep saying for our buying department we yes. should have oh, these. Oh, they're wonderful to have. Um, and they do, what they do is they mean you can get little bits. Don't forget we don't want huge lumps of stuffing in. No. Just small. And it's a decoration so we just want it to be pleasantly plump. Yes. We know all about that, don't we? Well, I do. Well, I, well I'm still going to say pleasantly plump. I'm not going skinny. No. Because I might go, you know, might Yeah, go. well, the trouble is, when you get to our age, 39... Yeah. Boobs droop. Uh, well, I... <laughs> yes. Yeah, they do. My moobs. <laughs> Your moobs. My moobs, my, my, my boobs but, 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 no, no, but sometimes I had a friend who was pleasantly plump, and yeah. she went on a severe diet. Oh, no. And she looked 20 years older. Yeah, no, because, no. Because suddenly she didn't have that lovely, you know, kind of rosy glow about her No, we, we want lovely rosy glows, yes. don't we? we want anyway, so we've stuffed it. Okay, Any well, questions you've got for Mandy, yeah. by the way, just remember to send them in. Paul will send them through to me. So, so that's that's all gorgeous. So the, 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 it might seem that you're doing this twice, cutting and uh, um, stitching twice. Yes. You know, you stitch it first, then you stitch it again. But it's gorgeous because it keeps them all together. If you cut two snowmen out, you could just cut two snowmen out, put them together in blanket stitch, that's fine. Yes. But sometimes they slip. So this is my multi-purpose... Um, perfect. perfect. Gorgeous. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch all the way around the outside edge. So you, you can just over sew the neck. Is it just single? Is it just single thread? I'm using cotton and brode. Yes, single thread. Um, yeah, single thread. Yeah. Uh, you could have, if you had if you if you'd use the kit up and it's all your bits are finished and then you want to make it again, you could use your scraps from home. Yes. Um, always use felt; it's easier. But you could have used two strands of the stranded thread if you had. You, you root, root, sort of using your stash. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to we can I'm just going to close this neck, but I'm going to close it with a special little stitch so you can see. I'm doing it in red so you can see. Okay. okay. So you wouldn't normally do this in the red. Oh well, I, I wouldn't do this in the red, but don't forget this is the back of the snowman. Yes, don't yeah, forget, yeah. I'm not that fussy about what the work looks like on the yeah, back yeah. because life's a bit short. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. This is called a ladder stitch, and I use okay. this for closing all sorts of lovely things. You um, take a little stitch on one side and on the other and it looks it will look like a ladder yeah watching closely you watching and there's a little bit magical happening in a second well, it looks like um sweeney todd or something like that doesn't it oh yeah i do like i do, I'd love i used to work in a and i'd love stitching people up. oh did you work in a and a yeah oh. spence wells can you imagine yeah. being Rushed in. And, uh, you, you know that. Uh, don't worry, I'm Mandy. I'm, I'm in I'm charge. Uh, my my first ward report. I think I'm sure I've said this to you before, but my first ward report said um, nurse roots. That's my name. Effervescent personality is sometimes too much for the ill patient. Oh, you can never be too much. No, you. Yeah. So watch this. So watch this. Yeah, I'm watching. It's, I'm watching, it's, it's, it's camera on. It's camera on. Is right, it? Yeah, camera's on. Watch this. You close it up, and it's virtually invisible. Do you see? Oh. You weren't concentrating. I was concentrating, but so I was also just telling Jay what to do. Oh, poor Jay. Not what poor Jay. No, no, no. So again, here we go. This is called a ladder stitch, and it's yeah. called a ladder stitch because it's got a ladder on it. So a little, a little pinch from each side, yeah. equally. Yeah. And what you can do is when you watch this, yeah, when you when you pull it up. <gasps> Virtually. You see, so you could use the red. Yeah, you, you could use the red. Message. But that was just for you to say. Yeah, could, and also the fact that it's good quality felt, you can do that because it's going to pull it back yeah. edge to oh, edge. Oh, I must stuff. tell you that. This yes. is this is wool felt. Yes. 100% wool felt. And, it, and the difference is unbelievable. I um, was... Uh, I, 
um, I've made a cushion at home that's got the word love on it. Oh. And the le I didn't do in wool felt. It's quite old, the cushion, and it's worn away. Oh. It's, it's cheap felt. It's just as well the love yeah. hasn't, though, isn't the it? The of hasn't. Of the... Of. Le, le has. So now I'm going to blanket stitch. Oh, the loads have gone. Yeah. The and the yeah. Yeah. And the of yeah, still yeah. there. Oh, so, um... Like, oh, oh, no, what's it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm going to show you some blanket stitches. Yes, because, I'm watching. Uh, because, well, you, you weren't was... watching when I asked you to. So watch this. Uh, and some ladies at the Festival Quilt, some lovely ladies at the Festival Quilt, asked me to show them this little special trick. Oh, I thought you were going to say some ladies uh, just tell that John's got to shut up. Oh, no, no, so they love you, John. They love you. <laughs> right. So watch this. This is a blanket stitch. Now, don't forget, lots of people do blanket stitches in lots of different ways. Yeah. OK. But this is the Mandy Shaw this way. This is Mandy's way, and this is my most favourite stitch of all time. So I'm just going to do a little blanket stitch all the way around. So you push it through. Oh. Well, hey, I'll show you. Yeah. You push it through. Thread yeah. round. Yeah. Now there's a trick coming up. So this little is an ordinary blanket stitch, and that is perfectly okay for most of your little things. Yeah. But when we go around the corners and we want to keep the stitch sound, we can do something special. Right. So we you need to now? race around to the corner now. Yeah, I'm racing around to the corner. Um, now you can listen to this as well because this, this is the rules in your this, these ladies' houses. It's ridiculous. You can blanket stitch this unstuffed or stuffed. Right. Doesn't matter. Why not? Exactly, why not? But some people think, oh, 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 oh I've got to blanket stitch it before I stuff it. Oh, I see what you mean, yes. yes. So there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no rule, I say. So now to secure the stitches on the, um, on the, cur the curve, and yeah. you've got that little error there, yeah. you're going to do an ordinary blanket stitch, but just before you finish the stitch off, just before you finish the stitch off, you're going to put the needle in the back of the loop, and that causes a little twist. Do you see the twist there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you pull the twist, that will knot that stitch to um, the end. But you know what? That's the stitch that I do round buttonholes. And oh, yes, round yes, it is, yes. Uh, eyelets. Yes, so it is, eyelets, yes, yes, it is indeed. It actually, and they used to see, do I'm double. Not just a no, fat face. We're not done. We never thought that, did we? No. No. Uh, so, again, needle, about to finish the stitch off, look. Yeah. Needle in the back. Yeah. It creates a little twist. Yeah. Look, and that will secure that stitch yeah. on that corner. Let's do that again. So just before we finish it off, needle in the back. I don't do this on every stitch. It's not decorative. It's just to secure um, my stitches around curves. Okay, so we just do that. It's just gorgeous. It's lovely. Now, I was going to say to you, let me just show you a difference, a little difference. That's what you're doing this way. Yeah, I, just, I, I get a bit bigger and a bit smaller. What the stitches? Yeah. Now this is the girl that works. This is Mel who works for me. Okay? Right. Okay. She is perfection. Beyond. That's been done on a machine. Or it has not. Look, <gasps> at, look at that. This is Melanie Taylor. Uh, that was. Is that not amazing? That's incredible. That's her blanket it? stitching. She she do, everything she does is is just and her mum's the same. Gorgeous, absolutely. It, it doesn't matter. That's delightful. But it doesn't have to be that gorgeous. No, I mean that is yeah, beautifully, yeah, beautifully yeah, done. Yeah, it's, but, it's gorgeously yeah. done, it, 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 and it's lovely. But what I'm saying to you, we all stitch differently. So yeah. I'm meant to be the expert. My stitches aren't half as lovely as Mel's. No. But that's delicious. Yes. But it, that's great if you can do it like that. But it doesn't matter. It no. doesn't matter. Don't get I, upset if you're. No, no. Don't look like I love it. to show you some lovely things. Yeah. And see, Mandy's is. That is incredible. Yeah. Though, don't look it? at it too closely. Don't go on about it too much. No, I won't. I put it away. She makes cakes too nicely as well. Oh, she's a cake maker. She ne they never dip in the middle. Never dip in the middle. Does she ever have a soggy bottom? She always does the right flour for the right thing. Oh, right. Did you watch the new um, Bake Off? No, I didn't get... Uh, um, oh. What were you thinking? Uh, um, oh. I, I, never gave, I never forgave Paul for the having extra marital relationships. Oh, well, we won't go. <laughs> not little Paul. We're not talking about little Paul. He can't even get a normal relationship. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, <laughs> next I was going to give him some advice later on about the jacket. He's bought a jacket. We, we love the jacket. We love the jacket. He's a See? bit neat and tidy this morning, we thought, didn't we? He's always neat and tidy, little Paul. Yeah. Oh, he needs to go on uh, Tinder or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. His mum will be watching. Oh, shh, shh, shh. She was at a festival. Oh, she watched our show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she went home and said to me, uh, then she said it was fabulous, our little oh, uh, good. live show. Anyway... I can't, Paul had, no, I was going to say, um, I really, I wasn't going to watch it because I thought, oh, Mary Berry, Sue and Mel, it won't be said. I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah I think known, we will. Um, what's I like Noel. Is. Yeah, well, I, like... I, I don't know, I don't really know Noel and he's very different on it. He's very... Yeah. Is he yes. dry? Is he dry? 
Are you what? Is he just... <laughs> no, he was a bit kind of like scripted, I thought. Oh, he'll I... get, he'll get, because he and Sandy aren't like Mel and Sue who've been together oh, for no. years and years and years. See, I'm a very loyal girl. Yes. I don't jump ship. No, I don't normally. But you but did. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I thought I'll watch it and then I can come into. Oh, it was awful. It was really. But it's the same. It's exactly the same show. Just because I like Prue Leith. Yes, I do like. Oh, Prue do Leith. you? Yeah. No, a bit. Oh. No, I can, you I watch it. it. You watch it. Yeah, you okay. love her. And and I've known Sandy Toxic for years. So um, so she, me, and Bonnie Langford used to go for afternoon tea in Liberties. You know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> carry on with your sitting. You're trying to put that picture together now. I am really here, but I'll move on. I'll move on. OK, so there you are. We're going to blanket stitch it around. And again, I'm a great girl, as you know. Yeah. Apparently, I've got... It's Saturday, Saturday, night, Saturday night craft along tonight. Yeah, with yes, Lucy. Yes, with Lucy. Yeah. So you could have got this ready in the day. Yeah. In a little bag. And when you sit down in the city, you could be crafting yeah. along with Lucy and mm. half the world. Or you could watch X Factor and do it. Oh, absolutely. It's very, very... And it's good to be with your family as well, because sometimes us ladies get isolated in our rooms. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, you have to do it socially, yeah. So, yes, OK. So that's, that's, that's your lovely um, little... Little um, snowman. snowman done. So when we come to uh, when we come to put the poppers on, let me just show you. you might not recognise these as poppers. Do you see? These? Are they in? Are they in? The yeah. poppers all in the they're, kit. They're aren't they? all in the kit beautifully. Yeah. And here they are. So let me show you. So they are in the kit. Everything you need is in yes. the kit. But they are poppers. They are. They look pressed. Pressed. Studs. Pressed, pressed studs. And I just love unusual haberdashery. Yes. And these are just gorgeous. But you have to. Are they um, from France as well? Uh, they are. They are foreign. But I'm not sure they're from France. Okay. Okay. So look at this. They you can put you can put them together any which way, but they have they be, should be sewn with the little grid facing up. There's a little grid in there. Can you see them? Put your glasses. Just ordered you? Mandy's book. Love Mandy's work. She's got me into red work. That's from Christine. Yeah. Oh yes, 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 yes. You yes, just yes. stitch them. You can either yeah. stitch them over the edges, and that, as I say, creates that lovely little weenie. Uh, okay. I need to warn you. Yeah. We had loads of these. There's only yeah. ten of these left. Oh There's my only goodness. ten of these snowmen kits left. Right, so let just me just so you know. give you another little tip. Let's yes. do faces. What's I'm... the orange in there? For the nose, darling. For the oh, nose. Yes. This is oh god, whoever did this, oh, I did it beautifully. Was, you, was it you? No, it wasn't me. It was my lovely Andy. I've got a lovely team of girls. Well, not a team. I've only got yeah, two. Two. <laughs> Part-time girls. Yeah. And I've got Charlotte. Charlotte's my daughter's son's girlfriend. Yep. She's been um, organising the patterns and labelling them all up oh. nicely. So that's, so that's nice. a real family business, isn't it? Oh really? yeah, and has my Phil cuts. <laughs> And he says, every time we go into the workshop, he's got a super duper cutter, like a big electric thing, and he he he's all does it. Oh, okay, I'll come in and cut. You know, he's always a little bit dodgy. So yeah. We have to make him cups of tea and things. Oh. And then we say, he said, I say it's ten by twelve in the white felt fill, and he says, how many? And I say a hundred, and he'll say, how many? Oh. So, how many can he cut it once with his cutter though? Oh, I think he can cut quite quite yeah, chunks exactly. of them, not a hundred, but it's yeah. much quicker to do that. You know. Exactly. So what are you doing now? I'm going to show you how the face, because this is a very important little life. Look, I'm going to show you how to do these little stars. Oh, And yes. now I'm going to show you how to get these French knots in a nice row. OK. Because so that's quite important. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure how rowish I'll get them in. So we're going to do a, a star stitch for the eyes. Yes. And that's literally a cross stitch. Think of a box. Always think of your boxes. Yeah. One cross stitch with another cross stitch on top. So that's one cross stitch look. Yeah and then put another one on top. These are lovely for eyes. I like them for lots of eyes. I use them for all over cats, dogs, all sorts of things. Little yeah. cross stitch on top of that. So that's very nice. And then you've got to try and get the other one the same. But don't forget, it doesn't matter if it's not identical because this is how Well, who's are? Who's, well, we're not, we're certainly not equal. Symmetrical, are Symmetrical, no, 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 not at no. All. Uh, Please check out, please check out your baskets. That's all I'm saying. There's so many of you wanting this, uh, this garland. Right, OK, I'm just going to show you the lovely little French knots. Actually, it's not a French knot before you shout at me. It's, I do a colonial what, knot. What, for, um, for the mouth? Mouth. So to get this mouth equal, these are, these are representing little coals. Right, OK. okay. So we're going to do one on this side, yes. one on the other, yeah. one in the middle, yeah. and then fill the other two. Oh, oh good. Oh, yes. You see? Clever. Right, are you got your eyes, eyes on? I'm Watch watching. This. Right, you're going to take your needle. Wrap it round your thread twice. Yeah, you get You're going this, yeah. to go down in. I'm going to pull that thread tight. Yeah. That's the secret. Put your. I'm going to come out over there, but just bear with me. Put your fingernail on top of the knot. So I pulled the thread tight. Fingernail on top of the knot. Oh, yeah. And you're going to pull your stitch. And there you are. Oh. One. And actually, if you, you can't see it close up because it's um, it's like a little belly button. Oh, a is it a sticky out belly button or a, a, a little, or an a, a baby's a little baby's belly button. Is um, if everyone checks out, these have sold out. If everyone checks out, these have sold out. 
But when everyone checks out, these are sold out. So I'll do the same. Now this time I'm going to come into the middle. So yeah. don't forget I'm going to pull my thread tight. Look. Yeah. Put it quite tight. Um, keep my fingernail on it. Yeah. And that's and that creates a lovely bit of. So I'm going down to the middle one here. Yeah. One, two, three. Next door, but not quite. So go in the middle. Yeah. And that's the secret of oh. getting. Perfect. Well, we don't do perfect. No. Don't remember. No. We go, and we love what we make. No. And don't yes. criticise and don't compare with... With Mel. With Mel. <laughs> uh, and did you do the nose the same, but using the orange thread? Uh, I did a star nose. Did I, uh, well, I've, you can use... I did a star nose. Where's oh, the my, nose is a star. Yeah, right, star, right. nose is a star. Or it could be a little satin stitch, whatever. The secret of this is pulling that thread quite tight, tight. on there. And it through. Yeah. Okay. And the little heart on the body... Is, yes. that in the, in, uh, is that template in the kit as the well? The template's in the kit. Um, and you could have just cut the heart out. That's been sewn on. You could yeah. have cut the heart out and put a little extra button in the middle of it. Oh, yes. And, and, the, and then the... I'm only hurrying along because these are basically sold yeah, out yes, and we'll okay, move on to something yes. else. And then the stars on the big hearts are exactly like the, the same. eyes, but Exactly bigger. the same. And do, do you see how lovely that looks? This, this one has been, been... The hearts are made the same way, stitch on the mark line. Yeah. But she, this time I've cut it a little bit... Uh, wider and you get that lovely little ridge around yes. it. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Okay, so, so that was the, that's the snowman garland, so put that to one side. Yes, now, yes. we need to talk about the book because yes, this is Mandy's brand new book. It's yes. only available here and from Mandy Direct. It's Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. Uh, last time we showed this book, uh, we sold uh, out hundreds in eight minutes. We got a lot more this, uh, this time, but they're going very, very fast. It has, you still need to check out your basket, though. You still need to check out your basket. Um, ten different brand new projects going on in there. But now, the next two things we're going to show you are kits, but the instructions are in the book. Yes. So, so it's pointless you buying the book... It's pointless you buying a book with a kit each time. So we're selling the book separately yep. and the kit separately, but they don't have instructions in. Right. Yep. So the instructions yep. are in the book. Yep. So buy the book for twelve ninety five, and then buy the components to make the things that are in yep. the book, yep. which the next two are. Yep. So should we do the quilty yes, first? Yes, yes, because I've, I'm, I'm going to show you this. this is gorgeous. This right. is very. Lovely. This is how this is how this arrives. This is a lovely big squidgy kit. This yeah, one isn't. Yeah. It? This is how it arrives at your house. And it's everything you need. Iron on transfers. Well, everything as in that fabric and that Wadding, fabric and everything. Yes, yeah, everything. We've got the bright oh, yes, red. There it yes, is, yes. There it is, We've yeah. got the, the matching bright red. Do you see that slightly darker? Oh yes, but so we've, we've got, got the matching. matching red one. So it's all right gorgeous. in the picture, you've got the dark yeah, one, but yeah. you're actually getting this one. Yeah, yeah. You're actually getting the matching spot on. Yeah, can you see? Spot it's on, just yeah. a lovely wall hanging. I am. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Gorgeous. What I do with wall hangings, I put them over the back of chairs. Yes. I got little clips from uh, the big Swedish store and I just yes. clip them up all over the place, just like this. That's very attractive yeah. clipping. Yeah. Um, and I just I hang them on the back of doors as well. Um, and I've you know, the coat trouser hangers. You yes. Can, you yes. Can just cover those with a bit of ribbon. You can use those as well. So right. these, but you could have used these individually and made them into cushions. Yes. So what I've got on here is it, it's called, called gone shopping. Right. It's called gone shopping. And this here is the so, grocery. So this isn't just. It's all Christmas oh, themed. Oh, it, it is Christmas themed. I was going to say the shops aren't Christmas themed, but they've yeah, got yeah, Christmas things in are. the shops. So this is, they? but yes. it, it could be anybody. Don't forget, you can put your own names on here. Yes. Um, and this is like a little family heirloom now. Yeah, yes, yeah, but, yeah. And this is the grocers. So I've got Christmas trees and spuds and wreaths and holly and things like that. The grocers. Lovely. Here. So that on its own would make a nice little picture. Yes. Uh, yes. Or uh, on a cushion. Yes. On a cushion. Then we've got Dusty's Bakery. Yes. These are both grandchildren, of course. Yeah. Do you get? Do you get the? Um... I, IOTs. Iron, iron on yeah, transfers, yeah, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so yeah. you can do these, yeah. And this is a, it's a cake shop. So if you've got a friend who's got a cake shop, perhaps you could mm. put a name on there. Yeah. I have got Christmas-themed cakes in here, but we could adapt that to yours. Um, then we've got Dot's Toy Shop. I did, Dot's Nobody. Oh. Just plucked out there. Yes. Dot's just Dot. Um, Dot's Toy Shop. But um, my Phil did make our girls a big rocking horse. Oh. And we've got a time capsule in it. We've put oh, when's it going to open? Well, 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 when we're gone and... Oh, know, oh, oh wow. Um, and little Dusty's pram and things. So, so that's a little toy shop there. It's no, very little nice. Paul, she's not travelling in time. She's put things in it from years and years ago. So when, in many, many years' time... Yeah. The children will open it and there'll be memoirs from you and... Uh, it's hilarious. This, this rocking horse we made, it looks very similar to this. Yeah. We made it ourselves. We didn't have money to buy all the components. My husband's a joiner, a yeah. carpenter. So we bought a horse's tail from a knacker shop. Oh! <laughs> and had to have it 
scratch yes. it and everything. And so it's a, it was a very unpleasant experience. We had tears about it and things. Oh. Cause, um, and so... Um, so it's a very so the, the tail won't stay forever and we we poked the time capsule in the hole oh no where the tail yes, will be yes thank you, yes, thank yes. You, thank anyway, you. anyway moving on from yes, Doc's, Toy Doc's Toy Shop and then we've got Joni's haberdashery my, that's my mum and that's Joni's haberdashery so, oh, so you could have nice. if you've got a friend who's got a haberdashery shop or a court shop or something you could have made that for her as well yes. so it's it's lovely to do, it's a lovely thing to do um it, it's we've done it with a red check because we, oh, it's all festive and yes, lovely and yes, yes, yes. um, some people get very worried and um, about matching your checks up so I suggest that you don't cut it with a rotary cutter that you cut it by scissors along the line right and just use the seam allowance that suits your check this checks will do a quarter of an inch yes, beautifully but um, it was it was quite tricky to keep it nice and straight so, so don't don't cut yourself up about it just make it and love it yes exactly. uh, uh, Doc's Toy Shop was it only built in 2017 yes darling it was it's brand spanking new it's, it looks like one of those old builds oh yes it's, it's, an old yeah. build new build in, yes. old build new build let's so, not talk about new builds Jay gets all upset so, so of course don't forget we've got to date our quilts as well Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's how that. Uh, date our that's well. the date of the and date and sign the quilts. So again, it's iron on transfers, um, which you can use up to six times. Are the two number 38s in this street? That's 36, darling. Oh, sorry. 36. 36. I thought it was a squidgy eight. It's a 36. It's a creative, creative moment. Okay. So, so it's. Um, so these are iron on transfers. But yes. look at this here. Show. show the ladies. But I want to show them the lovely um, this here. Now look at this, first of all. Um, this is the. Um, Rick rack that you get. Oh, it's half rick rack. Yes, isn't that exciting? I found it in an American store. Oh. Imported it all the way over here. I could have brought it for you. Well, you could have done. You could have done. But look, so so you don't have to do the worry about half humps when you put it in your seam allowance. It works absolutely lovingly. Oops. But you must. What are you saying? Oops for? The, the camera. The camera went whoop like that when it pulled out. Oh, right, so I thought you were saying oops. No, not oops. Oh, yeah. no, never oops you. <laughs> Um, so this is a great this is a great rick rack, but it, just watch the iron with it because it is polyester, but it's quite a good good quality. Oh, polyester. Okay, yes, 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 yes. But I just thought the, the, the match of colour was just amazing. Exactly. So, so yes. now remember, don't panic when you open these. They will be back to front. Oh yes, yes. Because obviously when you transfer it down. So there's um now uh, just just really now did you draw draw these yourself? Yes, is it all, all Mandy's drawing? Don't forget you've got to <laughs> don't forget you've got to chop off. Oh, yeah, gone shopping at the bottom. Yeah, otherwise you're going to get that on your work. On, that, on your fabric. Yeah, so yeah. there's your four. Now, these, again, will run up, work up to six yes, times. Yes, yes. So now, the bigger the paper, the bigger the paper you have, the transfer you have, I never do more than A4, yeah. um, it, you've got to prep yourself really well. So what you do need is those pins. Ha, ha. Is um, you've got to use the pin, a flat heady pin. Yeah. So you could pin the transfer down at the top so it won't move. Because yes. the bigger the piece of paper, the more difficult and it is. And this is definitely the one you don't lift it and press absolutely, it and all that. Because absolutely, of. absolutely. But what's lovely is you could make, if you, each of those work six times, yeah. you could make this, but then you could also make a cushion to go with yeah. or an apron to yeah. go with. So, like Joni, was it yeah. Joni yeah, in the cake yeah, shop yeah. there? Oh no, that, she's the, 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 the haberdashers. Uh, Dusty. Could have one if she's a real cake yeah. maker. Yeah. You could make her an apron yeah. on the front of her apron yeah. and things like that. The other thing I want to say to you about you, you, you I, I sometimes think you're all like me, but I don't think I think I'm unusual. Uh, uh, unique. Unique. Okay. And what I remember, remember as a little child, sitting my granny set in, she had one of those great big murals. Yes. And I used to, it was, it, it, and I used to sit on the set and talk myself through the woods and oh. that sort of stuff. So I see this. And she was a bit unique as well. She, you, yeah. Yeah. So I see this as up on the wall, and you're, you could do your grandchildren's names on it, and yes. they would all come in. They'd, they do storytelling in their heads, and that would create memories. Yes, oh, yes I'm a memory totally. maker. Mm. I want to make memories. No, no, yeah. exactly. It's lovely. So it's, it's a very lovely little piece of work. So um, in the kit, you get the linen. Yep. You get the wadding. It's 100 percent linen. Yep. Cotton wadding, the best look. Yep. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And then you get the gingham. You get the cotton, spot. Yep. You get the is that interfacing. Interfacing. And interfacing. we put interfacing on the back so it stabilizes the work slightly. Yeah. And also that the threads don't when you jump across, you can jump across at the back. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots and lots of the thread. Yeah. And beautiful bias yes, binding. Binded, binded, binded. And, and, and of course, the iron on transfers, which were yeah. in there. So it's the whole caboodle. The whole, the whole caboodle. caboodle. Right. And this would make a lovely kit, a present. Yes. Um, as a kit to a sewer. Um, and um, it would make a lovely, it's a lovely gift. Uh, I see it sort of in the kitchen y type yes. place. Or the, don't now, I know I'm very boring, but I need you to check out your baskets. Lots of you got your baskets. I only say it because I know 
if you, if you want something, you don't want to come back to check out in an hour's time and find out they're all sold out or something like that. So I'm only telling you so you don't miss out because there's nothing worse than thinking, oh, I've got that lovely Mandy Shaw uh, gone thing, shopping yeah. uh, quilt. And then they come to check out later on and it's, and it's because gone. Because you know, because you know it's not, I'm not a factory. It's only yes. me and yeah. my two girls. Yeah. And we, once well, we made these up, we've only made them for crate. We've only made them for... <laughs> so well, for what, for what, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> We've for only made them in sewing quarter, and yeah. we haven't even got them. We haven't got them anywhere else. Yeah. So it's not like there's millions of these things. Right. Yeah. So what you do is you get the bundle here for forty-two pounds and ninety-five pence. You get the book, and then the instructions are in the book. In the book. Of how to make yeah. that whole piece up for yeah. you. I'll yeah. just show you. Do you remember what page it's on? Uh, not sure, but it's. It would be. It would, oh well, it that, there's, be, there's the there's yeah. the pictures at the back there. It would be crazy there. for me to sell you the book and the book again. So yes, no, just, exactly. One exactly. book. One book, book with kits. all yeah, of the of, instructions in. And don't forget, the uh, book has all the instructions on, on how to put the binding on, how to use your wadding. Uh, well, and also the instructions on that. Oh yes, The one yeah, behind us as well. Book. That's got the instructions for that. There it is. There it is. There it is. So all the instructions are in the book. But all the ingredients, all the components, yeah. are in the kit. Yeah. So at £12... Oh, there's loads of people. There's loads of you. Loads of you coming in for this. Hang oh, on. Uh, Marion, Anne, Vanessa, Dorothy, Jeannie, Phyllis, Eileen, Elizabeth, Karen, Nora, Angela... <gasps> but, oh, that must be a surname. Baker, Elsie, Suzanne, Alison, Sandra, Jean, Christine, Sarah, Anne, Mary, Margaret, Sharon, Patricia, Lillian, Suzanne, Heather, Carol, Philomena. I, I love, love that, that name. name. Yeah. Susan, uh, Monica, Jean, Yvonne, Lorna, Jackie and Anne, you all need to start checking out your baskets. Yeah. Claire's just added. Claire and Karen. Oh, yeah, you think? <laughs> but it's just, it's a lovely project to do. And, um, and, and also, you, if you start it now, I know, I know it's dodgy, we're still in September. Start it now, you'll definitely have it ready for Christmas. The trouble is, right, we're all going, oh, it's... How long ago are we saying, oh, it'll soon be summer? Yeah, and summer's yeah. been it's almost gone, 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 do you know what I yeah, mean? And Christmas... Gone, yeah. With everything else that you have to do yeah. for Christmas, as in planning the family, yeah. the family rows, yeah. all that and everything, yeah. get all this done, out yeah. of the way, done, feel good while you're doing it, yeah. enjoy doing it. Yeah. Or if you just, the thing is, if you just find it, what a gorgeous gift. For the, know, to, not yeah. to make it, but just yeah. to give it Absolutely. to somebody. It's a gift. If you yeah. know somebody loves red work, yeah. it would be a beautiful gift, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, it's a lovely thing. So, and actually, you know, I, I reckon a two, three evenings you could do each block. Two, th it's two yes. three evenings each box. So get it prepped uh, in your bag, you know, when you go do the Christmas concerts and in the queue. Oh, yes, exactly. Oh, all that's come. How exciting. But anyway, so yes, so that's gorgeous. That's very, very lovely. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. Right, John and Mandy just bought Mandy's book. Oh, hang on, what's it? I lost it. Just bought Mandy's book. Absolutely love all that she does. Lots Thank of you, Nora. love, Thank Nora. you very much. Thank Nora. you, darling. Thank you. Oh, right, so should we move on? Should we move on? we're not going to stitch any of that, are we? Just, no, we're not going to stitch because it's too one. big to show. Yes, and, um, and the, it's a too big a project to show. But I'll it's come back to it, though. We yes, will come back yes, to it. Yes. Now, the next one we're going to show you... It's not in the book. This is not in the book. Oh, that one's not this, in the book. Sorry, that's my, that's my bad. We're just going to do baubles, little baubles. So this one is to complement the book and to complement all the decorations we've made um, and things. So these are just these little are the baubles. baubles. These, little, these little are the baubles. baubles. Christmas baubles. Yeah. And again, I'm loving the idea that you make three of these in a pattern. Oh, hang on. Now, these, you've called these hoopies. I thought the hoopies were tomorrow. The hoopies are tomorrow, darling. Hoopies are tomorrow. tomorrow. Hoopies are tomorrow. These uh, are the baubles. Well, I have got hoopies with me if you want to swap. Can we do you want to swap them, Paul? Just going to swap quickly. OK. Have you got the, have you got yes, the hoopies yes, there? Yes. Sorry. Oh, yes, we'll do the do. baubles tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. This yeah. one I made earlier. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, then we, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You won't miss out. You can still buy these. You can still buy these because the graphics have gone through. We'll just demonstrate this one tomorrow. We're doing... We're doing... There you go. There's, There's there. the hoopies, right? That's what you get in this one. So if you watched Mandy and I at the um, NEC, you will have seen these hoopies being done. before. Yes, being yes, done yes, before. Yeah, yeah. What you get is you get the hoopies, you get the fabric, you get the threads. And you get the elasticated, the elasticated ribbon, ribbon stunning, at the back. It's gorgeous. It's just now, one thing you might not have, because this is the one where you usually glue gum. Yes, would I, you like me to plug you in? Yes, do, darling. Do, darling. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. That's all right. No, no, because Mandy's got them here, so it doesn't matter. I, the samples are back there, but I've got the all the how to's, yes, which yeah. is really nice. Right. So these are quite popular at the minute, anyway. These hoopies, people are doing lots of work with these hoopies, but they're just um, they're ju they're hoops. I've called them hoopies, yes. but it's just very very exciting to be able to do little bits of red work in them. Yes. Okay? So um, if you've not met them before, they're embroidered, which ladies would have 
used to keep their embroidery taut while they stitch. And I don't use it in red work. Lots of people do. That's fine. You're allowed yes, to. Yes. I don't use them because um, the wooden gets in my, in my fingers. fingers. But if you're using satin stitch or um, uh, some stitches, you need to use a hoop. Yes. So this is a four-inch hoop, and you get three of them in your kit. You will get three of them in your kit. Right. Okay. That's it. So can we just see the? Oh, excuse me. Can we just see the picture again, Paul? Sorry, the um, kit picture. So you get three hoopies. You get the instructions. You get the fabric. Yep. You get the stretchy elastic, yep. gingham elastic, and you get the um, thread. Thread. And the thread. Okay. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get iron-on transfers. There's three of them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Go on. But what I was going to say to you is this is the this is the kit that you need to buy the book with. Yes, that's where we've got confused. That's where we've got confused. So this is the one you yeah. do need to get the yeah. book with this kit. So let's find the page in the books, which is lovely. So, so the baubles tomorrow are a kit on their own with yeah. the instructions. Because that's why I got confused, because I was saying... They're the, very um, similar, actually. Yes. I do, that's, that is, but I was trying to complement everything yeah, so that yeah. we had lots of lovely sewing to do. Yeah. So here you are, look. So in this... Um, in this uh, book you've got the three designs for here which yeah. is this three here but but there's another load of designs at the back you could adapt and I have adapted look at this for the Christmas quilt see these for the Christmas quilt this this these designs here belong to this quilt here oh, okay and I've taken one of the designs this little baby here yeah and I've also made it into a hoopy oh, okay <gasps> See, so you've got three designs, but actually with the book, you've got lots and lots yes, more. Yeah, exactly. Now, this is an interesting little fact. So with this kit, you get the iron-on transfers, but with the book, you obviously don't. They're, yes. they're available online, but not here. So how would you get that design onto your onto, fabric? Yes. So that's a very nice little, little, little road to take you down. Okay. And so what you'd need to do is I always use nice white fabric yes and you can see beautifully just trace it through trace it through with a fine pencil or a pigma pen right if you can't if the books is you don't want to damage your book you could photocopy your book yeah and then take your little piece of paper stick it on a window and put that on top yes and you would definitely get exactly a gorgeous. i don't know if we've got we sold out of the light box i'm not sure if we got it back in but we sold this amazing perfect. light yeah. box that would be um, perfect. before i went on holidays yeah. and if they've got it back in yeah. again but um, i know it's sold out but that would be perfect yeah. for this wouldn't it? and the other little yeah. tip is you can get an iron transfer pencil oh, that you, you draw on the design turn it over and iron it down the only thing is the pencil is quite thick, so you have to keep sharpening it. Um, but there's a new pencil coming on the market, oh, yes, um, that we're, a pen that we're waiting for, which you can iron on, and it will. It's due to arrive shortly. It, you can iron on, and it we can iron it two or three times as well. Oh, fantastic! So we've got three options. Oh, we'll have to get that when yeah, that yeah, comes. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you know what yeah, it is yeah. called. Um, so, so there's three options. So the transfers are stunning, easy, and quick. But in in the kit, in, yeah, the, in kit, the kit, what you, you, get, get you get the transfers. You get the anyway, transfers. Yes, yeah. You will definitely get the transfers. So okay. it's so so you, so you get a page of transfers. Yes. It's just a page of transfers. Okay. Right. So what you're going to do is use your iron-on transfer yeah. to place onto your linen. Um, what we didn't say earlier on in the day that some some linens have got a little dressing on them but this white linen seems to transfer very well you can see it's lovely and dark yeah. oh yes, so yes, yes yeah. and what we're going to do is put a little bit of wadding in the on the back right which you get in the kit you get in the kit yeah. and the wadding gives it a little 3d dimension mm. which is very very lovely it's very lovely um this oh, this one has got wadding on it as well so you just and you're going to stitch this with a simple back stitch same with same as you same did earlier as we yes. did earlier on no no difference you get cotton abro day in your kit as well uh, if you had if you're using the transfers later on because you can use them up six times you could use two strands of an ordinary thread yeah and you could use these in color i'm sticking to the red and white thing of course no of course you are yeah. but yeah, yeah. But if, if you're if somebody doesn't want to do or if you know somebody who doesn't do a red and white theme, yep. you could make those in gold or any yep, colour yep, that you want to. Absolutely, absolutely indeed. So then what you're going to do is once you've done that, once you've done the design, um, it's a six inch square you need to cut. Just this is something, actually somebody asked this, I will show you. Yes. So it, somebody did ask this. It, we, we, us ladies, girls thought it was odd that they asked this, but we forget that we're crafty. So I asked you to cut a six inch square, I think it is, um, to make each, to stitch it. And then you're going to cut that into a circle. And she said, how do I get that into a circle? So it's a rough circle. Yeah, so yeah. all I do is fold it in half and half again, and I cut those corners off. You only need a rough circle. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Oh, it's fantastic. It's actually a bit yeah. oblongy, but it doesn't matter. No. That's your circle, OK. Um, I've got a message here which I don't really yeah. understand. Sarah in West Midlands. Hello, yeah. John and Mandy. I've just bought Mandy's book in Snowman and can't wait to start. Loving the show, and I love to watch when I can. Just ironing so... 
and then it runs out. Oh, bless us. She's allowed to run out. She, she runs. Is it uh, great to watch? I think it might. She might oh, have, oh, oh, she might have had, She might be... Um, Sarah, let me know if there was anything more... Um, or let, I hope she's well. I hope she's all right. Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's not her. It's our machine that cuts it oh. off halfway through. It's not her stopping, typing. Oh, right. It's a, so what I want to show you this, this is another slightly strange thing that happens in workshops. I ask you to gather, I've had this conversation before with you, haven't I? Yes. I ask people to gather. Yes. And they have two little fluffy ends. Mm hmm They try not. So I'm just going to gather around this to... Sh to so so in, in, in the real world... Yes, in the real world. You'd have it like this, yes. you'd have done all your red work, yep. back stitching yes, yep, on yep, there and everything, yep. and you've got it to that stage. Yes, I have. You've also got wadding behind there You have got wadding behind there, yes. there as well. I'll, yeah. I'll unpick in a minute. But okay. You're going to... I'm going to... When you're going to gather my way yes you're going to cast on so there's one knot yeah and two stitches on top so not and two stitches um one knot and two stitches because yeah. we, be, we did nothing worse than gathering pulling up tight and then absolutely so that's my tip yes yeah. most people leave the end free thinking they could do a pleasant little bow at the end no. i don't like that at all so you're going to gather around now um so I just gather and says, gathering doesn't have to be neat and tidy because it's not going to be seen. But do you yeah. see how I do that? I thought that's quite nice. Yeah. Little effect, actually. It's quite impressive. Well, it's that. like uh, as a, uh, when I um, used to make costumes and things like that, if you have yeah. to gather up a lot of fabric for skirts, oh. uh, you don't want a long thread to pull. So you learn yeah. to kind of ruche as you go along yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm just going to gather around the outside edge. So again, these are all these all decorations that I'm making for Christmas trees and windowsills yes. and all sorts of things. Don't forget sticks. Don't forget to go out and pick lovely pea sticks and things, um, willow sticks. And uh, in my hall, I have a big vase, three or four willow sticks, and all these on there. Yes. Is, yeah, because these haven't got we haven't got hanging hoops on these, have you we? You will no, have hanging we will hoops. Have. So you will have, darling. Don't you worry about this. No, no, no. It's I'm all covered. Yeah. It's all covered. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Okay. It's cool. gorgeous. Um, I do love working with linen. I, I, it's such a lovely... I love working with calico, linen and Osnaberg. So I go from one extreme, from the poor man's cloth... Yes. ...to a nice... Um, so we've, we've got sourced really lovely linen, but every now and then it goes out of stock. Yes. So, OK. Right. So leave that sound like that. So what we're going to do is going to put it in the hoop. So before you put it in your hoop, take a piece of card. Now, this is not included in the kit. No. Uh, oh, packet. what was this then? Did you just bring that with you? I brought it with oh, me. Oh, sorry, ah, I just found that. Yeah, it okay. So what you're going to do is um, oh, take your largest hoop, because yes. it's a different size, it's slightly yeah, small. Yeah, the one with the, yeah, with the... Um, screw on it. Yep. Uh, and you're going to draw around the outside edge, and that is the cut, you're going to cut that out, and that's what's going to go on the back right. in a second. So if you did the smaller one, it wouldn't fit. All right, fit. Jay. Where's Jay? Jay, can you get the finished, whereabouts are the finished ones, please? I'm not sure, do you have them? Yeah, Jay. Poor Jay. Not poor Jay. No, sorry, darling. I don't like all the all, all dishes. I'll put that there because we're dripping. Can we have the finished ones of those from the warehouse? Right. Uh, they're the hoopies rather than the, the, the drops. Um, right. Before we uh, carry on, uh, we've got an email that we need to read out. Oh, let's it's not it. one from here. Oh, well, okay. I've got this one. Patricia just bought Mandy's book. Can't wait to receive it. But I've got an email coming through. Stop yawning. Uh, go on. My name is. C E L E Y, Selly, 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 and she's ten. Oh, darling, I love kids. I'm passionate about children. Her neighbour gave yes. us some white fabric. Yes. And I've made these four polar bears. Where are they? <gasps> and two tools. Darling, they're beautiful. She's made them from mum and dad. And she's ten. Oh, that's amazing. Selly, is that name Selly? Oh, darling, well done. You know, I'm passionate about making, getting children to I, sew. I know, I know. It's, well, how fantastic it, yeah. that is. Oh, that is amazing, darling. We can't get her. I can't send her a little kit, can I? You can do whatever. Can Selly, we... email in your address. And then Mandy will send you a little, a little. I often do this to children. I love um, empowering children. Did you see this little bear I had earlier on on here? I had it yesterday. Here it is. Not Look. yesterday. You went there yesterday. Oh yes, now. Oh, I, yes. I remember this. Yeah, she, she's five. Yes. Look at this. Um, and that's, look, she's made that for me. So it's wonderful. We must all, if we do nothing in our world, we must make, empower children to sew yes. or create yes. and make. Uh, Jay's just brought these in. Oh, these, yeah, are the finished, yeah. these are the finished um, hoopies. 
so they just look so lovely. They're, and again, they're great for the Christmas tree. They're a bit big, but they yes. look lovely Depends on window sills. Kind of yeah, if you've got yeah, a exactly. huge Christmas tree. Um, and there's the cardboard and you could on the write, back. Uh, give them a Christmas card and write little get, oh, messages on the back. Oh, that's lovely. On the back. Right, okay. So, so what you're saying? So, you what I've done, so I've put the hoop. I've put the. Um, the embroidery into the hoop, and I would have cut off the excess wadding what, yes. at this stage, but we like the wadding. Now, you can really get this tight and central, and once you've screwed it up really tight, you can get a screwdriver in there yeah, yes. and really once go for it. Exactly we yeah, really do want to. it lovely and tight, so that would be embroidered as that one is. Yes. Okay, that's a design from the book. That's, yeah. You'll have the book with this. And then you're going to gather around the outside. Pull up your gathers, nice and tight. And they won't, they won't ping off because we've made that secure knot. So you're just going to gather this up nice and tight. What I, what I want Jay to do is bring me the things from the two things from the um, earlier hour, so I could just give a quick mention to those, and then he can do whatever he wants on set two. Then. So there you are, and, and so that's just gathered around. So no one's going to see that back. No, no one's no. going to see that back at all. Okay, so that's the stage we've got to there. Yep. Okay, then you're going to get the glue gun and we're going to put the, the stick now, on. Now, if you haven't got a glue gun, could you use a, a like a, I want to say boss stick, but I don't know if you're allowed to say that. You who are, let's oh, go you, for a little, yes, 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 go for it. So, um, I'll tell you what's really great, it dries clear, is um, PVA glue. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it needs to be sound because it yes, would um, yeah. wiggle around, wouldn't it? So let's just use the glue gun. So the glue, of course, these glue guns, Five pounds, they are about in most shops. Um, we but, don't, we don't sell glue guns, but yeah. more crafty shops yeah. will, will all have them, yeah. You're right there. I think we should have it ordered, really. Uh, you should have them. They were, actually, they're very, very, very easily available. But the trouble is, let me just warn you, that the glue dries incredibly quickly. Yeah. So you can't do the whole lot at once. So you have to... This is... Um, uh, this is yellow, because sometimes I put old pencils in to, to secure it around. So I'm only doing half at once, OK? And what's good about the glue gun is it dries absolutely instantly. But if you get it on your skin, you need major surgery. Not, not quite. You just need to... Um... There you are. Gorgeous. So you've got your back all covered. But it's still a bit un unneeded. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to get your, your gathered ribbon. We've now, is it elasticated? It is elasticated. Elast elast you know who wants this? Because Lorraine, who watched our show... Yes. She came to your stall to buy this and you'd sold out. Well, I was about to tell you before you interrupted me that we have made, caused a major shortage in the world of this. Well... Yes. In this country. Yeah. Okay. Because of you. Because I love it, don't you? Love it. <laughs> shortages. <laughs> like food shortages because oh, I do Oh, no. So, oh, what's happening? Jenny, I'm gutted. I've missed out on the snowman garland kit. Oh. Absolutely love the show from Jenny. Bless her heart. So I'm going to put this around the outside edge so this, so they don't pull it tight. We want to... Just rest it. Rest it nicely. So you, as I said, you, with the glue guns, watch your hands. No child should use a glue gun with, unless they're supervised. And you can get a cold glue gun. Can you? This is a hot glue gun. Yeah. How does it melt the glue, then, if it's a cold glue gun? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I just know you can get a cold one, or perhaps it's light, lukewarm or something, but it does still work. So you could have put this on with PVA glue or yeah. you who are busty. But I, the reason we love the um, oh. glue guns is because they're instant. They're instant. We don't like mess, but this no. is live. And, and you're getting it everywhere. Yeah, I'm getting it everywhere. Um, so you just put this on. And you're also going to have... You've got a little bit of ribbon in your kit. You will have a nice piece of ribbon for yes, a little yes, hanger. Yeah. So you want the edge to be on the edge of the card... And then you want the frill to show from the front. Yes. So don't forget, this one here is one I've adapted out of the book. So I'm a great girl for adapting things. I think you should always be... I always say this, you don't look at your books enough. You've got these beautiful books and it's Christmas coming up. All exactly. of my books, ten of them, have got a Christmas section in the book. Uh, oh, even though they're not a Christmassy book? Yeah, no, no, they've all got Christmas. I, I always do a seasonal... The books always have Christmas is my oh. big thing. So let's just trim that off yeah. and, and show you the ladies. I'll switch that off now, then. Dear, that's gorgeous. Look, the, look at that. How nice is that? And then you could just grab a little bit of ribbon. It, it's, I've got a nice little piece of ribbon somewhere, have I? It comes in, it came, it comes it came in, in the, the kit, kit, doesn't it? I'll just use this but just to show you. Yeah. Just fold it in half. So when I fold my ribbons, I just don't fold it in half like that. I no. fold them so that they've got... They look nice. Well, they're also like those ribbon, um, yes, ribbons yes, you yes, get yes, to yeah. wear for charities and things yeah, like and that. Yeah, and you would you? just put that... 
And would you glue gun that bit I'd on as well? I'd glue gun that yeah. on as well. So you can't stitch it. You have to accept that you can have a bit of stitching, a bit of gluing. This is, yes, this yes, is crafting. Yes. And, that, and you could put a little message on there to somebody. i give that to your... Because, well, the thing is, things like that are things that after Christmas are going to go in the loft, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. And then next Christmas you're going to open yeah. the box and go, oh... They could date it. How exactly? Yes. And you know that, grand, that granddaughter thing where you've got a new granddaughter, make one of these and put it in their box and say, um, your first two came through today, darling. Oh. So romantic. Do you know what I've done? I've saved everything for my children. Lots of boxes, all their dolls, all their clothes and things. Thinking, but they, it doesn't always work. That it can, they've got smaller homes and they can't keep everything. That no, I've no, kept of course them. not. No. So my house is like a homage oh. to childhood. Right. Yes. I've got three minutes left yes, with darling. you today. Yes, yes. She's in again tomorrow, oh, so don't yes. worry. You're going to another. Lots of new things tomorrow. Got new things again yes, tomorrow. Yes. Right. So let's just go through everything that we've yes. done in this hour. Yes, yeah. yeah. And what we can do. So let's start off with the hoopies, which yep. is these. In the kit, you get all three of these. To the, 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 the kit, there it is. There's the kit. And you can make all three of these. Yep. For £19.95. Loads of you got these in your basket. You do need to check out. £19.95. And it includes pence. the iron-on transfers. So you get the iron-on transfers, which you can use up to six times. The red... Uh, Thread. Thread. The uh, linen, the uh, the lovely ribbon, uh, everything, everything you need yeah. there for nineteen pounds and ninety five pence. The snowman garland is sold out, so there's no point in talking to you about that. This, the kit for this, we have. Oh, you get everything. Yeah. You get everything. all the fabric. You get the iron-on transfers. You, uh, where are the iron? Well, you also get iron-on transfers. They haven't put yeah. those on the picture there. Yeah. You get the iron-on transfers, the thread, the ribbon, the rick rack, the the backing fabric, the linen, everything you need to make to make this. Now, obviously, as um, Amanda said, if you don't want to make a wall hanging like that, you could make four cushions. Yeah. You could do whatever you want with it, but the instructions for that are in the, the book. book. They're in the book. The book's here. Oh, that's they're, the they're in the book. So, so it's lovely having kits. The advantage of having a kit is that you can go. You, can, you don't have to go looking and shopping. No. Yes, because if you yeah. bought the book, you then have to go, well, let's buy yes, a metre yeah, of this yeah, yeah, and a metre yeah. of that. You get, it's, in, it's in the book there, all the details, all the instructions, everything. Uh, but there's so much, there's ten. There's, now, with the book, you need to check out your basket. So many of you, hundreds of you got this in your basket, you need to check out. You do need to check it. It's £12.95. and pence. Right, very quickly, from the last hour, from 8 oh, o'clock... Yes, yeah. The other... The other um, Stocking sold out. Sam the Snowman stocking sold out. So we've got the the dusty, and you get everything in there, don't you? Absolutely for everything. No, absolutely everything. But don't forget, you don't have to have the word dusty on here. Yeah. You could have your own word, and you could use a, a, a friction pen to draw, and you could iron it off if it's wrong. And, yeah. Uh, or you don't have to have the name at all. Twenty-four pounds ninety-five pence. And then last but not least, look at all these gorgeous um, hearts on the tree here. Ready? Got thirty seconds, please. There you go. That comes in a kit form as well. That all comes in... I'm sorry the table's so messy, but okay. there you go. You, <laughs> get, you get all the transfers, you get the fabric, you get the threads, you get the ribbons. They're gorgeous. £24.95. I'm rushing you off. Thank you ever so much. We'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yeah. Take care, oh, bye. It's unusual, isn't it, to have up two days of the weekend. It's the first time we've ever done it. Lucy's coming up next for that lovely birch quilt. Thank you. Thank see you in three from now. Bye. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Go back to sewing school this Monday with guidance from two experts. Designer Paul Clark impressed the nation with his dressmaking skills on the Great British Sewing Bee. Now he's here to share his sewing secrets with us. 
as he makes one of his signature bowling shirts, followed by a delightful dinosaur soft toy. We're also joined by Sashko expert Susan Briscoe, who will give us a masterclass in this traditional Japanese technique. As the author of The Ultimate Sashko Sourcebook and Simply Sashko, Susan is a real authority in her field and will help you master the art in no time. So join us at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. for Paul Clark's Sewing School and at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. for Susan's Sashko Masterclass, Monday the 4th of September, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and we'll be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on the sewing bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former sewing bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. You know, if you go to the web, right, we've got the summer sale on the web. Remember, we had the day and the day, the one, one day and one hour of the uh, summer sale earlier on in the year. Uh, and then everything that uh, was, uh, wasn't sold on air, we went on to uh, the website, right? Now, they've got an offer, right? If you go to the website, have a look at the web here, www.sewingquarter.com. It's online only. These fabrics will never, ever, ever be seen on television again. What you need to do is if you go to the summer sale, you get an extra 25% off the top current reductions in the summer sale category. So what you do is go to the shop, right? Then you look down at Fab, you look for the summer sale. You can go into the summer sale. And then when you, when you come to check out, write in extra 25 and you get an extra 25% off. Now remember, some of those fabrics have got 50% off already. So then you'll get an extra 25% off. Um, so that's brilliant. It's web, it's web only. It's web only. I can't show it on air. I can't show it on air. It's just on air. So just go to the website and have a look. Right. Now, uh, when uh, Lucy was on earlier, we had that lovely quilt hanging in the, hanging in the background. Um, you'll see it again in a minute. Um, well, it's, it's this. It's this one. It's this one. She's going to make it again for you now, but in a different colourway. She's going to make it now in a different colourway. This is the book called Quilting in Black and White. Now, it's a bit naughty. Because it says quilting in black and white, but there's other colours in it as well. £15.95. It's a gorgeous book. I'll go through it later. But what we're going to make, what Lucy's going to make, it's called White Birches. It's this one here. It's really, really lovely, isn't it? Now, she's already made that one in the black and the white. Well, it's black and cream she's done hers in. Uh, but she's going to show you how to make it in a different colourway now. The booklet is £15.95. Let me show you the two bundles that I've got, right? The one that you've already seen. I'll start on this side. The one that you've already seen. Now, look how much fabric you're getting. I, could, I think it was seven and a half metres, wasn't it? We'll go through it now. There you go. Seven and a half metres of fabric, 58 pounds and 95 pence. Beautiful tonal. So you've got the grey spectrum solid there. You've got the grey linear print there. You've got the lovely silver grey spot on. You've got the heron linear print there. You've got the red spot on for the birds. And then you've got the lovely cream. It was really lovely that they've done cream as the background rather than stark white. You get all of that, seven and a half metres for 58 pounds and 95 pence. Yep, beautiful, 58.95. Then the other one, now this is going to, I don't know what this is going to work out, but it's going to be beautiful. Going to be absolutely beautiful. Look at the colours in here. So again, you get the red spot for the birds. 
But then again, you're getting seven and a half meters of fabric. But look at these. You get that pistachio spot on. You get that really lovely grass green linear print. You get that really lovely kind of ochre linear print there. Lovely dark, dark forest green, like a pistachio green, the red spot, and then the cream. So if I, is it half a, half? That's like one, two, three. Yeah, so it must be four meters. Oh, hang on, I thought it was only three and a half of that. So that means you must get one of these then, do you? There's six fabrics there, so if that's half a metre each. Half a metre of this, oh, with the bright red spot. Come to the, can come to the live, sorry. Half a metre of the red. Half a metre of dark green. Three and a half metres of the cream, so we're on four and a half. Yep. A metre of the pistachio, there we go. A metre, that's called sulphur, that one. A metre of the sulphur. Half a metre of green. And half a metre of kiwi. Fantastic, 56 pounds and 95 pence. Right, I'll take the book with me. Um, so come, 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 come. Right, oh, we still got the frock on then. <laughs> Not that I was thinking you were coming in topless. Um, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yes. Move, 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 move. <laughs> we love it, we love it. And I love the fact they've used cream. I mean, I do like black and white, yes. I do like monochrome, but I think that just yes. softens it up, doesn't it, using it the cream? Does. It does. Somehow... It's vanilla, not cream, but... Yes, yeah. It's sort of somehow more wintry, isn't it? It's yes. like a winter's morning sort of a look to it. Which it's nice. really lovely. Now, first of all, is it difficult? No, it's different. You can come, you can come, come closer again. I'll come closer again. Oh, that's my big head. Yes. Um, it's, it's a different way, it's a different construction method than, than a normal used block. To. Yes. Yes. Um, it's just a bit different, but all the instructions are really easy to follow. Um, it's all, you know, laid out for you in the book. Okay, so is each of those trees a block? Yes, it's a tree with a, a, like a sashing strip. Oh, yes, oh, I see. So I see, you have I see. like a. Oh, so a, actually the block is quite narrow in itself. Between. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it is quite narrow. Um, and in the book, and with the kits, you've got enough to do the borders that are in the book. I didn't put all the borders right. on, I just did some at the side, um, just time-wise. Um, but you have got enough fabric there to do all of the, all so, of the borders. So basically we're saying you've got enough to do all of the front and the binding and yes. the borders, yes. not necessarily the backing as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Right. Okay. Uh, wasn't there something else we had to say? Oh, yes, read the instructions carefully. Yeah, just read through all the instructions um, carefully. Look at how you're cutting it. It's all broken down for you, but it's worth having a full read through. Yes. Just so you know which bit's going where and that you're getting all the measurements right for all the OK, pieces. but also in, in our policy of being honest, there is a mistake in well, the there instructions. Was, do you know, I've just been looking at it and I don't think there is. Oh, it was you? No, I think it was me. OK. I think I'd I take used, that back. What then. I'd done was I used the, the sashing bits for the wrong bit rather than Oh, uh, OK. Because Lucy so, said. But I appreciate you saying that because I did think that the. No, no, that which, there was is why, a which is why it's important. Yes. Why it's important to read through it. Sit down with a cup of tea. Yeah. Read through it all to begin with. So you. Uh, yeah, read twice, cut once. No, that's not right. Measure twice, cut yeah. once. And, and read through all the different bits because there are lots of small sections and you're subdividing bits and things yes. like that. And But it's all you're cutting it all from strips, yeah. but you don't want to have done all that cutting and then do what I did and use the wrong yes, bit in exactly. the wrong place. All right. <laughs> OK, so let's get started. OK. So, um, I've already pre-cut the strips because okay, there, there, yes, is, there yes. is a lot of cutting. We saw enough cutting. of you cutting earlier yeah, no. that, didn't we? <laughs> so, there is a lot of cutting to be done with this, but like I said, it is all from strips. Um, and then p part of it as well, you cut like large triangles and you cut from that. Right. So, you're sub-cutting the Would the you pieces. cut everything out for, oh, how many other? One, two, three, four, twelve. 12 blocks. Would you cut everything out for all 12 blocks before you start? Yes, I would. What I like about the instructions, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm going off a photocopy. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Thing, but the, um, in all the instructions, in the cutting, it takes you through each fabric. So the only thing you need to decide first is where you want each, fabric. each one to go. And it's really based on um, dark, medium and light. Right. So for the light, I use two 
um, different prints. You might want to use two for the medium one. But also, could you possibly, if you wanted to, you could make the, the trunk out of one fabric and the branches out of another if you wanted. Yes, you could. You? you could do it any way you yeah. like. The thing about it is, the, with the cutting instructions, she breaks it down like that, so it's light, medium, and dark. Right. So you oh, just okay. need to know which ones are going I to be. Which, which you're calling, you like medium what. and dark. Yes. Yes, but yeah. it's quite. You know, just looking at the picture gives you a. You know, you've got an idea yes. of um, what you're doing. Okay. Then. And then the other thing is, you've got. Um, the, some of them are, are reverse, so some of the trees are going this way and the others, the larger branches, are going oh, this way. Right. So some you're doing one way and some you're doing the other way. So it's really up to you how you want to. Um, are the birds also patchwork? The birds are appliqued. Oh, OK. So, yeah. So but we'll are, come to that. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come, to, that. To, we'll come that. to that. There are different ways that you but can But on both of our that. bundles, you'd, use, you'd always save the red for the bird, wouldn't you, I yes. think? Yes, and then you just need um, a tiny bit of black and a tiny bit of yellow. Oh, for, you, for yeah. the eye and but the But they're actually stash. Yeah, yeah, just from whatever. I mean, you could use the darker, the darker one, but if you're going for the green one. Yeah. Well, you could okay. have a green-eyed bird. You could do. Do they green -eyed have different monster. coloured eyes? I don't know. don't know. Let us know if you know. Well, it's got coloured eyes. That's, that's an interesting. Yes, it's something you brought thought, up there. Isn't okay, it? so you've cut all of your pieces out. So I've cut all of the strips out. Are we make? Sorry to interrupt. We're just no, making one of. We're just making one yes, of those blocks. Yes, I'm going blocks to show you how to make a yeah. tree. If yeah. I get time, I'll do a reverse one as yes, well. Yeah. But the principle is the same. Um, the same. Yes, absolutely. So all of the measurements are in the book. I'm not going to go through it all because yes. it's all no, no, there's no, lots no, of exactly. different pieces. Um, but it's all laid out there for you quite simply. Yeah. So um, this is going to form um, the parts in between the branches. So right. this is the background section in between the branches. Right. And they're quite they're odd shapes. Oh okay. Okay. So the branches themselves are just the rectangles. Uh... But we've got to get them in Oh, and they're not just appliqued on top they're, of the cream, then? No, they're, they're, they're pieced. They're pieced. Yeah, yeah, they're pieced. Right. So, um, very handily, she gives you some measurements. So there's just a little bit of marking. Right. And then the crucial thing is you need to have a 45-degree line on your ruler. ruler. You could improvise this... Yes. ..if you wanted to, but if you want to have... This but look, if you improvise it, each tree could be different. It could be different, and you you, you could end up slightly wonky. sort of wonky. Yes. yes. We don't um, want that. I don't want that. So a, a 45 degree um, angle, but uh, with the creative grid ones, all the rectangles and, and the squares tend to have um, yes, that a 45 marking degree. on there. Okay. So then you've got to mark the points at which you're going to cut. So the first mark is turn that round the other way, six inches from the bottom so just put a little mark there yeah. and then the next one is eight and a half make life easier but this is all in the this is all in the instructions what way you have to mark isn't yes it? yeah. it's yeah. all in the instructions but it's a really it's a really clever way of doing it i don't think i've done piecing um, yeah. particularly like this before and i just thought it was quite fun so then you've got to make your cuts so these are going to these are going to be your three yes. sections. So the nice thing about this being um, a plane is we don't have to worry about right sides yeah, up or whatever, course. and you can layer up your fabric. Oh, OK, so, you're going to, so you've put your 45-degree line across the bottom of the fabric there, yes. and you're going to cut your 45-degree line yeah. across there. But what you could do is you could just mark that there, and you could then mark the other one up there. And what you could do on the others is, is, is just do the measurements from... You don't need to always... From what the piece. What I'm trying to say is... Use that You as could a mark that and use it as a template. Get yes. that one, or, or put it on a paper or something like yeah. that. And then you've always got it on a template to do all the trees with, because they're all yeah. the same, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. And your mats have a 45-degree line as yes. well, so you can use that. But personally, I always prefer to f use the ruler yep. and go off that, because yep. mats can warp oh, yes, and yes, things yes, like yes, that. Yes. So, so I've just lined up the corner with that mark I made on yep. the six-inch line and the 45-degree... Um, line at the bottom okay. and then we just cut that one and then I'm going to do the same thing again over here so the second mark I've made lining up the corner there and making sure I've got that 45 degree and cut okay. there 
So what we've and actually then, got is... Oh, sorry, yeah. I was just going to no, say... that's okay, yep. That's the strip, and then you've yep. there your two 45-degree lines you've cut from the points that you've got from your instructions there. Yes. Right. So those are um, the three parts. So I think it's A, And that's two, a, you've B, done C. two... I've done two, two at letters, once. Yeah. yeah. And then um, we're going to do the same thing again with... I'm going to get two... For the narrower side... Of the oh, because the tree's tree. not in the middle of the block. Yes. So let me just line these up properly. And of course, you know, all the measurements, like I said, are in the book, and you just want to be measure twice, cut, cut once, once yeah. um, when you're cutting to make sure you get it all right. So these ones um, are a little bit different. I'm just going to check. So it's six and three quarters. And then eight and a half again. We had an email back with a lovely email from a 10 year old girl in the last hour called Selly. Are we saying it right, Selly? And um, C E L L Y, like cello. Is that like could be celly? There's a cello, it's C E L L, isn't it? Anyway, 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 yes. she uh, loves sewing. She's, she showed us some polar bears that she's made. She's oh, 10 years old. Oh, sweet. At 10 years old. And then um, she loves watching the show and she loves uh, all, lo everything to do with sewing, which is lovely, isn't it? That she is. loves me as well, but that's another thing. <laughs> and so, what are you doing? You're doing it right. So, yeah, I'm just checking that I'm doing it right. Maybe so Sally, you come on way. and be an expert. <laughs> she Oh, mind you, if she's 10, would she only be this tall, wouldn't she, if she's 10? How old I she don't know, 10-year-olds. Oh, OK. I was thinking you would be able to fit down the do. So, again, so, um, just lining it up with the 45 degree, and I've got that um, on the corner, and then I'm just going to cut that. Yeah, no, 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 they're all going on about L, all 10-year-olds are different sizes, but when you go to Marks well, and Spencer's, the clothes are age 9 to 10, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was going for the standard tallness. Standard height. Just, just tell him to stop muttering, please, Timothy. <laughs> so that's our F, E, D pieces cut out. Is that what they're calling them Are on the pattern? Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. That's what they're calling them on the pattern. And then it tells you how to do the reverse as well. So what I did was cut all the pieces that I needed... Keep so talking. I kept going, yeah. cutting all the strips, cutting them all at angles. Yeah. When you're doing the ones at angles, you don't want to have too many layers because you don't want them um, to move. These are all the instructions that uh, Lucy's talking about now, all yeah. the different cuts and everything that she's just done. Yeah. Okay? And then 15, 95, brilliant. Oh, sorry. I did... Um, got, I used sticky notes and write, like, A, like post -its B... Notes. Well, I was saying sticky notes, yes. Yeah. A, B, C, D, right. you know, whatever. And I made my little piles Labels, to keep yeah. them all, you know, organised. But you yeah. could do it with a note and a pin or whatever. Yeah. But I would recommend do all your cutting, just get it all yeah. done. And then um, make, but label all of your pieces, because it can get a little bit confusing. So you, so you cut them, all the backgrounds are cut like this, even the ones for, for the reverse trees. Yeah, the reverse is cut the opposite Way, so, so you don't cut them all like that way, though. Sorry, no, so you do so many that way and so, and so many, many the other, the other way. You can't way. just turn them over But like she that. says which ones are... Fine. F f ...for which. Yeah. Just yeah. follow the... This is why it's important to read the instructions. Yeah, so. but this it actually do, does end up going that way. Yeah. So we're going to lay the blocks out. So then we've got... Um, I've already pre-cut the strips from the different colours right. that we're going to use. Right. So... Should I do a light edge? Yes, so now what you're sewing a straight edge to a bias edge. Is that what's going to happen? Yes, exactly. So just be um, not aware, that's not the right word, but you don't want one will pull more than the other. So just be kind of gentle with it. I'm, yeah. I'm not trying to tell my grandmother how to suck eggs, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like. No, you're right. And you don't want to. It is important that you're not pulling as you're going through. You know, you're not pulling this yes, piece yes, as you're going through because yeah. that will, it will... Um, you see, now, oh, I'll let you place that. Yeah. So, in your... In your 
tree, you've done that. Where, have, you, what, have you cut those yet? Or do they not get cut yet? That bit in the middle there. The bits in the middle are here, yes. OK. But yeah. it, what I was saying was, so you're doing the tree upside down now because the branch yes, is going yes, that way. Yes. Um, if you wanted to, this is just me being devil's advocate now, you yes. could do one. Oh, no, that would be that one, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of like if you wanted to... Do you to... want to? Shall I do that? No, 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 no. Well, I'm we just can, saying. Then no, no, no. We'll I want show you to... people what it will look like. Why not? Look, Let's you see, do it. in a way, you could do yes. your tree with different coloured branches if you really wanted to and things. Yeah. Let's have it. Let's. Oh, have now. A Michael's but then being what colour will you put in the middle? Well, no, that's that's the point. No, this one you'd have yeah. to decide which which one which one you'd decide decide to have yeah. in the middle or anything. And if you then kept all the chunks the same colour and maybe had all the. It's up to you. That's why I didn't want to mess yours up. That was all. It's all right. All right. It's I'd fine. have dark green. Not messing it up. OK, we'll do that then. Yeah. So now you're going to sew them. Right. And they're cut. These strips are cut larger I was say intentionally. Right, OK. Um, but this is where the piecing is a little bit um, tricky. Right. Because you've got to try and you are going to trim it back oh, at the end. Oh, yes, but you could sew that one that far in, that one that far in, it will be, it could be a curve, it would be a banana tree. Yes, it would. Yeah. So you've got to, you've got to try and keep it as, as close, you know, as yes. close as you can. So that's the only bit that sort of, you know. So if you try and keep the branch yes. in the centre, Right. As you as you sew yeah, it. Yeah, so you'll have extra at each end. So you have a bit extra at each end. Rather than rather than matching yes. that corner with the top, match yeah. that for the, with the centre yeah, of the Yeah, because branch. when you come to sew the next bit on... Yes. It, yes. Yeah. It's like bi doing bias binding tape, isn't it? They're all going to be slightly... Yeah. Yes. So just just sort of go for in the, yeah. in the middle, if you like. And then we're going to sew that with a quarter inch. In white. Oh. Oh. Is your machine Some, that on? I'll just try turning it off and turning it on again. See what happens. There we go. You right? Yep. You sure? Yes. Right. It just had some sort of an error message. I don't know. It we've had, we've had the last couple of days, we've had a few gremlins. Have there been gremlins? Yeah. Oh, I hope they stay away. I think it's because they knew Paul was back in today and they were getting ready. You know. <laughs> so you can pin this if you want, but the important part here is not to pull yes. the, the um, paler fabric because, like you said, that's on the bias. Yeah, because it's on the bias, isn't it? So you don't want it to flute or anything yeah. like that. So we can do that and then we can give that a press. Oh, yes. Uh, and so far, the most popular bundle is this green bundle. I think it's lovely, it's so fresh. Do you know what? I think it's almost going to look like bamboo, isn't it? Yes. Especially with the cream. So we're not pressing to the dark side with this one. OK. So it, it does um, have pressing instructions as well with, with um, all the different sections of the blocks, which is quite nice, I think, for the pattern to have um, the pressing instructions in there. So, so why aren't we pressing to the dark side? I just don't know. That's what it says in the pattern. Okay. I'm just doing as I'm <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm doing as I'm told. I'm just so then we're going to um, put the next bit on. And this is where you're going to try to match it up. So if you, you could use a ruler or something, or just use your finger to see when you fold it back, you've yes. got the quarter of an inch. Are those matching up? OK, that's the easiest way, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, to do it. Because they're all going to be slightly different. So you just want it so that as it's but coming But what down, you need is you need that edge to match yes. that edge and that edge to match that exactly. edge. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas if I start no. up here... Yes. Be completely out. It's it's not... Uh, I'm not going to have enough yes. width there. You're going to have diagonal so, trees. Yeah. We are, you do trim it down slightly. Yes, but you still... With, but you still want to be within... You've only you got, know, like, a little allowance to, to get a bit that more. In. Yes, you have. So it's just about... It's funny that she's been... I'm presuming it's a lady, that she's been so precise on I the cutting of the cream. As well. And then it's almost not haphazard, but it's kind of like... It's just sort of improvised. Yes. But there's no real way of saying here's how to do no. it, because you can't match a centre point no. or anything no, like that. Can't, so no. 
you, you just have to do it. Do it. Use a big and, stitch. And hope that, <laughs> that it's okay. Yeah. Well, you could do that with your first one, just sort of baste it and see, you know, how you get on. But that trick with doing the ruler and see, you know, folding yes, yeah, it back yeah. from the quarter inch should give you a should give you an idea. So then again, thank you. This is nice having an iron, ironing helper today. Um, Tilly Rose made me do sewing. <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> I didn't see it. I'll have to watch it on. It wasn't up. even normal sewing. It was free motion embroidery oh. sewing. That's um, instead of a bird, you could applique baubles and snowflakes to make a Christmas quilt, says Lisa in Great America. Lisa, Manchester. that's a great idea. Couldn't you? That would look beautiful. You could even do, like, icicles. Yes, yeah. Couldn't you? All right, don't get carried away. Oh, do another branch. Sorry. Got another email back in. What was that? <laughs> oh, Sally. She's five foot tall, Sally. Oh, you do? Okay. Sally's right. Like well, Sally's. See, that's nearly as tall as me. Oh, is she? Yeah. I'm 5'4". She's, she's made a dress, a skirt and a zebra. Oh, wow. And her nanny's te taught her to sew. Oh, that's lovely. And now she's going to teach her mum. <laughs> so it <laughs> skipped a generation then, did it? Oh. That's so lovely. Maybe, you know what, maybe we should have a, a children's day and have all the experts could be, like, you could one of your kids, and yours are a bit young, aren't they, to do it? Mine so well... Um, my son does hand sewing. Yeah, so he yeah. Could, we could have them all in to do. Yes. We could. Have, oh, I'm going to put that forward to. Um, because <laughs> um, Joe's boys sew, don't they? Yeah. Uh, hang on, I'm doing this right, right? Yeah. Um, Joe's boys sew, and um, Jess said her. I don't know if she's got. She got boys as well. Her children sew. I think that'd be lovely. We've had pets, haven't we? Go on. So we've had pets in, so there's no yeah. reason we can't have children. Yeah, my well. Norman and Nelly didn't come in. Oh. You have to do that the next time. I don't think so. <laughs> there we go. So just move oh, that down a did little you cut bit. cut that one a bit fine? No, I think I didn't. There wasn't quite enough yeah. on that side. I oh, know it would be okay. But that's the. the um, you know, measurements and everything are, are right for yes. you to, to have, a, have a bit of a wiggle room there. So that one's fine, so I'll sew that one on. OK, Michael's got a question. Could you not what, Michael? Wider or longer? What, these? Yeah, wider. They'd have to be He's wider. He's saying cut the cream strips wider. Yeah. Sew them all together. Yeah. And then trim them down. Full of yeah. wastage. Lots of wastage, though. Yeah. I mean, that's what we are doing. We are going to trim them yeah, down. Yeah, but he's saying if you went even wider with the cream, it wouldn't yes. matter so much. Well, and, and you'd have, you would have more wiggle room if you, yeah. if you went a bit wider. But that's what you might want to do that. And that's, you know, what we were saying at the beginning about reading through. If you know what you're going to do yeah. and you're not so confident with, you know, with the angles and um, things, then it might be worth cutting them, cutting them wider so that you can can um, trim it back. So that's the one. I should move those out of the way. Yeah. Right, while you stitch this one, yes. you do the same on the other it's side It's just now. exactly the same, While yes. you're stitching that one, can I go and do the fabrics? Yes, We're not going to miss may. anything, you're just going to no. see... No, it's just... I'm just repeating the same thing, it's just slightly narrower. Yeah, OK, yes. come and have a look at the um, fabrics. We'll do the monochromy version first. What have we got here? Now, this has got the vanilla... The vanilla, this has got, it's very confusing. One's got vanilla, one's got cream, that's all. Three and a half metres of the vanilla. Uh, then you get half a metre of the red spot on. Heron, a linear, that's half a metre. Half a metre of spot on silver. One metre, that's called ebony, they've got that one called ebony there. And a metre of the, oh, zinc. So you get seven and a half metres in total. Seven and a half metres of fabric for £58.95. and pence. That's the one that um, Lucy's already made. And then the one that she's uh, working on now. This is the most popular so far. This is the most popular so far. But there is less stock of this to start with. So again, seven and a half metres, you get three and a half of the cream. 
Oh, hang on, so we jumped one. You get half a metre of the red spot, you get a metre of the pistachio, oh, a metre of sulphur, half a metre of green. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. Oh, yeah, half a metre of dark green said that. Right, we've missed one out. So let's just go through that. So it's three and a half of the cream, half of the red, one of the pistachio, half of the dark green, one of the sulphur, half of the green linear, and half of the green spot on. So I wonder why you need more. Oh, are they the. I wonder why you need more of that colour then, of those two colours. Not the quite. Borders. Oh, binding, binding, borders. 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 borders in borders. the. Um, oh, yes, I'll show you the. the yeah. You, so you've got a red border and. Yes. A, a grey border. So it's for those. So, so, so. Yeah, but look, this is why there's more of those two fabrics here. Because you've got. Obviously, you've got the cream or the vanilla from the background there. But then you've got the whole of this border here. And then that border and, and that border. A binding, you've got binding around the a binding around the edge there as well, you see? So that's why there's more of that fabric. While I'm here, Lucy's also made another quilt from this book in the past. Is it the beginning? This wasn't with me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Here you go. Cat at play. There it is. It's a playful wall quilt with a cat design striking in black and white. Now, obviously, they've used their fabrics there. Now, Lucy's made... Oh, sorry, Lucy's made this in the past. I've got it here. Oh, it's got kind of a log cabin -y effect it's going on. It's a cute on. one. Um, that's... It's pieced the... Oh, sorry, this section. Yes, it does. Yes. Because yeah. so that, that is, side, this side here is different fabric. Yeah, the border is like a log cabin. And, um, and then a border. OK. And, and that's all... Piece. Oh wow! Yeah. So that's how the, that's in the book as well. We don't yes. sell those fabrics anymore. I don't think. Then little pull check to see. They're all sold out now. I've got wadding here. No, we'll do wadding when we come to that. Um, now they've put freezer paper in this. Set. I'll go over and do it. Uh, they've, they've put freezer paper and some thread um, bundles. But let's let's. Let, I'll do that in a second. Uh, where would you, would you use freezer paper in this project? So freezer paper. Um, is great for a plique. So um, I chose to machine a plique the birds. Right. But if you're wanting to do the Which we've got, we've got Bondaweb in here somewhere, haven't we? No, the Bondaweb's not here, yeah, Paul. Yeah, that's what I've yeah. used. Um, but you, if you're wanting to do it by hand, freezer paper's great for tracing out your templates yes. if, the, if you were to do needle turn. So when I go over in a minute, I'll show you all of the, the freeze paper and the bonder web and the threads and everything like that and the wadding in a second. Yeah. And I mean, you can do it any, you can applique it. Any which way you yeah, like. Yeah, any which no, ways. No okay, so we've done the branches. About it. So we've done the branches. I'm just going to have so to... So do you trim off at this point or after you've put the bark... No, what's the main bit called? No, you have to trim it off so that you can Match, um, yeah. put the rows together. Right. You've got, like, the sashing strip and the... Um... <laughs> I want to say bark now. <laughs> Trunk. <laughs> Trunk, that would be the word. So um, we're going to trim this down. I can't quite see what I'm trimming it to. We jumped ahead of you. Oh, no, there, it'll be after that one. Have. Oh, yes, there we go. I can't see that far. Four and a quarter to 18 and a half. So this is where you sort of, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get... Yes, just. That'll be four and a quarter. There. Right, um, Michael upstairs saying, if you'd cut it wider, you'd have had more wiggle room. Yes, you would. But we're not wasting fabric, you see, Michael. We're not wasteful like you are. Well, and I'm following the pattern. The what? <laughs> I'm following no, the no, pattern. No, no, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. Um, so what I do is I do the... Um, four and a half or four and a quarter? Four and a quarter. So I do that first, and then it's um, cutting it to eight. And a half, sorry. So right now, how do you know which end to cut your um mind you, let's have a look where 18 and a half is. Well, you can do it from either, but if you will notice, can I just lift that up? Yeah. I did just accidentally cut this one, you know, and I lost a little bit of the branch oh, at okay. the bottom there. Yeah. Um, which was me cutting it, you know, too close yes. to this bottom. Right. 
Branch. branch. <laughs> so, branch, branch. Branch. So, you, you Brunch. Know, Ooh, let's do brunch. Brunch. <laughs> There's no we're open round here today, though, is there? Oh, what am I doing now? So, I'm going to cut it from this side because I've got more um, of the background fabric here. Yes. So, I'm going to, going to trim it there to 18 and a half. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the thinner one is 18, 18 and, and a half, half by two and a half. Even I knew that one. <laughs> I was checking the width. So, two and a half. You have to so, do a lot of cutting today, aren't you? Yeah, lots of cutting. But that's, that's what patchwork is. Cutting and sewing and pressing and cutting mm, and sewing mm, and mm. repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, so you can, you can see with this, there's very little um, yes. waste. Yeah, that, yes, that's what Michael was saying. If, he, if it was him, he'd cut it a little bit wider because he'd be frightened that there wouldn't be enough wiggle room. Yeah. And then, and it's quite nice to sort of get them a little bit different. So you could, you know, when you're coming to trim it at 18 and a half, you could do a bit off this end. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be no. I was thinking, oh, how are you going to know no, which no, end no. you took it off? They it don't doesn't. have to match. And actually, I think it's nicer to, to have them be a bit different because it yes. would be in nature, but then wouldn't it? They'll it? be a bit different, but will you do every single one the same? Oh, no, no, they're all different, no, don't they're they? Di they're all they different, They can all yeah. just be different. Yeah. It just depends how you trim them, but... That's what I'm saying. If, you, if you're always trimming from one end, they're going to be more similar. Whereas yes. if you take a little bit of... Each end. You know, and, and well, not some take it all off one end. Some take it all off the other end. So they are all slightly exactly. different. Exactly. Right? And I think that, that looks nice. Gives yeah. it more okay. um, of a natural sort of a feel. So... And also, you could make... Uh, like, yours is only, like... Uh, what size would that be? It, it, would they call that a twin size or a, a cot... I don't know what... Is it got a... That's like a lap quilt. Lap quilt, Let's right? just go... But, but no, no, but you could... If, yes. With fabric, if you bought more fabric, you could carry on and make a whole double duvet yeah, size. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the one in the book actually is quite... It is quite large. It's and is there enough fabric to do the front of that quilt. one in there? Y yeah, with the kit, you do, you'd get it to the size yes. it is in the book. Quilt size, 53 by 71, 71. inches. 71. So that's, it, that's sort of a, a single bed. <laughs> the book, I, we love this book. We absolutely... Because, look, you know the, the pussycat one we showed you minutes ago? You've actually got templates for the cat. Lucy didn't have to draw it or anything. <laughs> no, I didn't. Is there, a, is there a template for the um, bird and everything, then, when we come to do yes. ours? Yes, there's a template for the bird. Sorry, I'm taking away your... So you've got the bird... Oh, the yeah, wing, there's the bird. The bird, the wing, the beak and the eye. So okay, you need, brilliant. You do need to do the, the wings separately, you know. Right, you if you're tracing fabric. it with the with the bond away, yes. do it. Yes. Yes, you could do you you all go with all using all the different fabrics. I am today, today. Can't you? Right, okay. So now we've um trimmed those two pieces, so it's just a matter of um Oh I see. So I thought the rows together. that was a block. No. Right? But the block is actually that with yes. that down the side. So that's your finished block, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. So that's your finished right. block. Right. Would you mind because you're only going to sew three straight lines, aren't you? Yes. A quarter of an inch seam lines. Yeah. I'm just going to go over there and finish off with all the other bits that's and bobs and come back yeah. if that's all right. Yeah. I've got all these other bits to show you as well in the show. So Okay, bond web. Uh, we haven't got to the bond web yet, but when you come to the bird, uh, it's always important to have bond web in your stash anyway. For applique, uh, two pound ninety-five. Now it says one point two meters. Don't get don't get excited because it's only about seventeen centimeters wide. It's not one point two meters of by a meter or whatever. It's it's truly versatile. Uh, non transfer adhesive, two pounds and ninety-five pence. Um, I've got, mm, I've got the wadding. Now, I've got two different kinds of wadding. You used the warm and white, didn't you, for yours? But this is the other one. This is a so simple one. This is the bamboo one, I think, isn't it? I've forgotten to bring my glasses with me. Okay. 
£27.95, 50% bamboo, 50% super soft blend wadding. Twin size, uh, 220 Oh, you'd have plenty of room in that one. £27.95. The wadding that Lucy used is this one, the warm and white. It's warm and it's white. Uh, there you go. £19.95, this one. Uh, 72 by 90. Oh, that's the size of the... Did I not just say that was the size of the quilt? No, it's just a little bit uh, bigger than the quilt. 1.8 by 2.3 metres. Twin size and 19 pounds and 95 pence. Now, this always sells out every time I show you. I don't quite know why they... It's always good to have. It's always good to have. Don't get me wrong. It's always fantastic to have. Mandy used it in her show, didn't she? Um, freezer paper. Basically, what it is, is one side of it has got a waxy side, so you can iron it onto your fabric, but it's not like Bonderweb. It doesn't stick. You can then peel it off. Um, but it's brilliant for so many crafting. Uh, £4.95 you get here for 13 and a third yards. 12 metres. Plastic coated freezer paper. Just iron it on on the non stick, a non plastic side, and it sticks. To oh, what's that there? It sticks to. It's. Sorry about that. Sticks to the fabric. Uh, it always sells out at four pounds and ninety five pence. Right now, I've also got two thread uh, bundles in this hour. Um. So this one here, I'm presuming would be for the monochrome one. No, it's not got green. Okay, can I have a still of it? Oh, it's to go with the cream, red and green bundle, but they're not cream, red and green. I presume, have we got the still of it? No, but then the other one's got a bright yellow in it. OK, cream, red and green, you just buy it because they're lovely. There they are. It's not, it's cream, red and cream that one's meant to read. Cream, red, oh no, I've got cream, red and, yeah, cream, red and white. Anyway, 4 95 because the other one you see has got yellow in it. Let's have a look what this one's called. <laughs> Do you know what's happened? Jay's muddled them up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it not? Oh, the still's right. I think one of these has got muddled up, hasn't it? Because that's the one that's missing from this one, and that's the one that's missing from the other one. Oh, no. White, black, and red. Oh, no, but then it might be two with them. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. That's what... For the applique, mm -hmm. yes, for that, for yours. Mm -hmm. But then why would you have those for that? Anyway, it's fine, they are right, they are right, they are right, they are right. That's enough of that. Right, let's do the tree. <laughs> that's it. So oh. that's the tree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the branches with different coloured fabrics. I like it as well. So you just make as many of those as it tells 12. you to. No, because you make some in reverse. Oh, right, OK. So you do some of those and some in reverse and then you sew them into rows. Yes. And then sew the rows together and then you put the borders on. Um, with the board... For this one, all I did was put a border either side. Right, but on the pattern, it's Just got a border at the top and the it's bottom. It's got three borders going all... No, sorry, four borders going all the way around. So you have a cream border and... The, for the monotone one, then you have the gr a grey border, then a red border, oh, yes, yes, and then yes, yes, another yes. cream border. So you have um, four borders. So the grey, the red, and the cream, and then the... the red, oh, no, so that's the first one yeah. there, which is the same colour as your background. Then you have... Oh, excuse me, the grey one, then the red one, then again the same colour as your background again, going round the outside, which is why you need extra of those two fabrics. Yes, and so when you're cutting those, especially for the cream for the outer one, um, in the pattern, it suggests cutting it from the length of the fabric rather than the width, so you're not piecing the fabric to make the border. You're right, cutting yeah. it from the whole um, length of the fabric, so you've got all the borders in. But I think because it's like 71, you know, that's a long mm. um, oh, yes, piece that's a of long fabric. Piece of fabric. Yes. Yeah. But what I would always suggest to people is that you measure your quilt 
in the middle widthways and lengthways and then cut your borders to the size of your quilt so once you've done all the trees sewn those all together give everything a press so it's nice and flat and then measure from the from the center both ways and use that measurement running down the center of the quilt to cut your borders yeah and you should you always want to cut your borders to that length and yes. width and then put them on and the, the, some of the borders are quite um fine particularly the red one in that one yeah. so you just need to be very mindful of your seam allowance and i would definitely pin on something um, yes that's that length so should we talk about the bird you got one ready to show us i haven't got one ready oh, to okay show let's you. talk about i've it only now. got the one that's on the quilt okay um so for the bit so you've got the um templates are there in the book yes Love watching you both keep me company as I have a slip disc and you're cheering me up. Oh, Janet, oh, get better soon. Yeah. Uh, sorry, oh, Karen. horrible. But I'm glad we're cheering you up. Yes. Um, so you've got, and it, you've got two different birds, and this made me chuckle. You've got the chubby bird, that's what it says in the pattern, the chubby bird motif and the bird motif. So it's up to you which How ones funny. you want oh, to yes, use. Oh, yes, you can see a difference so, on them on there. Yeah, so you've got the chubby, chubby. one. Chubby, chubby. Yeah. And, and the, a normal. Oh, not normal. Not normal. Not, not normal. normal. Just bird. Well, it's just called bird. 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 How bird. weird. Because they're not that, they're not that different. No, it's not, not like they've drawn different. one that's big and round. Ooh. The, the um, tails are slightly different as well. So this one just goes in ever so slightly. Oh, and this yes. one's curved around. So concave and convex. But I think it's little details like that that, you know, make, yes, exactly. make a quilt exactly. But also, it this is where... Like that, that's whoever messaged in earlier about putting the Christmas baubles on or something. Yes. Like that would look lovely at this point, wouldn't it? Yeah, was it Lisa? So, um, so you can copy those. So you either uh, trace that onto your bond web, yes, or if you're wanting to do it by hand, trace it onto your freezer paper. Yeah. Um, and these are Lisa, uh, it was yeah. Yeah, these are reversed. So when you you know they're the, oh, yes. they're oh, the right way for going on there yes. do you see what i mean so you just want to lay whatever your, your bond web on the top trace over it and then yeah. it's going to okay. when you iron but it, it does it, mean it'll be all the, the chubby ones face one way and all the it does but bird you, you could face you could trace it reverse yes, and, yes, ju and just yeah. have those ones um if you wanted to How funny. and then the beak the beak and the eye are very small pieces yes very very small so um I mean, it would be very tricky to needle turn that. Well, I was going to say, thing, mm -hmm. uh, well, could you not, the eye, could you not, like Joe does on her animals, yes. you could stitch an eye yeah. on with the embroidery thread. That's what I was going to say. So you could just use embroidery thread or you could um, use a bit of felt if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, just for the, for the eye. Because um, it is tiny. And then what I did um, for the applique was just used a zigzag stitch. Right. So just a very, very small, I narrowed the... Um, width, width and the length of the stitch to make a very very small um, zigzag and I went all around the edges but what I did is normally with applique you sort of layer it up yes so you'd put the body of the bird on first stitch around that and then put the wing Ooh, on yes. and stitch around that but I just put the body of the bird and the wing on right and the beak right. and the eye all at the same time just did a red all, right round, all the way around, all stopped, it. started and stopped, yeah. just like that. And then did the beak with a yellow. Yeah. And then yeah, for the oh. eye, what I did was did a locking stitch on the machine. So I do always encourage people to try out, you know, different stitches. I'm just going to tell you, you no, now. Read it out. Yes, this is very interesting from Laurie. I wasn't ignoring you no, then, no, no, but no, I'm just taking fine. this in. Uh, the birds are cardinals. Uh, and it's probably the difference between a male and a female. Oh. I'm American and grew up with these in my backyard. Oh, Laurie, so lovely. are the fat ones boys or the fat ones girls? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I am the last person to say about that. But... That's interesting. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably true. How funny. She's just called them chubby and bird. Because she didn't know they were cardinals, that's well, why. Well, no, anyway, no. sorry, go to yeah. your lock stitch. Go to your lock stitch. And, I mean, you could if you wanted, you know, they are... The cardinals have these this sort of crested part, don't oh, they, on do there? Oh, do they? They do. And... Funny you've not mentioned that all day so far. But Paul's, been going, <laughs> Paul's been going all day. Little Paul's been going, what, what bird are they? What's the well, bird? Well, you said to me, what bird are they? 
are they? But you could make it a robin if you wanted to. So you just round off the head and yes. you could put a little breast, breast on, on it if you wanted you do to do that. You want, really, yeah, you could. You could have uh, any kind of a bit. So talk to me about the eye. So um, for the eye, what I did was did this um, locking stitch on the machine. Um, so not everybody's going to have this, but I think this one is some sort of a buttonhole stitch. I'm not even sure if I'm completely honest. Yes. Well, but you can have a button. play and see. I think that's my fault. Okay. Um, have a play and see what's going to suit. And then I was, you can see I did it in red and then I did it in black yeah. just to check it. And different um, sizes. And the different sizes to make sure you're going to get get the right size. And that was all I did to hold the eye in place. Oh, so, so there's each fabric one underneath it still? Just has that locking. You do a button. The locking stitch on it. You could do a button, but you shouldn't do it if it's for children, for no, safety. But that's not a child. Um, I don't think but that's no, a child's quilt. I don't think it's a child's quilt either. Um, and that would look really nice. And then, so then for the quilting. Yes. Um, in the book, there's a lovely sort of a f a free motion pattern that's been done on the um, long arm, I assume. Right. Yes. And that went around the birds. And if you have time to do that, I think that would, that's the nicest way of, of quilting it really is to keep those without any yes. um, stitching yeah. over the top. Yeah. But I was, you know, pressed for time. So I, I just did some straight lines. Uh, now, oh, yeah, go on. Go yeah, so lines. I did, so I did um, straight lines, but I didn't mark them and I wasn't, trying to be um don't try looking at the screen laurie's gone <laughs> funny, fat boy i don't know if she's talking about me or the cardinal no <laughs> so i just let it sort of move you know and move the quilt a little bit so this this sort of organic uh, you know sort of line yes. and then i've also used this and have you done them i mean did you deliberately do them like a heartbeat where there's a blip there don't think yes, it's very a blip. well no there. i've just noticed that i don't think it's very well so and just done that around and I did one so in you the only did the, well, you only so. did the squiggle one down some of the trees just down oh no just anywhere did it in anywhere between. yeah because it's there as well yeah so I just did some lines and then went back in in between and just put a squiggle where I felt like a squiggle um but I think it's nice if if you have more time and you're quilting it to do something width ways over the quilt because like a like birch trees have the oh here we go so she knew it was a cardinal now she knows about birch trees as well Birch trees have what? Have um, markings that go yes, with ways. Like especially the silver birch. Around the trunk of the tree. Yes. So I think it would be nice if you've got time uh, to do that with the quilting. And if you were doing the green version and it was sort of bamboo-ish, although I yes. appreciate that bamboo isn't always green. Um, Is it not? But similarly, that, that has, la you know, it has yes, 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 yeah. markings, doesn't it? So it would be quite nice to do that um, with the quilting. And then again, I've just gone and had a practice on um, a scrap piece. Right. Um, with, the, with the different widths. So you can see there, I was thinking about doing a blanket stitch and then changed my mind. To zigzag. zigzag. Yes. And then when I found the stitch that I want to use for quilting, I always just make a note. So I just write on whatever piece of fabric it is um, uh, to make a note. Not of with the uh, erasable marker. What the be, stitch was. Disappearing marker. No, don't use the disappearing one. That one was a that So what's that stitch number 20, one. width eight? And what's the other length bit? is oh, 3.5. Yeah. Yeah. So it just s serves as a reminder to myself as what I'm doing. And then, you know, sometimes you could, you can create a little book or something with these yes. things in them. But I, it's always worth trying it out on a piece of fabric to, so you really can see what. Um, what I'm having like. a, I'm having a moment, a okay. creative moment. Yes. I would be, I would put maybe. I know it's the wrong, wrong colour. Yeah. I might do a sash in between like oh, that because I think that looks quite nice. The, yes. the, the, I don't know if you have enough fabric. Go very to do that. scenic. But wouldn't it? Because that would yeah. look lovely if you had a sash. Because you've got the sash going. Do you know that we, way? Haven't yeah, you? I think you would have enough fabric yeah. to do that. Yeah, that would look nice. But that's what I think when you when you know you've got these patterns in in the books and they're fabulous. But it is nice to sort of mix it up a little bit yes, and, exactly. and make it your own. Exactly. And you, if you. When I do cutting for a quilt, I never cut the borders when I start doing the cutting. I always leave the borders to the, to end, the end. Because I might change my mind as I'm working on it, how I want to do yeah, it. Exactly. I might change the layout mm. to make it a different size. 
Um, so I don't want to have wasted that fabric by cutting the borders. I cut out all the pieces for the blocks. Yes. And then once those are made and I've put the quilt together, then I can decide what I want but to do. But this isn't like, you said it when you first started it, this isn't the normal way no. you put a block together, is it? No, it's just a bit, it, it, the cutting is, is, a, is a bit different. Yeah. And I have done um, improvised um, piecing before. And that would be that you wouldn't necessarily, those cuts wouldn't be at those precise measurements. Yes. And you... It doesn't have to be that particular angle, things like that. And you could play about with that and do them, mm. you know, have them slightly offset as well if you wanted to. It's just so long as you've got that um, height in the block so that they're all the same when you Oh, yes. Well, no, no, I rows. mean, once you, once you start improvising, you've got to make sure there's some uniformity in yes. it. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to end up with all sorts of levels going on and everything. Yeah, but, but like um, we said, you can cut your pieces bigger to begin with yeah. and, then, and then have a play with. But I really, I love Lisa's idea as well. I think that's great that you could have Yeah, no, but then you can only use to Christmas then. That's true. Mind but you could make house. one for all different kinds of types. Because this is quite spring, you know, there's a... It spring feels spring-like like The green, the green me, one doesn't does, it? Yes. The green. Yeah, that one, that one feels very wintry. And because, yes. And yeah. this one does. You and you've got the paler ones. You could do flowers. You could do cherry blossoms or something You could, like or that. Nice. if Mixing you had blue trees. fabric, yes. do blue fabric in the background for the, like yeah, the sky like sort the sky. of thing. That'd be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? And I think something like this as well really lends itself to being really creative with the quilting. Yes. And you, you know, if you're spending time quilting something, you know, to just, if you just quilt around the trees, that's going to make those, the trees stand out and like like i said about not quilting the birds that's going to make them pop um yes more oh, you could as well. almost um before you sewed the bird on you put a little bit of a little bit of wadding just behind yes. it just especially the fat boy one yes uh, anyway you're on tomorrow aren't you i am what are you making tomorrow she doesn't uh, know. i can't remember <laughs> <laughs> right the two bundles green is the most popular so We've got the uh, seven and a half metres of the fabric. This is the green birches. You get the cream, the red spot, the pistachio, the dark green, the sulphur, the green linear print and the spot. Seven and a half metres for £56.95. Please, please, please check out your basket. You'd be so bored of me saying that, but it's only because I don't want you to miss out on any of these. So that's gorgeous. The thing is, even if you're not making that quilt, isn't that gorgeous for your stash? Gorgeous. And then if you love monochrome, if you love the monochrome, so you get the, um, the seven and a half metres again, but all the greys with the red spot and the cream here, or the vanilla, this one, I think, isn't it? Uh, £58.95 and pence for seven and a half metres of fabric. It's all 100% cotton, all machine washable, all rather gorgeous for £58.95. and pence. OK, now a lot of you guys can see the freezer paper again. This is um, fantastic. Oh, in fact, I brought my glasses. It is fantastic. It's plastic coated. Uh, let me, let's have a look at the side, because it does give you all the different uh, things that you can use it for. Where is it? There we go. It's great for crafting. It's great for all sorts of things. Just read along there for quilting applique, a quilting applique, everyday usage. You can wrap your sandwiches in it if you want to. Uh, it's £4.95, and pence, and it's called freezer paper. What's brilliant about it is you can stitch through it. So if you'd like Mandy did earlier, if you draw a pattern, you can stitch through it and then tear away and then you've got a pattern that you can then use again or a template you can use again in the future, use it a few times. Um, or of course, if you just want something to stuck, stick down just while you make a few markings, everything, because the, the, um, the wax side doesn't stay on the, it's not like Bondina or Bondaweb, it doesn't actually stick to the fabric forever. It's, not, it's only a temporary measure, but just brilliant for holding um, something, like Lucy was saying on that one, if you did the hand turned, applique with the birds you could do it with this rather than machine because you don't want to machine it on would you four pounds and 95 pence you get quite a lot don't you it's 12 meters 12 meters there for four pounds and 95 pence talking to mandy Shaw. oh there are still some hoopies left there are still i'll show you that there's right now on on there they haven't taken the picture properly because you do get the um iron-on transfers as well. You do get iron-on transfers as well. You can see the piece of linen at the top right-hand corner, but you get the iron-on transfers too, and the thread, and the, the elastic ribbon. Right, at the moment, please check out your baskets, but you're all, at this moment in time, you're fine, but I can't guarantee, because in a minute, the 8 o'clock show will start showing again, won't it, you see? And, um, and more people will come in. More people watch on the repeat and come in and get those. Uh, now, the wall hanging is a, sim sim a similar scenario. 
Here it is. £42.95. Now, what you get in this one is you get everything you need. Again, the iron-on transfers aren't there. Um, you get all the fabrics. The only thing you don't get in that is the instructions because you need the book. You need the book for the instructions for that one. Uh, the book is called uh, Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. It's got 10 projects in it. Uh, really, really fantastic. So it's all the instructions of how to make all those. So you don't, if you wanted to make it in different fabrics, you can make it in all the different fabrics. But if you wanted to buy the kits, like the hoopy kit, so you buy the kit or you buy the um, uh, wall hanging that you just saw there. And then the instructions are in the book, £12.95. Mandy and Lucy are both back tomorrow. So, oh... Oh, and the day is called, what's called Red Work and Patchwork again tomorrow. Red Work and Patchwork tomorrow. So is that me done? Have a look at the menu. Let's have a look at the menu. Eight, oh, it's exact. Oh, no, hang on, Drunkard's Path, we're doing tomorrow. Oh, Little Paul will be good for that one because he's always... It should be called the Uber's... Little Paul's Uber's Journey Home, isn't it? Like the Drunkard's Pathway. And then what's 11? We've got Semolina. Semolina. Semolina Patchwork. I've got no idea what Semolina patchwork is. Like a pudding, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going now. Thanks ever so much for your company. Make sure you check out your baskets. We will see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's me again. I'm ever so sorry. You've got the short straw. It's me again tomorrow morning. Uh, see you then at 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.